global prices have devalued by a million times. With just $2, you can buy tens of millions worth of Ferraris. A downtown villa costs only $5. Even marrying a wife only requires a two-cent dowry. I looked at the $8,000 in my hand and realized that I had become the richest person. Just a few days ago, I went to the bank to deposit a bag of loose change. But to my surprise, as soon as I opened the bag, several tellers were frightened and sat on the ground. I felt a little embarrassed at first, as it can be annoying to count loose change. But when I saw their reactions, I frowned. Come on, is it necessary to mock me just because I want to deposit some change? Your service attitude is too poor. The female teller looked terrified and stuttered, Sir, I can't make a decision on such a large amount. I better call our manager for you. Soon, a nervous man rushed over when he saw the bag of change. He took a sharp breath. Sir, do you want to deposit all this money with us? I nodded. Yes, deposit all $8,000 into my account. As soon as these words came out, everyone gasped. Sir, the denomination you want to deposit is too large for our branch to handle. I will contact the headquarters to handle this for you. Don't worry, we will arrange a dedicated car to escort you. I was speechless. I just wanted to deposit some loose change. Did it have to be so exaggerated? Meanwhile, the manager, holding a phone, said anxiously, the bank president is in trouble. A young man came to us with a bag of money. He said he had $8,000, all in $5 and $10 bills, with super large denominations. What? $8,000? Is he depositing money or trying to buy our bank? The voice on the other end of the line suddenly rose in pitch. He said he wants to deposit. We will immediately try every means to bring him to the headquarters. No, I will personally go and pick him up, the manager said, then hung up the phone. I was completely confused the whole time and vaguely felt like I was someone important, someone of great significance. After about 10 minutes, blaring sirens suddenly sounded outside. Immediately, chaos ensued, and a team of heavily armed black-clad special police rushed in. They formed two neat rows. Seeing this scene, I was utterly confused. I'm just depositing some loose change. Do I deserve such treatment? Are you going to take me out and execute me? I asked tremblingly. Of course not. Please get in the car and talk, sir. This is not the place to talk. I didn't know what was going on, but the situation was so bad. I thought I couldn't leave without them, so I walked out the door. The SWAT team almost followed me out of the bank. Just outside the bank, I found a young man talking loudly on the phone. I've been with you for three years, and I've spent three cents on you. And you're just gonna leave me like this? What kind of human being are you? I was stunned. Three years for three cents, and you're asking me if I'm a human being? Another guy was shouting on the phone, Mom, I got a bonus of five cents this month. I'll call you back with four cents. Check it out. I'll buy you a big house when I make ten cents a month. Ten cents can buy a big house, then I have a pocket full of money, I can't help but shiver at the thought of it. That's when I remembered the electronic voice in my head when I woke up this morning. Prices have depreciated a million times, only your assets remain the same, total assets of two. Fifteen million dollars. While I was thinking, a voice interrupted me. Hello, I'm Qian Xiovu, the head of the Guangming head office in Tianbei City. Naturally, I've heard of this name, but Bright Bank was listed last year in Yunhai Province, and its assets are top 12. I've paid attention to it myself. Mr. Qian, is your suit custom made? How much is it? How much? No, 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 no. Although Qian Xiovu did not know why I was so, but did not dare to lie but could only smile and replied. Although I guessed it, I was still shocked to hear him say it. Then I took out my cell phone and searched for the first hot search. The richest man in the world, Ma Lin, with a total asset of $380,000, was ranked 7th on the world's rich list. $380,000 and he's in the 7th place. And I just took out a $5 bill from the cloth bag, when I checked it I was directly shocked. This bill is completely different from the previous one, not only is it thicker and more textured, but there are even gold threads in it. I took out the $5 bill and bit it with my teeth. It was really gold. I did this, and Xian Xiovu next to me was dumbfounded. What kind of family is this? Those are the limited $5 and $10 bills that you're allowed to hold only if you have a certain amount of assets. Even if they are crumpled and pile up together, he even strangled them with a broken leather band. It's all deformed. Soon the car arrived at the main bank, a group of special police rushed me into the bank's VIP room. I was greeted by a beautiful woman in professional attire, holding a translucent folder in her arms. Mr. Yang this is our VIP assistant of the VIP department, your business will be directly through our backstage by him, 
with the highest priority to do, Chen Xiaohu said forcefully, Mr. Yang, my name is Lin Yurong, please feel free to order any request. I do not have nonsense, directly will contain the money of the cloth bag handed over, I want to deposit this money to the card. Lin Yurong took the bag with a trembling voice, it was his first time to enter the $8,000 in cash, and he immediately used a tool to count it, and counted it three times before putting it in the bank. Then the phone rang a beep, bright bank savings card on July 15, 2023, 1432 accounted for. 8,268 US dollar total balance, $664,188. Lin Yurong and the two of them were petrified when they heard this beeping sound. Bank of Light, this is a business with a total market capitalization of only 90,000. He personally has assets of $660,000. What kind of person is this? Xian Xiao, who only has one thought in his mind at the moment, like, no matter how to call dad, he will hold this big leg. And that Yao Yun's sister has already blanked her mind and is in a state of no thought. And I don't want to stay here for a long time after I've counted the profit. I'm going to leave. Seeing me leaving, Xian Xiaohu took out a business card from his pocket and handed it over. Mr. Yang, please give me a chance to entertain you. I took the card and looked at it. On the card, it was written Chairman of Bright Group. Wait for me to have time. Seeing me take the card, Xian Xiaohu was so excited that his heart trembled. I ignored it and turned around and walked out of the VIP room. Looking at the back of my departure, Xian Xiaohu slowly sat back on the sofa. He said to Lin Yu Rong, who was still dumbfounded. Remember, you can't divulge today's events to anyone, or you should know what will happen to you. I came to my roommate's health club, and just finished working out, ready to sit down and rest. A silhouette came over, wearing tight sportswear, a head of black hair is being tied into a ponytail with his hands, this is his roommate Angel, just graduated shortly after the fitness instructor here. Angela's son is a good cook, so I was planning to drag her to the supermarket. But before that, Angela said she wanted to rent a very expensive dress to wear to an important occasion in two days. We went to a store in the city center and told the shop assistant that we wanted to rent a dress. Then we went shopping with Angel. Angie looked at a long black dress in the window, her eyes glowing, a look at the price tag of one. Three cents, can only sigh helplessly, and said too expensive. Just at this time, a woman's voice suddenly came this is not Angie, why are you talking like this? A man and a woman came over on one side. Speaking is a woman wearing tight leather pants, body than the sun angel far worse and a little carrot legs, chin sharp can poke death since the. He was followed by a greasy fat man with a beer belly, but a Maserati was hanging from his waist. He was accompanied by a fat, greasy man with a beer belly, but with the keys to a Maserati hanging from his waist. The fat man looked at Angela's son with colorful eyes. Anchi, why don't you look good, this color is far worse than when you were in college, Jolly said with a smile on her face. Honey, I'll introduce you, this is our school flower when we went to school, ice clean and pure, born noble. She has rejected as many as 18 rich kids. Look at her backbone. Look, Angel, I heard you're here to rent clothes, she asked in a surprised voice. It's for Yaya's birthday party in two days, isn't it? Actually, if we don't have money, we don't have to pretend. Besides, if you wear rented clothes, the tags will be exposed and it will be hard to see, right Anchi? Jolly said with a smile on her face. Angela's son was so angry that she bit her red lips. After a long time, she was about to drag me away. But I stopped her. I looked at Jolly, half a doubtful asked you this leather pants fart bulge? When I said this, at the cashier's desk, the shopping guide who was drinking water sprayed a mouthful of water on the computer. Sun Anchi also almost laughed out. Jolly, however, stared at me with a cold and vicious face. Just now, she just sneered and didn't have the heart to tear her face off. They hadn't bullied her like that in the past. But today, such a trash came out. Where did you come from, you poor loser? Do you even have a say here? I frowned and asked, do I need to give you a piece of my mind? That's right, you need my permission to talk. I'm here to buy clothes. And you're here to rent clothes. That's the difference. Jolly gritted her teeth and said. At this time, Sun Anchi held my hand and whispered, let's go. The fat man on the side saw him take the initiative to pull my hand, suddenly a little jealousy. Loudly pushed away Jolly laughed and said. M.S. Sun Angel, right, I've heard of your reputation, I wonder if I can give Sun a chance. Which dress do you want? I'll buy it for you after I pick it out. How about I give you a gift? Said the fat man with a fawning smile. His eyes are all over Angela's son's body. Sun Angel, if you dare to accept Sun's clothes, I won't spare you, Jolly shouted hysterically. I don't intend to accept it either. Sun Anchi exasperatedly said. 
But I was gloomy, it seems that this woman really, is a little bit do not know their own last name, I coldly smiled and surveyed the clothes in the store once again. Then cold voice toward the front desk asked, they two payment? Not yet. From now on, all the clothes in this store are under my control. I'm not allowed to sell to them. What? The receptionist was confused. Jolly suddenly burst out in a burst of ear-piercing laughter, as if she had heard the best joke in the world. Angela's son I thought you were looking for a loser, but I didn't realize it was a psycho. Are you immersed in your own mental world, fantasizing that you are the domineering president who wants to buy all the clothes Jolly laughed smugly? Even the receptionist and the shopper were pursing their lips to hold in their laughter. In their opinion, I am indeed going crazy. There aren't many clothes in this store, but they're all overpriced. They all cost at least $4. No need to fantasize, because I was going to buy them all. Then I pulled out an old wallet. Just looking at the wallet, Jolai was about to burst out laughing, the strings on the wallet were all open. If there's more than a nickel in this wallet, I'm gonna get down on my knees and call you daddy, Jolie laughed. But the next moment, Chloe's laughter stopped, and everyone in the room looked at me in shock. I took a $50 bill from my wallet and slapped it on the table. Come on, kneel down and call your father. Prices are plummeting around the world. You can buy a Maserati for tens of millions of dollars for $2. A villa in the city center costs only $5. Even a bride price is only two cents. I looked at the $8,000 in my hand and realized I was the richest man alive. Then I took my girlfriend to the biggest clothing store in the city to buy clothes. I had a party to attend in a few days. But when I got there, I ran into my girlfriend's classmates who told me that poor people like us don't deserve to buy clothes here. And when I took out a $50 bill from my pocket, everyone in the room sucked in their breath and looked at me in shock. Even my girlfriend, Angie, didn't realize when I became so rich. You know, a $50 bill is not just money, it's a status symbol. Because banks won't give out this kind of money unless the wealth value reaches a certain level. I casually pulled out a $5 bill and threw it to the receptionist. I said, I'll take all the clothes in the store, is this enough money? The receptionist was so scared that she stuttered, enough is enough. The buyer looked at me completely differently, being able to carry $50 with her. A man who can carry $50 with him is a real god. On the other hand, Jolly's eyes were already on fire. She thought that Angela's son had found a fool for a boyfriend and wanted to insult him. But I never thought that Angela's son's boyfriend would be a god of shadow. She took out the smallest denomination of money and bought all the expensive clothes in the store. However, just at this moment, a beautiful woman wearing an elegant long dress and stepping on crystal heels walked in, completely breaking the atmosphere here. The boss's crowd of shopping guide ladies all shouted very respectfully. The lady boss nodded, and then her eyes rested on my body. Smiling, she stretched out Mr. Young. My name is Lee May. I wonder if I could have the honor of sitting upstairs. I thought for a moment and nodded. Then Li Mei saw a side. Fatty Zhang and Jolly standing aside, smiled and said, Are these two also friends of Mr. Yang? Upon hearing this, Jolly quickly snapped out of the blow she had just received. Li Mei had misunderstood them as friends. If we can get to know Li Mei, then Donna Karen's clothes will be hers to wear. I'll be able to play with her as much as I want. Li Mei then rushed to the clerk and said, Prepare five 30% discount cards and two of my business cards. Okay, boss. Jolly was shaking with excitement, a 30% discount card and a business card meant that they could ask Li Mei for help in the future. It was like a step to heaven, she couldn't even close her mouth with excitement. But before she could stop smiling, I suddenly said, wait, I don't object if you want to get acquainted with them, but don't do it in my name, I don't know them at all. I don't know them at all, but we were shopping for clothes and they were yelling and screaming at my girlfriend, so is it possible that you've gotten to where you are today by hanging out with this kind of scum? Then we're sorry. Send all the clothes home for me. After I said goodbye, I picked up Angela's son and was about to leave. Li Mei was in a cold sweat. She was flattering her horse's leg. Then she quickly explained, Mr. Yang, I'm really sorry, I'm sorry, I've been so indiscriminate just now. Li Mei moved in front of me and apologized. Then she turned to look at the two bodyguards behind her. Cold voice said still do not throw these two people out. Soft and noble face instantly became cold Li. The two garbage even in this play, he almost got caught up in the road. Two bodyguards grabbed the shoulders of the two men, ready to drag them outside. At this time, Jolly struggled and shouted I even if he is not his friend. Even if I'm not his friend, my boyfriend is still your partner. How dare you treat me like this? Goen Group is your big manufacturer, right? Li Mei said in a cold voice, Goen Group, right? From now on, Goen Group will no longer have any cooperation with my brand. After saying that, 
she waved her hand and instructed the bodyguards to throw them out. Then turned to look at me apologetically said Mr. Yang, this matter is really my fault, you cannot be angry with me ah. I smiled faintly and waved my hand to indicate that it was nothing, by the way, help me find a suitable dress for him, I have to attend a banquet in a few days. Knowing that Sun Anchi is going to attend a banquet, she immediately said that when the time comes, she will definitely send a big gift for her, no matter how Sun Anchi refused is useless. After exchanging a few pleasantries, I left Li Mei's phone number and a Super Supreme. I left Li Mei's phone number and a Super Supreme discount card and walked out with Angela Sun with a shopping bag. Just walking down the street, Angela Sun's cell phone suddenly rang. When I answered it, I said that my best friend was having a party at a western restaurant and asked Angela Sun to come with us. We took a cab. We arrived at the entrance of Century Restaurant. Century Restaurant is considered a high-end restaurant in Tian Bay City, with luxurious decoration and good reputation for its food. Angela and I just arrived at the private room, but we froze, only to see three flamboyant girls sitting on the table. Three flamboyant girls were already sitting at the table. The most important thing is, the table was half full. One of the girls had a plate full of crab shells. Two bottles of red wine were empty. As soon as the girls saw Angela's son arrive, they started chattering. They dragged her to sit down and started to warm her up. I watched from the sidelines and smiled coldly, this is to take Angela's son as an injustice, the big head called to pay the bill, I can see that Angela's son is very uncomfortable, want to go but embarrassed to say. Who is this ah, uh, Anchi is your boyfriend, one of the girls said in surprise. A few eyes all look at me. It's son Anchi, but she didn't bother to explain, so she just admitted it. The women gave each other a wink, and there seemed to be a hint of excitement and triumph in their eyes. Then they enthusiastically pulled me to sit down. The result just sat on the chair, one of the girls exclaimed in shock. This you buy the clothes? He nonchalantly directly to the clothing, clothing bag dragged to the arms, the clothes pulled out. Donna card red sun anchi you will not be buying fake it, several people said, but all came together, you fight for my eyes are flooded with light. It is a fake, sun angel took the initiative to recognize lest they beep up. Fake ah, I said how to touch the feel almost meaning, is that I see this pattern is also a bit bad. But to be honest, the imitation is quite good. A few people again chattered up, talking but refused to let go of their hands. Zhou Xiu even took the clothes over the top of their own body. Hey Anchi, is a fake anyway, or you send me to it? Zhou Xiu said, immediately next to the ringing of a slightly with. A slightly jealous voice sounded next to her. Lily you usually wear goods ah. Zhou Xiu then faced a stiff realized that he said the wrong thing, hurriedly embarrassed smile, to cover up said. I feel that this size and my cousin's special suitable, she is not very elaborate, there are f imitation goods to wear on the good. It's a deal. Can you send it to me? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This dress is a gift from my boyfriend, I can't possibly give it away. Angela frowned and refused. It's the real thing for three cents. I can't give it away. When Zhou Xiu heard this, her face became a bit ugly, and the corner of her mouth hooked and kept willing to put the clothes back into the bag. Your boyfriend sends imitations ah, if you cannot afford to send brand, just buy a uni button okay ah, a girl shook her head and said. However, one of the girls winked at the others. Suddenly, she changed her mind, but since she's been able to get our school's top girl. You're quite rich, aren't you? That's right, Aranchi was famous for her lack of respect for salt and oil in the school. Even a car from the school's schoolmarm didn't impress her, so you're definitely not bad. They hid the disdain and contempt in their eyes and started to compliment me. I was laughing in my heart, finally we came to the point. It's not the first time that Joe Shio and the others have done this kind of thing, and they're just holding on to the thin-faced character of people like Sun Anchi. They've tried it time and time again. This time they ate at the Century Restaurant and realized that they spent too much money. They couldn't afford it, so they thought of Angela's son. I didn't realize that she was following me. Men value face, and they caught on to that, so they praised me. And I naturally want a hook acting on the line, the corner of the mouth hung with a fluttering smile, you guys are full of us Anchi is still hungry, Sun Anchi just wanted to say something, but was stopped by me with my eyes. This is just the beginning, can't we ask you an angel to come over, but this table only you a man. Anyway, this meal will definitely be your treat, so we'll just follow Anchi to get some light. The women looked at me and smiled. No man would not give his girlfriend face at a time like this. No man would not give face to his girlfriend at a time like this. I snapped my fingers at the waiter and said, you guys let go and order the most expensive wine. In the eyes of a few people, I was just pretending to be chic. I'm not going to be able to find my way out of here after a few lines. Eat a whole two hours has been close to the end, I smiled and stood up and said to go to the checkout. 
Joe show several people a hand will sun Anchi embrace, go on handsome boy. I went straight to the front desk. A total consumption of one cent. Then I took out my wallet and said in a low voice, help me get a full court press. I want to buy all the eggs in the house, but only the ones at the tables, do you understand? I pointed in the direction of Joe Xiao. The lady at the front desk looked at me with a shocked face. Small mouth slightly open slowly nodded. You know, there are currently 18 tables dining in the entire hall. That's a total of 4 cents. After watching me pay with my cell phone, Joe Xiao and the others simultaneously revealed smug smiles. We've had a great meal for free today. When they saw me walk back with a slightly distressed expression, they were so happy that they were about to say something. Suddenly the loudspeaker in the hall rang out. Congratulations to all the customers who are currently dining at the restaurant. Mr. Yang will pay for the whole meal tonight. As soon as the sound of the amplifier passed, everyone turned their attention towards Yang Chen. Applause thundered throughout the room. Customers and waiters alike raised their hands and clapped. Many people at the tables even stood up and waved to Yang Chen from afar. Some even raised their glasses and toasted him. The Century Restaurant, which had been somewhat quiet, suddenly became lively with laughter and chatter. Yang Chen stood up proudly, greeted everyone with a fist bump, and then sat back down. The only table that didn't applaud was Zhou Xiu and her friends. They had thought that Yang Chen was just bluffing. But if he was bluffing, there was no need to buy all the other tables as well. Paying for the entire restaurant? That must cost a fortune. The women were dumbfounded, feeling a mix of emotions. They were happy, of course, as they had just enjoyed a free meal. But Sun Anchi's boyfriend turned out to be so wealthy? Five hearts filled with jealousy burned fiercely. The way they looked at Yang Chen changed completely. There was jealousy, shock, and, of course, desire. Zhou Xiu's gaze once again fell on the bag of clothes. If Yang Chen was really that rich, then the clothes couldn't possibly be fake, just like she had suspected earlier. That one piece of clothing was worth three points. Damn it, Sun Anchi, you actually called it a fake, and now you won't give me the clothes. Oh my god, Anchi, your boyfriend is amazing. He's paying for the whole restaurant, handsome. A girl excitedly said to Sun Anchi, her eyes gleaming with a sinister light. Why is it you? Why is it always you? Sun Anchi was speechless, wondering why Yang Chen was spending money so recklessly. Even if you have money, you shouldn't spend it like this. She could only force a smile and didn't know what to say. Hey, Anchi, there's a new hot spring resort at Yunding Mountain, it's amazing. I've already made a reservation, let's go next week. Bring your boyfriend, let's have some fun and relax. A girl who was close to Yang Chen casually unbuttoned a button on her collar and hugged Yang Chen's arm. Another girl quickly joined in. That's right, you didn't even tell us when you got a boyfriend, that's so rude. When can I borrow your boyfriend? I don't even have a date, and I don't know how to deal with my mom when I go home. They said as they leaned towards Yang Chen. Yang Chen picked up a chopstick and gently pushed the woman who was trying to hug his arm away, then said to Sun Anchi, darling, we should go now, you forgot that you have to. Oh right, I'll go first. Sun Anchi understood and seemed to remember something, so she quickly stood up. The other women wanted to stop them, but seeing their determination, they couldn't do anything and could only think of another way. After all, they had invited them to settle the bill, and now that it was settled, it didn't matter anymore. Yang Chen picked up his bag and clothes, smiled apologetically at the others, and then walked out of the restaurant hand in hand with Sun Anchi. As they left, polite greetings came from the other tables. The receptionist at the front desk nodded and smiled at him. Yang Chen pointed at the receptionist with a laugh, and the receptionist quietly took out her phone and dialed Yao Yao Ling's number. After Yang Chen and Sun Anchi left the restaurant, Zhou Xiao and her friends finally started talking. He's so rich. That clothes just now, it's definitely not fake, it must be genuine. What kind of luck did Sun Anchi have in her past life? She's so lucky, damn it. He paid for the whole restaurant, how much money is that? At least five or six figures, right? This is unacceptable, the more I think about it, the more unfair it seems. Sun Anchi was brought here by us, and her boyfriend is the one paying. Why did he have to pay for everything? That's our money. You're right. Hey, let's go to the front desk and get our money back. Once we have it, we can leave. Yes, that's the one who paid for us, we have to get it back. The more they thought about it, the more they felt cheated. They just gave so much money to a stranger? That's too wasteful. After they made up their minds, they packed up and went to the front desk. Hey, the two people who just left, you know they were at our table, right? Zhou Xiu rudely slapped the table and asked. The receptionist smiled. I know, I'm his sister. My brother is such an idiot, always wasting money. He just paid for everyone again, using my money. Give me the money back, just charge us for the three tables. 
Zhou Xiao flicked her hair casually and said. The receptionist's smile remained unchanged. It's impossible to refund the money. The gentleman just paid for the bill, so it can't be refunded. And your three tables haven't paid yet, please settle the bill. What? What? Zhou Xiao was dumbfounded, feeling a buzzing in her brain. What are you talking about? Didn't he come over from our table just now? He paid for the whole place and you even announced it. A girl shouted angrily. The receptionist showed a regretful expression. I'm sorry, mister. Yang did indeed pay for the whole place, spending only five cents. But he didn't pay for your three tables, I'm really sorry. He also asked me to tell you something. It's called guests, don't bring guests. I hope you can understand. Um, your three tables have a total consumption of one dollar, three cents, and two hundred cents. Would you like to scan the code, use a card, or pay in cash? Yang Chen and the other person walked a short distance away and heard a commotion coming from the direction of the Century Restaurant. Soon after, a police car stopped at the entrance of the restaurant. Sun Anchi's phone immediately started ringing like crazy. But Sun Anchi naturally didn't answer. They will probably treat me as their mortal enemy from now on. Sun Anchi muted the phone and pouted helplessly. What else can it be? Do you think they treat you as a friend? Yang Chen sneered. Even if you have money, you can't spend it recklessly. Why did you pay for everyone? How much money did that cost? Sun Anchi poked Yang Chen with her hand, dissatisfied. Yang Chen smiled helplessly. Not spend recklessly? Not only does he have to spend recklessly, but he also has to spend as much as possible. He needs to see how the enhanced function works. Alright, I got it. Just as they were talking, Yang Chen's phone also rang. He picked up the call and saw a familiar name. Zhang Yu. His nickname was Octopus, his good buddy. When the company went bankrupt, his own set of houses almost got liquidated. It was Zhang Yu who took out his savings accumulated over the years and helped him out. Zhang Yu should be penniless now. Hello. Yang Chen answered the phone. Hey, Lao Su. I'm driving over to pick you up. Cheer up. I'll take you to make money. Zhang Yu's urgent voice came through. Come to the West Hua Road to pick me up. I'm here. Oh, I'm just one intersection away. Wait for me. He hung up the phone. Yang Chen helplessly looked at Sun Anchi. He had wanted to buy something and treat himself to a sumptuous dinner cooked by Sun Anchi. Sun Anchi took the gym bag and clothes from his hand and raised her head. Perfect, I'll go home and try on clothes by myself. Who cares about you? Whom she made a face at Yang Chen and left on her own. Yang Chen smiled faintly. In a moment, a new Jetta stopped in front of him and the car window rolled down. Zhang Yu arrogantly pushed his hair back. Get in the car. What's gotten into you today? You actually went out, shaved your beard, and washed your face. Zhang Yu looked at Yang Chen, who was in good spirits, and compared him to the guy who wanted to slap him a while ago. He was completely different. He was puzzled. I've come back to life. Yang Chen smiled and then looked inside the car, asking, This isn't your car, right? I remember you sold yours. Borrowed it. We're going to discuss something important. Let me tell you, I've found a big project. If we handle it well, we can step by step, grow and become stronger. Create more glory. Zhang Yu drove with one hand and vigorously waved his fist with the other. It's not that solar power project you wanted to do last time, is it? Yang Chen said helplessly. Zhang Yu awkwardly smiled, that. That's like Wu Delong marrying Kardashian, it's hard to say. So what's this project about? Let me tell you about this project. It's like a stink bug falling from the ceiling, you can just lie down and eat it. Are you trying to gross me out? Yang Chen glanced at him. This silly guy always had a mouthful of idioms, it's been so many years, he could publish a collection. Do you know we have a big internet celebrity in our city? His name is Ma Guabao. He claims to be a master of Xingyi and even knows Qigong, but he's actually a fraud. Yang Chen nodded, even if he never left the house, he knew about him. That guy was a source of joy. That's him. Their team is currently looking for temporary workers, specifically those with good physique and muscles. They want to package us as boxers, give us some titles, and then let us fake fight. As long as we get knocked down by him, it's done. Eight cents per fight. Eight cents. Zhang Yu clenched his teeth and made an eight gesture. Yang Chen nodded. Eight cents, and it's in New York. This is what you call a good project. TSK, why don't you stay at home instead? Look at your muscles. They're already at a professional level. As for me, I'm tall and strong. I'm definitely qualified. What's this called? It's called closing the door and pinching the crotch rushing an inch. Zhang Yu proudly told Yang Chen. At this moment, they encountered a red light ahead, and Zhang Yu stopped the car steadily. But after a moment, there was a loud bang, and the car shook violently. Both of them looked back at the same time. 
It turned out that a car was chasing them from behind. Damn it! Zhang Yu cursed silently, pulled the handbrake, and both of them quickly got out of the car. The car that hit them was a bright red BMW 5 Series with temporary license plates. It was a brand new car. A woman wearing high heels, a tight skirt, and heavy makeup got out of the car. She was still holding a phone that was in a call. When she saw the huge dent in the front of her car, she became furious and shouted into the phone, I'll call you back later, I've got a problem. Then she hung up the call and yelled at Zhang Yu, how did you drive? When Zhang Yu got out of the car, he was already angry. This was a car he borrowed, regardless of whether the other party would compensate or not, it would be difficult to explain when he returned it for repairs. But when he saw that it was a brand new BMW, he became a bit timid. Being shouted at by this woman made him lose all his momentum. There was nothing he could do, this was what it meant to be poor, even if you were right, you had no confidence. Poverty makes people short-sighted. This, you hit me, you rear-ended me, Zhang Yu said with a face full of grievances. The woman's chest heaved with anger, her eyes widened even more. What? I rear-ended you. If you didn't stop randomly, could I have rear-ended you? Didn't I stop at the red light? You braked so suddenly, how could I react in time? I've been stopped here for a while, and you only hit me now. Shut up. Stop talking, you're disgusting. Pay up. You won't leave without five cents today. The woman impatiently waved her hand, her face full of disgust. Five cents. It'll cost me one cent at most to fix this car. Zhang Yu shouted in fear. This is a new car. A five cent BMW, I just drove it out of the 4S store. It's brand new. And it hit you, you idiot. Look at the dent on the front. The woman yelled at the top of her lungs, and the surrounding cars stopped to watch the commotion. Zhang Yu immediately became anxious and grabbed his hair. You understand clearly, you rear-ended, it's entirely your fault, and no one is taking care of my car yet. Can we just stop arguing and go our separate ways? I won't hold you responsible, okay? Zhang Yu just wants to settle things peacefully. He just wants to admit his mistake and quickly get rid of this 5 cent BMW. This Jetta is worth at most 5 cents. Don't you understand human language? I told you to compensate me, why are you talking nonsense about some useless currency? The woman pointed at Zhang Yu and cursed. Even some passing drivers nearby couldn't stand it anymore. Brother, don't back down, stand up to her. It's rare to see someone so arrogant after rear-ending someone. She's clueless about traffic regulations and yet she's demanding money from others. Exactly, if it were me, I would have slapped her already. Of course, these people are just passing by, showing off without understanding Zhang Yu's predicament. He is most afraid that this woman is wealthy. If she knows people in the traffic department, the punishment might not be favorable. The cost of compensating her for the BMW would be more expensive than repairing his own car. Call the police. At this moment, Yang Chen took out his phone and coldly glanced at the woman, dialing the traffic police department's number. When the woman heard the words, call the police, her eyebrows furrowed and she angrily looked at Yang Chen. What business is it of yours, you idiot? Shut up! She glared fiercely at Yang Chen, her eyes seemingly ready to devour him. Instead of making a phone call, Yang Chen saw a traffic enforcement officer approaching from not far away. What's going on? The woman immediately started shouting. Comrade, you arrived just in time. I was driving perfectly fine, but this idiot suddenly slammed on the brakes, causing my brand new car to be damaged. He refuses to compensate me. That's not true. I parked normally, Zhang Yu quickly explained. Just because you say it's normal, does that make it normal? Ha, huh? you think you have the final say. Shut up. The woman was really good at throwing a tantrum, making everyone's eardrums ache. Zhang Yu couldn't even get a word in. The enforcement officer glanced at her and said indifferently, based on my observation, it's entirely your fault. The other party doesn't have to compensate you. I'll know for sure after reviewing the surveillance footage. First, show me your documents. Why should I? What kind of junk car is this? Mine is a BMW. How much is 5 cents? Regardless of whose fault it is, he still has to compensate me. What does entirely your fault mean? She had no idea whose fault the accident was, she only knew that her new car was damaged. Stop talking nonsense. Show me your driver's license and registration, quickly. The enforcement officer frowned and scolded. Zhang Yu sighed and went to get his documents. But when he heard the request for a driver's license, the woman's eyebrows furrowed and she looked a bit panicked. Well, I don't have my driver's license with me. What about your ID card? The enforcement officer became alert and asked her. The woman hesitated. I don't have my ID card either. The enforcement officer frowned even more, then he lowered his head and saw that the woman was wearing high heels. He immediately understood and pointed at her. 
Don't move, wait here. He said and walked towards a nearby enforcement booth, presumably to call for backup or retrieve some evidence. The woman glared maliciously at Zhang Yu and Yang Chen, cursing, you two pieces of garbage. Just wait and see how I deal with you. As she spoke, she picked up her phone in a panic and dialed a number. As soon as the call connected, she coquettishly said, oh honey, I, I got into an accident with two losers at the intersection, and then the enforcement officer came and targeted me. Hurry up and come over. Yes, yes, I'll send you my location. At that moment, Yang Chen's phone also rang. It was an unknown number. Hello? Hello? Is this Mr. Yang Chen? This is Qian Xiaohu. The voice of Qian Xiaohu came from the other end of the phone, and Yang Chen was slightly stunned. Do you need something? Oh, I see. I heard from Li Mei that your girlfriend will attend a birthday party in a couple of days. Li Mei already prepared a gift for her, so I was wondering if I should also. Yang Chen chuckled inwardly, knowing that Qian Xiaohu was just trying to be considerate. No need, it's just a small gathering. Yang Chen declined. All right. I'll follow your lead. By the way, how did you get my number? Li Mei doesn't even have it. Oh, don't be angry. I'm quite familiar with the boss at our city hall, so I asked him to help me find it. Qian Xiaohu said nervously. Oh, I see. Yang Chen suddenly realized, while also showing interest in the woman next to him. I have to go now, I'm quite busy. Someone crashed into our car and is asking me for money. Yang Chen said with a smile. Ha! Huh? Qian Xiaohu was dumbfounded. Is that even possible? Yes, it seems like they were driving without a license, wearing high heels, and had a very arrogant attitude. I think people like that should be banned from driving for life. I understand. Whom? Seeing that Qian Xiaohu understood, Yang Chen hung up the phone. He didn't want to use Qian Xiaohu's help originally, but it seemed that the woman had already found someone. If he didn't use it, she might really get what she wanted. Oomph, banned from driving for life. You're such a fool. You probably don't know the power of connections, do you? Hearing Yang Chen's relaxed tone on the phone, she couldn't help but get angry and mock him. Oh, so you have connections? Yang Chen asked with interest. Do you know who my boyfriend is? If he says the word, do you think I can't get you into trouble? Fool, there are some things you simply don't understand. Prepare to die. The more she looked at Yang Chen's calm expression, the more she hated him, wishing she could tear his mouth apart. Perhaps her boyfriend was nearby, because in less than two minutes, the enforcement officer hadn't returned yet, and a Maserati parked by the roadside. A chubby man quickly walked over. As soon as Yang Chen saw this person, he couldn't help but laugh. This chubby man was none other than Zhang Pangzi, whom he had met at Li Mei's shop. Zhang Pangzi's eyes widened in shock halfway through running, then quickly turned into bitterness. The woman hurriedly approached him and coquettishly said, Honey, you're finally here. You scared me. If you didn't come, they would have started hitting me. But Zhang Pangzi kept staring at Yang Chen, swallowing hard and smiling obsequiously. Um, Mr. Yang, we, we meet again. Yes, twice in one day. Quite a coincidence. Yang Chen nodded. Yes, yes, it's a coincidence. Zhang Pangzi smiled along. The BMW woman looked puzzled. She wasn't stupid and could tell that Zhang Pangzi couldn't afford to offend the other party. She was suddenly alarmed. Zhang Pangzi suddenly turned his head and glared at the woman making the BMW woman tremble. What's going on? Speak. They stopped here, and I didn't notice, so I crashed into them. The car is already damaged, so I just wanted them to compensate me. Are you an idiot? You rear-ended them, so it's entirely your fault. And you're asking someone else for money. Are you brainless? Zhang Pangzi was furious, grabbing her face and pulling it hard. The BMW woman's face instantly turned red from being pulled, and she covered her face, feeling wronged. I... I didn't know it was entirely my fault. I, I don't understand. Zheng Pangzi took a deep breath in anger, then rummaged through his wallet and took out a one cent coin, awkwardly handing it to Yang Chen. Mr. Yang, please take this money to repair your car. Yang Chen accepted the coin without hesitation. He never dreamed that one day, such a large coin could resolve such a matter. We have something to do, so we'll leave first. You can stay here and wait for the handling. Yang Chen said as he was about to get in the car. They had no responsibility in this matter, so they could leave at any time, especially with Qian Xiaowu taking care of it Mr. Yang, can you say something good to Mr. Tang? The contract here is too important to us. Zheng Pangzi hesitated and pleaded. Yang Chen gave him a cold glance. You've provoked me twice in one day. I'm already giving you face by not pursuing it further. Are you bargaining with me? No, 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 I wouldn't dare. Zheng Pangzi shook his head repeatedly, bitterly smiling as he took two steps back. 
Yang Chen signaled to Zhang Yu, and they got into the car and drove away. Zhang Yu was a bit confused throughout the whole process. Yang Chen had indeed come back to life. The confident and strategic Yang Chen from before had returned. He was a bit excited as he got into the car, and they quickly left the scene. Once Zhang Pangzi saw them drive away, his eyes filled with burning anger. He turned around and grabbed the BMW woman by her hair, viciously ramming her towards the BMW. He was going crazy. He couldn't help but think that he had brought bad luck upon himself. All the women he found seemed to be troublemakers. He had provoked this jinx twice in one day, and he had no doubt that one word from Yang Chen could completely ruin his family. The BMW woman screamed in agony, and some passersby who knew what had happened shouted from a distance. In the car, Zhang Yu asked in confusion, What the hell just happened, Lao Su? Why is that fat guy so afraid of you? And who is this Mr. Tang? He's someone I used to know in business. I needed a favor from him, Yang Chen casually brushed it off, then took Zhang Yu's phone. By the way, I sold my house and got some money. I'll transfer five cents to you first. What? Zhang Yu was so shocked that he slammed on the brakes and pulled over to the side of the road. I only gave you one cent. Why are you giving me so much? Yang Chen knew his buddy too well. If he gave him too much, he definitely wouldn't accept it. Five cents was the limit he could convince him to take. Besides, he couldn't tell him that he was rich now. It would be hard to explain. Do you think I'm giving it to you? This is for Aunt Lin. She raised you, a fool, and it wasn't easy. Then, what are you going to do after selling your house? You don't have a house either. Let's go work for Magwabao, Yang Chun chuckled. All right, you're really stirring up trouble in front of Wusong looking for excitement. Spent 5 cents, gained 50 points. Current points, 55, enhanced attributes activated. Finally, the system spoke up. Sitting in the car, Yang Chen started studying this enhancement point. Each point could be exchanged for one enhancement point, and currently, there was only one option for the enhancement point. Comprehensive attributes, zero, comprehensive attributes include but are not limited to strength, speed, reaction, resistance to attacks, hearing, vision, smell, etc. Yang Chen was speechless. It was too comprehensive. But at the moment, the points only had this one use, so there was no need to dwell on it. Add them all to the comprehensive attributes. Comprehensive attributes, 55 points. After adding them, Yang Chen felt a distinct tightening throughout his body. He could clearly sense that something marvelous was happening to his body. He clenched his fist, feeling like all aspects of his body had indeed improved, although not very noticeably. It was subtle, but any improvement was a good thing, and Yang Chen didn't dwell on it. After all, he still had to spend the points. During their trip, they didn't meet Magua Bao, but the manager really took a liking to them. They agreed to have a big premiere in two days and asked them to come. The salary would be 8 cents. That night, the two of them had a big meal at a roadside stall, and Yang Chen finally saw the haobi, a coin worth one haomai, which was half the size of a one cent coin. There were also 1, 2, 5, 10, 20, 50, 100, 200, and 500 haobi. Beyond that, there were fin coins, which were slightly larger than haobi, and then jiao coins. These were all considered high denominations. It was rare to see jiao coins in circulation, as anything above that had hidden gold threads after drinking, Sun Anchi had already fallen asleep when Yang Chen returned home. When Yang Chen woke up the next morning, Sun Anchi had already gone to work. Yang Chen freshened up and packed his gym bag, heading straight to Sun Anchi's gym. As soon as he stepped into the gym, the receptionist sighed upon seeing him. Yang Chen didn't mind and shamelessly smiled at the receptionist, raising his eyebrows in a familiar manner. The receptionist gave him a disdainful look and reluctantly reached for the intercom to call Sun Anchi. This was the usual process for Yang Chen being brought in by a fitness coach to train. However, this time, Yang Chen gestured for her to stop and pressed his finger to his lips. Don't call her yet, I'm not taking the class today, I want to get a membership card first. A puzzled look appeared on the receptionist's face. Yang Chen had been coming to the gym to train for quite some time. Because the gym was not a particularly strict place and there was no significant wear and tear, the staff at the gym were usually allowed to occasionally bring friends to play. However, Yang Chen rarely did this and treated it as a place for long-term exercise. Why did he suddenly want to get a membership card today? Did he suddenly have money? Do you have money? The receptionist, who could be considered the second person Yang Chen was most familiar with at the gym, was not polite. How do you talk to God? Yang Chen replied irritably. The receptionist rolled her eyes at him and then pressed the intercom button, calling for a membership consultant. There were two sales positions in the gym, one was a membership consultant responsible for selling gym cards, and the other was a fitness coach responsible for selling various fitness courses and teaching them. 
Soon, a curly-haired man in his mid-twenties came running out of the membership office. He looked happy when he saw the receptionist, but his expression immediately turned sour when he saw Yang Chen. He walked to the receptionist with a furrowed brow. Do we have a customer? The receptionist pointed at Yang Chen. The membership consultant's face immediately turned cold and he said, I won't take him. Let him go. The receptionist glared at him, dissatisfied. They could argue and make trouble among themselves, but saying such things in front of a customer was not a professional attitude. Why won't you take him? Don't you know that Sun Anchi brings him here to train every day? It's my turn now and you give me a customer like this. At most, he'll get a seasonal card or a half-year card. He might even ask about the price and not get one in the end. Are you intentionally giving me a difficult customer? I won't take him. The curly-haired man didn't care whether Yang Chen was present or not. He immediately started shouting, tilting his head and adopting a very tough attitude. It was almost the end of the month and he was just a little behind in his performance, but every visitor was crucial now. And now that he finally had a chance, it turned out to be so unlucky. This son Anchi, who brought someone to train every day, wanted to get a membership card. If he had money, would he still be training here? At most, he would ask about it and maybe get a seasonal or monthly card. How much performance could that bring? If he took on Yang Chen, he wouldn't have any more time for other customers in the short term, and he would lose the opportunity for a big sale. He wouldn't be able to surpass the first place. The top salesperson received an extra bonus of 3 cents every month. He couldn't let Yang Chen ruin it. The receptionist slammed the pen she was holding on the counter. Sun Li Chao, will you take him or not? If you don't, don't take any visitors today. Although the receptionist was not tall and had a petite figure, she was clearly not someone to be messed with. She was a straightforward and assertive person. In the gym, some receptionists had more power than membership consultants or even coaches. Not to mention, she could report them. The curly-haired man glared at the receptionist, his anger evident, and then gave Yang Chen a fierce look he can't afford to provoke little Chile, but he can still disgust Yang Chen. He immediately rolls his eyes and turns to the side, muttering, what a disgusting toad, not biting but disgusting. He could have applied for the card any other day, but he insisted on doing it today, idiot. If it were someone with a thin face, they would have left when they saw them arguing. Yang Chen shook his head and smiled bitterly. This person is really strange, but maybe this money shouldn't belong to him. Yang Chen looked at the receptionist and said, since you can also sell cards, if they don't want to deal with me, don't force them. I'll just get one from you. In their club, receiving customers at the front desk was just a procedure, but anyone could sell cards. Even the janitor's acquaintances who came to get a card would give her a commission. Oh, right. Why don't you sell it yourself? Ju Meifeni immediately found an opportunity and said to Little Chili. Little Chili looked at Ju Meifeni with some resentment and asked, Are you sure you don't want to deal with him? This doesn't count as a natural visit. He specifically came to you to get the card. Why do you have to force it on me? Hey. Just let her handle it. Zhu Meifen said with a sneer, the last sentence directed at Yang Chen. Yang Chen always felt that this guy had a flamboyant vibe. After he finished speaking, he pretended to walk towards the membership office. Well, it seems that you have to earn your own money, and I'll earn mine from God. Yang Chen took out his phone and tapped it on the front desk, smiling playfully. The receptionist gave him a disdainful look. How long does it take? Why don't you introduce it to me first? Introduce what? Aren't you more familiar with it than me? There are two types of cards, regular and platinum. The regular card can only be used in this store for workouts, while the platinum card can be used in all chain stores, including smart service areas, coffee shops, cabinets, VR, and so on. The seasonal card is 800 milli, the half-year card is 1. 2 cents, the annual card is 2 cents, the 2-year card is 3. 5 cents, the 3-year card is 5 cents. The unlimited card is 5 cents. The platinum card is twice the price of the regular card. Although she said introduce what sarcastically, she was actually very knowledgeable about it. I want four unlimited platinum cards. After listening, Yang Chen tapped the table again. The receptionist's mouth twitched twice in anger, grinding her teeth. This guy was really playing with her. Regardless of the number of years on the fitness card, it was only for the cardholder's personal use. Only this unlimited platinum card meant unlimited usage, not limited to the cardholder or any specific store. Why are you staring at me? I'm giving the other three to someone else. Yang Chen blew air at her. I'll bite you. Fine, but after you bite, you better get back to work quickly. Yang Chen said, stretching his neck towards her. This made the girl so angry that she wanted to hit him with a pen. 
Yang Chen stopped teasing her, shook his head and smiled, and took out a few forms from her desk to fill out himself. Little Chili was stunned. Yang Chen usually joked around, but he always knew his limits and never made her uncomfortable. Could it be that he really wanted to apply for a card? Yang Chen filled out the forms seriously, then scanned the payment code on the table. WeChat payment, 4 cents. Hearing the amount, Little Chili was startled. One unlimited platinum card cost 1 cent, and he was getting 4. That's 4 cents, enough for a down payment on a two-bedroom apartment. And here he was. Successful purchase, 4 cents, earning 40 points. Just from the annual interest from the system bank, he would receive 12,500 cents. But that money was useless unless he spent it and earned points. So Yang Chen had to find ways to spend money. If it weren't for fear that Little Chili would think he was a fool, he would have gotten 10 unlimited platinum cards. Are you really going to? Little Chili was so scared that she stuttered. With 20% commission, she would earn 8 cents from one center. Her monthly salary was only 4 cents. You're about to die. Hurry up and enter the information. Yang Chen scolded angrily. Oh, oops, I misspoke. Xiao La Jiao finally snapped out of it and quickly made cute spitting sounds before hurriedly starting to input the information. She quickly reached into the drawer and took out the Western Platinum card and handed it to Yang Chen. It's done. Get got a glass of water. Yang Chen nodded and arrogantly gave the order. Without hesitation, Shala Jiao ran quickly to fetch a glass of water. Let God pinch your face. Yang Chen pinched Shala Jiao's chubby cheeks, making both of them burst into laughter. All right, I won't tease you anymore. I'll go in first. Yang Chen smiled and playfully teased Shala Jiao. They had each other's WeChat and had played around before, so he really liked Shao La Jiao's personality. Moreover, Shao La Jiao was able to work at the front desk, she had a petite and beautiful figure, which was quite rare. Okay, Godspeed, Shao La Jiao mischievously said. She wasn't the materialistic type of girl, but maybe in the past, Yang Chen didn't joke around as joyfully with her because of his poverty. It was all in good fun, and she enjoyed it. She thought Yang Chen was a humorous person with personal charm. She smiled and watched Yang Chen's back as he entered the gym, then clenched her fists and happily exclaimed yes. After all, it was 8 cents, a sum of money she couldn't earn in a year. Then she remembered the beauty points she had just earned and thought about sending a message to make that guy regret it. But after thinking about it, she was afraid that the beauty points would bother Yang Chen and cause trouble for him. I'll send it before I get off work at noon. Yang Chen put the card in his bag and quietly sneaked into the gym. He had planned to surprise Sun Anchi today. He walked along the wall to the personal trainer's office, which had transparent floor-to-ceiling glass. He looked inside. No one. He carefully looked at the wall and indeed saw a blackboard with the personal achievements of the trainers for this month. Strangely, he had looked at it before, also in this position, but it wasn't very clear. But today, it seemed much clearer. Could it be the effect of the 55 comprehensive attribute points from yesterday? Yang Chen murmured, then immediately exchanged the 40 points he had just obtained for the comprehensive attribute. Comprehensive attribute, 95 points, he felt a slight sensation, as if an electric current was flowing through his body. This strange feeling seemed to make every cell in his body tremble and change. He looked inside again. Sure enough, it was a bit clearer than before. He could see Sun Anchi's name, ranked second to last. Only 9 duty points. There were a total of 8 trainers, 3 women, and 5 men. The first and second places were occupied by the other two women. Sun Anchi was only ranked seventh. It should be noted that female trainers were highly sought after in the personal training field, especially someone like Sun Anchi with such a high level of professionalism. It seems that this idiot is really not suitable for the sales industry. The first place sales performance had already reached eight. Nine beauty points. The name was Zhang Lily. Just as Yang Chen was craning his neck to look inside, he heard footsteps behind him. Hello? Can I help you with anything? Yang Chen startled and turned around, instantly stunned. Before him stood a stunning beauty, graceful and lively, with exquisite makeup that perfectly accentuated her slightly raised red lips, adding a touch of charm to her pure temperament. This woman was called Lin Zuxian. She was the true owner of this club and reportedly started from scratch. At a young age, she had opened six Yunhai fitness clubs in Yunhai province and pioneered the immersive fitness experience with intelligent services. While all other gyms were losing money, she had thrived in the fitness industry in Yunhai with her intelligent services This is the same place where Sun Anchi secretly introduced him when she happened to visit last time. It seems that she is here to inspect the gym again this time. Maybe it's a secret visit, so she didn't follow the store manager and the manager. You seem to be the big boss of this club, I've seen you before, Young Chin said with a smile. 
Lin Zuxian smiled sweetly. She had just come in to change clothes and inspect the work properly. But as soon as she entered, she met the receptionist Xiao La Jiao, who told her some shocking news. Just now, someone applied for the West Zhang Unlimited Platinum Card. She was surprised. Since the opening of the Unlimited Platinum Card, less than 20 cards have been sold in all six stores, and almost all of them were negotiated by herself. She didn't expect someone to apply for the West Zhang Card. That's why she was interested in meeting this person, so she came to strike up a conversation. She politely asked, Yes, I am the owner of this place. How can I assist you? I want to buy some personal training sessions, Yang Chen said truthfully. All right, let me call the manager of the personal training department to arrange a coach for you, Lin Zuxian replied. Wait, this matter is a bit complicated. I need you to personally handle it, Yang Chen said. Originally, Yang Chen wanted to surprise Sun Anqi and spend some money to earn points, but when he saw Lin Zuxian, he had a better idea. Okay, come with me, Lin Zuxian said with a slight smile. She didn't show any dissatisfaction. As the behind-the-scenes boss, she had store managers for all six stores. It had been a long time since she personally handled any business. The two of them arrived at the store manager's office, and Lin Zuxian lightly knocked on the door. Yang Chen nodded secretly. Even when entering a subordinate's office, she still knocked on the door, which showed her good manners. Come in. As soon as they entered the store manager's office, they saw another woman sitting inside. This woman was almost 40 years old, looked very capable, and was busy writing something with her head down. When she saw someone coming in, she looked up, first stunned, and then stood up slightly excitedly. Boss, why are you here? It's nothing, Sun Jia, continue with your work, Lin Zuxian said. She asked Sun Jia to sit down and then let Yang Chin sit on the sofa. Sun Jia couldn't sit still and quickly went to pour water. My name is Lin Zuxian, may I know your name, sir? My name is Yang Chen. Mr. Yang, what kind of course would you like to buy? Let me be straightforward. I am friends with your personal trainer, Sun Anqi. I want to give her a little surprise and buy a $5 class for her, Yang Chen said casually. Lin Zuxian's mouth slightly opened in shock, and she couldn't help but be stunned. Sun Jia, who was pouring water at the water dispenser, also trembled, causing the water to spill. $5. $5, Lin Zuxian was shocked. This person not only bought several unlimited platinum cards, but also wanted to buy a $5 class. The highest price for a fitness class here was only 300 cents, according to the highest price. 3 cents for 10 classes, 3 cents for 100 classes, 30 cents for 1,000 classes, $3 for 10,000 classes, and $5 for nearly 20,000 classes. This was enough for this trainer to have classes for half of her life. That's right, $5, Yang Chen confirmed. Mr. Yang, with such a large purchase, do you have any other special requests? Although we are in business, we won't make our female trainers do things they don't want to do, Lin Zuxian said, lightly biting her lip. She had already been quite tactful in her words. Everyone was an adult and naturally understood. Yang Chen knew that Lin Zuxian had misunderstood, but he still affirmed her approach. $5 was not a small amount. The total monthly sales performance of her store did not exceed 5 or 6 cents. You misunderstood. I already said that I am friends with Anchi. I just want to give her a little surprise and make her happy. She has been worried lately. Yang Chen explained. Recently, Sun Anchi has been troubled by her performance, and she's not happy with how things are going. She can't find a job anywhere because her former classmates have been mocking her, so she's very distressed. Otherwise, she wouldn't have gone to the birthday party and tried to find a way. Lin Zuxian was speechless. A little surprise? Just to make someone happy? She couldn't help but envy Sun Anchi. She was also shocked by Yang Chen's generosity. To take out $5 to make a girl happy, who is this super rich second generation? Could he be the young master of some big family? That was my narrow-mindedness. I'm sorry, Mr. Young. It's okay, but I have one more request. After I buy it, don't announce who this performance is for. Just say it's for a certain female coach. When you have a meeting tomorrow to tally the end-of-month performance, then you can tell her it's her performance. Yang Chen smiled. Since it's a surprise, it's better to come out when she least expects it. You really spoil her. With a friend like you, Anchi is so lucky. Lin Zuxian smiled. Although Yang Chen didn't say that he and Sun Anchi were in a relationship, a man wouldn't do this just for pure friendship, right? Let's not joke around. There is no pure friendship between men and women, unless one of them is too ugly to look at. Well, Mr. Yang, can I add you on WeChat? You can transfer the money to me, and I can handle it for you. Lin Zuxian took out her phone. The transfer was fake, she wanted to add Yang Chen on WeChat and take a look at his moments. She wasn't someone who sought power and wealth, 
but the longer she stayed in the business world, the more she understood the importance of connections. More friends mean more paths, more enemies mean more obstacles. Even if you don't seek others, you should know who you shouldn't mess with. Sure, Yang Chen didn't mind, he added her on WeChat, transferred the money, and the store manager went to handle it. The store manager naturally knew about Yang Chen's free training, because the manager of the coaching department occasionally mentioned it, but the store manager turned a blind eye. The Yunhai Club was very big, and it was good to have more people occasionally to increase popularity. But today, Yang Chen overturned her worldview. Five dollars, said and done, she had never seen such a generous person. Following Yang Chen's instructions, the accounting department sent out a big announcement, but only mentioned a certain female coach without revealing her name. Yang Chen chatted with Lin Zuxian for a while and found that although Lin Zuxian seemed mature, she was only one year older than him. She was only 26 years old this year, the same age as him, and seemed to be single. She started her business with scholarships in college and gradually made it to where she is now, showing her remarkable abilities. Lin Zuxian originally thought that Yang Chen was some rich second generation, but after chatting for a while, she had a new perspective on him. This person not only had a strong personal charm, but also a sense of humor and no airs of a wealthy person. He was truly rare. After bidding farewell to them, Yang Chen entered the gym and went to exercise with Sun Anchi. But it didn't take long. The private coach group exploded. Fuck. Five dollars. Whose order is this? Damn, I don't know. It wasn't written on the announcement. Only the performance was mentioned. Lily, is it yours? Didn't Chen Gu say he was going to give you a big order? Maybe it's a surprise from Chen Gu? The group was buzzing with excitement. Meanwhile, in a storage room behind the gym, a battle was taking place. The two sides of the battle were Jiang Lily and the coaches from the private coaching department. This place was usually where the coaches hid to smoke, but when the door was locked, it became a battlefield. The two quickly finished their fight, and the fitness coach lit a cigarette, while Jiang Lily cleaned up after him. The manager of the private coaching department had small eyes, a crew cut, and a somewhat fierce look in his eyes. He casually picked up the phone next to him and scrolled through it. Fuck. What's wrong? John Lilly stood up and asked in confusion he glanced at his phone. Five dollars? John Lilly was shocked when she saw the congratulatory message from the accounting department. Female coach? And no signature? Could it be mine? After the initial shock, John Lilly was overjoyed. Do you have any recent members like this? The personal training manager, Chen Chao, looked at Jiang Lily with confusion. He was also very excited because regardless of who it was, it would count towards the overall performance, and he would receive a commission. However, Jiang Lily thought for a moment. That person with the surname Wang? No, he shouldn't have that much money. Li Gu? Li Gu is also unlikely. She thought it over and was certain that no one would spend so much money on her. She knew what kind of person she was, and she definitely wasn't worth that much. Could it be that bitch son Anchi? Li Gu and the others have offered her this kind of price before, but she refused. Could it be that she finally agreed? Chen Chao thought with a hint of excitement. If Sun Anchi really started to succumb to money, then maybe he would have a chance to? That woman, Sun Anchi, was much better than John Lily, who was worthless. Probably not, otherwise why wouldn't there be a signature? I think it's some rich guy who saw a female coach at the gym and wanted to get close to her by spending money. We've seen this kind of person before. John Lilly quickly imagined a clueless rich guy who didn't understand anything, going to the accounting department to buy personal training sessions and shouting for two female coaches. That's probably it, and even if it is, it's probably because they saw Sun Anchi. Chen Chao nodded, this was probably the most reasonable explanation, as this situation had happened before. Many members didn't understand how personal training worked and thought that buying sessions meant they could choose any coach to teach them, so they would buy sessions without hesitation. Although John Lily was unhappy with Chen Chao praising Sun Anchi in front of her, she had to admit that he made sense. Regardless, this deal definitely can't go to that bitch Sun Anchi. I want this deal. John Lily said straightforwardly. It was $5, and according to their commission structure, she would earn more than 7 cents from this deal. 7 cents, which could be used as a down payment for a two bedroom apartment. This was a windfall. But thinking about it, Chen Chao would manipulate things behind the scenes and take 70% of the money. That would leave her with just over two cents. Of course, this deal is definitely ours. Chen Chao's eyes flickered as he thought about how to handle it. As he thought, a lewd smile appeared on his face. He quickly put on his clothes and left the storage room. Jiang Lily lit a cigarette, took out her phone, and started browsing her shopping cart with her legs crossed. With a commission of two cents, she could clear her shopping cart as soon as she received it. That bitch son Anchi, watch me not get angry with you this time. Ah, 
what a stroke of luck. Five dollars, enough to buy so many sessions, it's better than giving it to me privately. After clearing the shopping cart, maybe I can even buy a car. The money hadn't even arrived yet, and Zhang Lily was already planning her spending. Little did she know, at this moment, Chen Xiao didn't go to the accounting department, but went straight to the training area. Anqi. Chen Xiao saw Sun Anqi from afar, talking to Yang Chen. Sun Anqi playfully pinched Yang Chen, who had a playful smile on his face. They were flirting. He instantly felt extremely unhappy. What's so good about this loser? Sun Anqi exercised with him all the time. They often had physical contact. It was disgusting to see them together all the time. Manager Sun Anqi was taken aback, but now he wasn't afraid of the manager mentioning Yang Chen anymore, because just now Yang Chen had gotten her a new infinite platinum card, which caused her to blame Yang Chen for spending money recklessly again. Anqi, I. He smiled and spoke, but when he saw that Yang Chen didn't leave, he immediately frowned unhappily and said, Do you have any eyes? This is a work conversation, can you please leave? However, what he faced was Yang Chen's indifferent and icy gaze. Chen Chao's heart instinctively skipped a beat, and he swallowed hard. He understood that feeling of fear. It was fear. Seeing the tense atmosphere, Sun Anqi gently nudged Yang Chen. I'll wait for you over there. Yang Chen casually said, then turned and walked towards the free power zone. As soon as he turned and walked away, Chen Xiao breathed a sigh of relief, but quickly became angry at himself for being afraid of this loser. He cursed himself silently, suppressing his anger. What's wrong, manager? Oh, it's like this. Returning to business, Chen Xiao quickly put on a different face, with a self-proclaimed charming smirk. Did you see the group just now? A member bought a $5 class, and it was assigned to a female coach. But in reality, it's Jung Lily, I negotiated it for her. But as for this achievement, whether I give it to someone or not, it's all up to me. After all, it's $5, not a small amount. As he spoke, he licked his lips, feeling a bit dry, and looked at Sun Anchi with a somewhat heated gaze. When Sun Anchi heard about the $5, she was also startled, but she had already felt Chen Chao's gaze. Chen Chao had hinted at her a few times before, wanting achievements, and that meant sleeping with him. What do you mean? Sun Anchi asked with a slightly furrowed brow. What else could it mean, Anchi? Let me be clear, I can give you half of this achievement, as long as you come to my place tonight and have a drink with me, we won't do anything, can't we? Chen Chao chuckled. Can you really not do anything after drinking? This couldn't be any clearer. Give up on that idea, I'm not like John Lily. Since it's her achievement, you better handle it properly. Sun Anchi smiled coldly and said lightly. Chen Chao looked at Sun Anchi coldly and threatened in a low voice, You really don't know what's good for you, Sun Anchi. I've mentioned it to you more than once, but you keep rejecting me. I've given you face, haven't I? You're the one who doesn't know what's good for you, get lost. Sun Anchi took a deep breath and suppressed her anger. If it weren't for the fact that she didn't have a suitable job, she would have quit a long time ago. But she still had rent to pay and food to eat, she couldn't afford to be picky. Alright, Sun Anchi, you're quite something, you'll regret it. Chen Shao saw that Sun Anchi's expression had changed and immediately wore a cold smile. He pointed at Sun Anchi with his finger and then quickly walked towards the store manager's office. Without even knocking on the door, Chen Shao pushed the door open and saw Sun Jie through the crack in the door. Sun Jie frowned. Chen Shao had already put on a different face at this point, smiling as he approached. But with a sweep of his eyes, he actually saw someone sitting on the sofa. With a stunning appearance, who else could it be if not the big boss Lin Zuxian? Chen Shao couldn't help but swallow his saliva harshly, his gaze swept over Lin Zuxian's thigh, and his expression became even more flattering. This beautiful boss had also appeared in his fantasies many times, but usually they were too far apart. Unexpectedly, she appeared here today. It was truly a stroke of luck. Coincidentally, a big deal came today. If he could take credit for it and catch Lin Zuxian's attention, maybe even have a chance to get closer to her. Who let you in? Sun Jia looked at Chen Shao with annoyance, pulling him back from his fantasies. Boss, you're here too. Chen Shao didn't even hear what Sister Sun said. He excitedly greeted Lin Zuxian first. Boss, I just happened to have something to report to you. I just closed a big deal worth 5 US dollars and rushed over to share the good news with you. Chen Shao took a few steps forward as he spoke. Lin Zuxian raised an eyebrow. A big deal worth 5 US dollars? Did you negotiate it? Chen Shao was cautious and didn't claim it as his own. Instead, he said, um, it wasn't negotiated today. I helped Jiang Lily negotiate with a client before. Jiang Lily didn't even know about it, but I managed to close the deal. The client came today, paid the money, and left. I didn't expect him to be so straightforward. I just saw him off. 
Chen Xiao was actually a very cautious person. He had originally planned to ask the store manager first to find out what was going on. Although his and Jiang Lily's speculation was mostly correct, as similar incidents had happened before, he was still afraid of making a mistake, which would cause trouble. But as soon as he opened the door and saw Lin Zuxian, his mind went blank and he instantly forgot about his usual meticulousness and started taking credit. Chen Xiao, are you talking about the personal training order worth 5 US dollars that was announced in the group just now? Sister Sun, who was standing nearby, coldly snorted and asked. Chen Xiao's attention was focused on Lin Zuxian, so he nodded immediately. Yes. Just as he was speaking, the door was pushed open again, and Jiang Lily rushed in. Jiang Lily was a bit worried, so she quickly ran over after finishing her cigarette, excited to witness the moment when the 5 US dollar achievement would be credited to her. At this moment, she saw Lin Zuxian sitting on the sofa and hurriedly greeted him. Hello, Mr. Lin. Whom? Um, Sister Sun, what about my order? Has it been credited to me? Jiang Lily anxiously asked. What order? Sister Sun pretended to be confused and asked coldly. It's the order worth 5 US dollars that was just mentioned, the one that was supposed to be assigned to the female trainer. Actually, it's mine. You can assign it to me. Jiang Lily spoke while pointing at herself, as if urging Sister Sun to act quickly. Sister Sun calmly put down her pen, leaned back, and asked, So this order is yours? What's the name of the member? Jiang Lily's smile instantly froze on her face. Oh no! She had been so eager to come and claim her share of the achievement that she forgot to first go to the accounting office to check the member's name and ask about the situation. If she had just taken a look at the member's name and casually asked about the situation, her story would have been more convincing. I, I forgot the member's name. I just remember that he's a middle-aged man, average height, average build. Jiang Lily was at a loss, but according to their speculation, it must be a man like that. Who else but those desperate middle-aged men would do such a thing? Bang! Sister Sun slammed her hand on the table, causing the pens on it to jump, even startling Lin Zuxian. He glared at her with displeasure. Shen Chao and Jiang Lily were both taken aback. Stop talking nonsense! Shen Chao, I gave you a chance, but it seems you don't know how to appreciate it. Pack up and get out, both of you are fired. What? Chen Chao's heart sank immediately. He knew he had messed up, but being fired seemed too harsh. He quickly said, Sister Sun, what are you talking about? I, I might have remembered wrong. Maybe it wasn't that client. John Lily was shocked by Sister Sun's outburst and couldn't understand the situation. She asked in a daze, fired. What's going on, Sister Sun? What's going on? Do you think I'm lacking a soul? Get out of here. Sister Sun may have been getting older, but when she glared at someone, it was absolutely intimidating. Chen Chao and Jiang Lily were dumbfounded. Yunhai Fitness Club is one of the top fitness clubs in the city. Located in a shopping mall, it has a good suction effect and is one of the few profitable fitness clubs in Tianbei City with generous benefits. However, now that Sun Jie has spoken like this, there is obviously no room for turning back. They don't have to lower themselves and can find a second best fitness club to work at. Zhang Lily walked out angrily, and Chen Chao took a deep breath and walked out unwillingly. Being fired is something they can reluctantly accept, but being deprived of the opportunity to earn $5 is unacceptable. Angry, Zhang Lily stormed into the accounting office. As soon as she arrived, she heard people discussing inside. Oh my, what good fortune has Angelina accumulated in her past life? Exactly, Sun Jie said that the $5 is a little surprise for someone to be announced tomorrow. $5, I calculated that the commission alone is 7 cents and 6 cents, enough to buy a small house. Chen Chao, who was coming from behind, also heard this discussion and instantly became furious. It's Angelina again. All $5 are for Angelina. John Lily trembled with anger and walked towards the training area with a fierce momentum. Angelina was chatting up a female member and carefully instructing her on her movements. Suddenly, she saw John Lily approaching with a fierce momentum and her eyebrows furrowed. John Lily walked up, without saying a word, raised her hand and slapped Angelina. She was so jealous that she couldn't earn 7 cents and 6 cents in 3 to 5 years. All this money was Angelina's, how could she not be angry? But it was obvious that she was no match for Angelina. Angelina immediately slapped her wrist with a backhand, forcefully pushing her hand away. John Lily went crazy with anger. You dare to fight back. Before she could finish her sentence, she felt a sharp pain in her wrist. The fire in Jiang Lily's chest couldn't come out, and she immediately lifted her leg to kick Angelina. But before she could kick, she felt her long hair being violently pulled by someone, and she was flipped over, with a small clump of hair seemingly pulled out. She fell to the ground in a mess. 
Fortunately, the training area had a rubber floor. She screamed and looked up, only to find it was Yang Chen, and she immediately cursed at him. You're asking for death. But before she could finish her sentence, Yang Chen stomped on her face. Zhang Lily felt a tremendous force, as if her head was about to explode. Her head spun, and she almost went into shock. At this point, the store manager had already rushed over with security guards, and the members who were watching the commotion also gathered around. Yang Chen gestured to the store manager, indicating that he was acting in self-defense. The store manager naturally knew what was going on, smiled apologetically at Yang Chen, and then signaled for the security guards to lift Jian Lily up. Jian Lily was still a bit dazed from being kicked, and she was dragged out like a dead dog. Chen Chao watched from a distance, with no intention of helping. Jian Lily was just his mistress, and he wouldn't stand up for her. But he hated Yang Chen to the core. Yang Chen, I'll kill you sooner or later. He gritted his teeth and angrily went to the office to pack up his things. Did you buy that $5 personal training session? As soon as they left, Sun Jie grabbed Yang Chen. Putting the pieces together, she quickly figured it out, and it seemed that there was no other explanation besides Yang Chen. Yang Chen helplessly explained that he had wanted to give her a surprise, but it was ruined by those two idiots. You fool, that's five dollars. Are you burning money just because you have it? Sun Jie stomped her foot in anger. Five dollars could buy a suburban villa. What's even more infuriating is that Yang Chen is still living with her in a shared apartment, but he used the money for a villa to buy a bunch of useless personal training sessions Yang Chen secretly laughed at himself, am I a fool? If I don't spend money like this, how can I increase my points? Do you want to eat a fool? I'll bite you to death. Sun Anqi was angered and ran away, while Yang Chen smirked and continued exercising. The private coaching department was already in an uproar, and soon there were no coaches left on the scene. They all took Sun Anqi into the private coaching office, bombarding her with questions, and many people looked towards Yang Chen. But compared to this, the happier news was that Chin Chao and Jian Lily were both fired. This group of people used to be afraid to be nice to her, otherwise they would be targeted by Chin Chao. But it must be said that Sun Anchi had a very likable personality, and they immediately surrounded her, chattering and laughing. When Yang Chen was about to finish exercising, his WeChat notification sounded. It was a message from Li Mei. Mr. Yang, do you have time for lunch? Xian Xiaohu and Dong Changming from Tenglong Real Estate would like to invite you for a meal. Chen Gu was afraid of disturbing you with a phone call, so he asked me to contact you on WeChat. The message was full of caution. Yang Chen thought for a moment. He had also heard of this Dong Changming. Tianbei City was the capital city of Yunhai Province, and Tenglong Real Estate was the largest real estate company in the entire province, the only one with a market value of over 100,000 US dollars. All right, book a place. Yang Chen agreed, since he didn't have anything to do at noon, it would be good to meet them. It would also be a good opportunity to see what tricks these three little foxes were up to. Okay, I'll book the location and send it to you right away. Li Mei quickly replied, and even mischievously sent a cute smiley face. A few minutes later, she sent an address. Haicheng Hotel, 3rd Floor, Tianjiano. 1. Tianbei City only had two 5-star hotels, and Haicheng Hotel was the first one. Interestingly, the owner of Haicheng Hotel seemed to be the third in command of Yunhai province, along with Qian Xiaohu and the others. Yang Chen put away his phone, took a shower, and changed into a new set of clothes. After getting the platinum card, he had an exclusive smart locker, which was not only spacious, but also had the gym clean and dry his dirty clothes. After changing into his own clothes, Yang Chen saw Sun Anqi still surrounded by coaches, chattering away. He couldn't help but smile, greeted her from afar, and left the gym. Just as Yang Chen walked out of the gym, a message appeared in the gym's WeChat group. Congratulations to Yao Jingjing at the front desk for closing the deal on a West John Unlimited Platinum card. Visiting customer number 19. At this time, in the membership office, a group of people were discussing the big private coaching deal that cost $5. Sun Li Chao was also sitting on a chair with his legs crossed, feeling very frustrated. He had just dealt with a customer, spent a lot of time talking, but the person didn't end up getting a membership. At this moment, someone rushed into the accounting office and shouted, Damn, look at the group chat. Everyone opened the group chat again and saw the message. West John Unlimited Platinum Card? Closed by the front desk? What's going on? Did they not assign it to us? Damn, how much is the commission? Eight points? Hey, Sun Li Chao, customer number 19, isn't that the deal you passed to the front desk? You just dealt with customer number 20, did you pass number 19 to the front desk? Suddenly, someone said to Sun Li Chao with a bit of schadenfreude. Sun Li Chao's eyes widened. He remembered. That Yang Chen from earlier? That's right, 
it's him. Look, it's written right here, number 19 was just crossed out. Someone pointed at a scheduling chart on the wall, where it said Sun Li Chao for number 19, but he crossed it out and changed it to number 20. He even had a small conflict with the two people below because of this, so everyone knew about it. Hey, I heard that the person who got the West Jung Unlimited Platinum card is the one who bought the $5 private coaching session. Damn, from now on, the front desk and Sun Anchi know such an amazing person, they don't have to worry about their performance for the rest of their lives. If I could meet some other wealthy people through him, that would be amazing. Sun Li Chao was struck like lightning by the cold and mocking comments of the crowd. How is it possible? How could Yang Chen be so rich? He jumped up from his chair as if he had gone mad and ran towards the front desk. At that moment, Yao Jingjing was surrounded by a group of girls chattering away. Even the cycling coach came over to gossip when he saw the good news. Sun Li Chao ran to the front desk with an extremely unpleasant expression on his face and coldly said to Yao Jingjing, Yao Jing, that's my achievement. Yao Jingjing glared at him. She had already anticipated that the first thing Sun Li Chao would do when he saw the good news was to come and claim the achievement. My achievement? Wasn't it you who made sarcastic remarks and refused to serve the customer because they were poor? Wasn't it you who said you didn't want to receive them? Don't give me all that nonsense. Even if I don't want to serve them, they're still my customers. It's my turn to have that customer. Sun Li Chao stomped his foot in a somewhat feminine manner, shaking his head and throwing a tantrum. Sun Li Chao, do you think this is your home? What do you think you can do? If you don't want to take it, let it go. The surveillance footage clearly shows that I gave it to Sun Jia. You can talk to her yourself. Yao Jingjing smiled coldly. Sun Li Chao was immediately furious. He had originally wanted to cause trouble, but he didn't expect Yao Jingjing to bring out the surveillance footage. The gym was equipped with the best intelligent surveillance cameras, capable of recording even sound, so he couldn't continue causing trouble. Yao Jingjing, give me half of it. Sun Li Chao was about to explode. That was a whole 8 cents of income, even if he only got half of it, it would still be 4 cents, which was equivalent to half a year's salary for him. He regretted it now, why did he have to look down on people? Sun Li Chao, get in here. Sun Jia suddenly shouted from behind. Sun Li Chao was startled. Yao Jingjing and the others couldn't help but laugh. At the Haichung Hotel, luxury cars were gathered. Yang Chen got out of the taxi and looked out of place. He realized that he should find time to buy a car. After looking at the magnificent decoration, Yang Chen put his hands in his pockets and walked straight in. The doorman at the entrance was still polite and didn't give him a hard time just because he got out of a taxi, but he wasn't as enthusiastic as before. In front of the golden staircase leading from the first floor to the second floor, there were several people checking information with the waitstaff. The second and third floors required reservations. At this moment, Yang Chen also walked over. He assumed that Qian Xiaowu and the others had already made arrangements. But before Yang Chen could speak, someone in the group suddenly turned around and saw him, causing a moment of surprise. Yang Chen? The speaker was a man with a slicked back hairstyle, slightly chubby and greasy. Yang Chen immediately recognized him as his college classmate. His name was Li Hu. Standing next to him was a girl, also his college classmate, named Chen Meng. Yang Chen frowned slightly. Did these two get together? Behind Chen Meng seemed to be her parents, who had dressed up carefully and seemed to be attending an important dinner. Chen Meng, what a coincidence Yang Chen completely ignored Li Hu and nodded with a smile at Chen Meng. Li Hu comes from a well-off family, but his character is extremely poor. He joined some PUA organization in college and even had an attempted rape incident. Later, I heard that his family took care of it with money. Chen Meng seemed a bit shy, with a hint of bitterness in her smile as she greeted Yang Chen. Zheng Yang, long time no see, said Li Hu with a playful smile, introducing Chen Meng's parents. Uncle and aunt, let me introduce you. This is my college classmate, who is quite impressive. He started a business with a scholarship before graduating and made quite a name for himself. Many girls were chasing after him back then. Chen Meng even pursued him, but he was too busy with his business to agree. Oh, but it seems like he recently went bankrupt and has a lot of debt. Hearing the first half, Chen Meng's parents were impressed with Yang Chen, but as soon as they heard about bankruptcy, they forced a smile and lost all desire to greet him. What are you doing here? Yang Chen didn't even look at Li Hu, and before he could finish his sentence, he quietly asked Chen Meng. This action made Li Hu's incessant words seem foolish. His carefully prepared mockery seemed like Yang Chen wasn't even listening, which infuriated Li Hu. We had some trouble with our small business and need to discuss something with the other party. I hope we can settle it today. And you, are you here to eat as well? Chen Meng shyly glanced at Yang Chen and smiled. She still had some feelings for Yang Chen, 
and her pretty face unknowingly turned red. Yes, I'm here to eat with friends. Oh, on the second floor too? It seems like the third floor. Yang Chen replied honestly, feeling a bit embarrassed. Yang Chen, what are you pretending to be? The third floor? Did you come to the wrong restaurant? Do you know how much a table on the third floor costs? You may lack experience, but don't embarrass yourself, understand? Li Hu couldn't bear being ignored by Yang Chen and seeing him show off in front of him. Chen Meng's parents noticed Li Hu's anger and chimed in, Oh, forget it, Meng Meng. Let's go upstairs quickly. Mr. Lu and the others will be here soon. Yes, today, Tiger helped us book half of this table on the second floor. It's quite a big deal. We absolutely can't make any mistakes today, hurry up. Chen Meng looked apologetic and a bit helpless as she glanced at Yang Chen, biting her lip lightly. Yang Chen probably understood that their family had encountered some problems with their business and were probably hosting a compensatory banquet, but they didn't have much money. Li Hu agreed to help them pay for half of it and arranged it at this high-end hotel, but it was still surprising. How could Li Hu be so kind, even if it was to pursue Chen Meng? Even on the second floor, a table would cost a fortune. Could it be that their family had made a fortune? Chen Meng's parents intended to go upstairs, but Li Hu had no intention of leaving. Li Hu coldly stared at Yang Chen. Get out. He was filled with anger. It was one thing for Yang Chen to ignore him, but he had also overshadowed him. He had just been promoted, and after the meal, he could get reimbursed. Coincidentally, there was this matter with Chen Meng's family, so he took the initiative to offer to pay for half. No matter how much it cost in the end, he could submit the receipt and immediately earn back half. Plus, he could show off in front of Chen Meng and make it easier to win her over. But now, Yang Chen shamelessly claimed to go to the third floor, undermining his efforts. If they left now, he wouldn't be able to slap Yang Chen in the face on the spot. He had been pursuing Chen Meng recently and absolutely couldn't allow such a thing to happen. Yang Chen looked at him with a gaze as if he were looking at an idiot. Get out? When can you become a security guard here? It would be more convincing than you are now, at least better than sounding like bullshit. What the fuck are you talking about, you fucking loser? Li Hu angrily pointed at Yang Chen and shouted, Li Hu, watch your language. Chen Meng couldn't stand it anymore and stared at Li Hu angrily. Chen Meng, have you lost your mind? Do you know what you're doing? Li Hu narrowed his eyes and spoke coldly. Chen Meng clenched her fists and gritted her teeth. Chen Meng's mother quickly scolded her daughter. TSK, what's wrong with you, Xiao Meng? Why are you confronting Li Hu for a loser? Are you stupid? Apologize to Hu Zi quickly. That's right, hey, young man, if you need to leave, then leave quickly. Don't bother us here, we have things to do. Hurry up and go. Chen Meng's father also waved his hand towards Yang Chen and the door. Yang Chen saw that Chen Meng was struggling, as if she had some hidden difficulties. It touched him slightly, especially when she stood up for him, making him feel guilty. He could ask Chen Xiaohu to investigate if Chen Meng was really in trouble, and he could secretly help her. But now was not the time to say these things. So Yang Chen smiled slightly at Chen Meng. I'll go up first. Yang Chen said and was about to go upstairs. The waiter followed, checking the information while walking up the stairs. Because someone had indeed instructed them to wait for a guest on the third floor today, they never treated each customer casually. But Li Hu was furious. Stop. Did I tell you to go up? Li Hu completely lost control. If Yang Chen really went up these stairs today, even if he went up to the bathroom, it would be a huge embarrassment for him. His loud shout startled everyone. Why are you so shameless? Why do you have to show off in front of us like a big shot? You're wasting our time. Who's he told you to get out? Why don't you hurry up and leave? Don't you see that you're being a nuisance here? Chen Meng's mother was also angry and pointed at Yang Chen's nose to scold him. Their small business at home had encountered some problems, and they had to resolve them today during the meal. Originally, they wanted to spend less money at a smaller restaurant as they were tight on budget. Coincidentally, Li Hu came to find their daughter, seemingly with some intention to pursue Chen Meng. Hearing about this situation, he offered to help arrange the meal and even share half of the cost. This would earn them face and status, and they smoothly arranged a meeting with the other party they wanted to discuss business with. But they didn't expect to encounter Yang Chen just as they were happy, and he had to oppose Li Hu. If Li Hu got angry and didn't help them arrange this dinner, it would be over for them. So now Chen Meng hated Yang Chen like crazy. I'll call you auntie for the sake of Chen Meng's face, but you need to understand that he provoked me. Yang Chen stood on the stairs, looking down at them and speaking coldly. What do I need to understand? I don't need to understand anything. If I tell you to get lost, then get the fuck out of here. Why so much bullshit? Who do you think you're pretending to be? Do you dare to go upstairs? Is this your place? 
Take a good look. Chen Meng's mother saw that Yang Chen dared to talk back and immediately switched to a shrewish mode, regardless of how many people were present. Madam, please be quiet and don't make a scene here. A female manager from the front desk walked over and reminded her with some dissatisfaction. I'm making a scene? Are you blind? Can't you see that he's opposing me right here? Why don't you kick him out for me? I'm sorry, madam, we won't evict our customers without reason, but if you continue to make a scene, we may have to ask you to leave. The female manager frowned. Customers? Take a good look. Does he look like a customer in any way? His company has gone bankrupt. He's drowning in debt, just a loser who likes to pretend. Can't you see that he's trying to show off in front of my daughter? I'm telling you, we're here today to discuss something very important. If we delay, I won't let it go. Chen Ming's father also scolded. But it's obvious that their voices have lowered a lot. They can't really be kicked out. Li Hu coldly looked at Yang Chen. Yang Chen, I'll give you five seconds to get out of here. Yang Chen found it funny. He knew very well why Li Hu wanted to kick him out. It's because he treated everyone to a meal on the second floor, showing off in front of Chen Meng's family, but he insisted on going to the third floor, which made him look like trash. Li Hu, you really are an incompetent fool who only knows how to rage. What will you do after five seconds if I don't leave? Or rather, what can you do? Yang Chen sneered. You. Li Hu immediately became furious, but what Yang Chen said was absolutely right. Even the waiters refused to kick Yang Chen out, so what could he do? Use force? Call the police? What right did he have to make someone leave? He had no means to deal with Yang Chen because his family's conditions were not enough to qualify him as a second generation rich. You. Chen Meng's mother wanted to say something, but she saw several people coming down the stairs in a hurry. The leader was Li Mei and Qian Xiaohu. Following them was a man in a silver suit, around 30 years old, with short hair that was black with a touch of white. His face was handsome and noble. A group of waiters, including the female manager, bowed and called out, Boss. Obviously, this man in the silver suit was the boss of the Haicheng Hotel. But when Qian Xiaohu and Li Mei saw Yang Chen, their hearts trembled, and they quickly walked down. Mr. Yang, sorry for the late welcome. How long have you been here? We just arrived on the third floor. It took us only a few words to come down late. Don't blame me. Qian Xiaohu said with self-blame. They had indeed just arrived not long ago. They planned to come down to personally welcome him after a few words upstairs, but they didn't expect to meet Yang Chen as soon as they came downstairs. No problem. Yang Chen said lightly. He was originally in a good mood and didn't care about a grand welcome. He was just disgusted by Li Hu's behavior and felt a bit unhappy. The boss of Haicheng hurriedly came up and warmly extended his hand. Mr. Yang, hello, I am Chun Chusheng, the owner of Haicheng Hotel. Hello, please go upstairs. I have already arranged everything for you. The boss personally led the way, even the female manager and the waiters were stunned. They were all frightened. Oh my god, who is this person? If they had known that he was such an influential figure, they wouldn't have let Li Hu and his group shout at him like that. Will he blame them? Of course, the most fearful ones were not them. Li Hu was dumbfounded on the spot, his eyes widened. He didn't really know these three people, after all, at his level, he didn't even read business magazines, so how could he know Qian Xiaohu? But the person who introduced himself just now was Chen Shusheng, the owner of Haicheng Hotel. Why would Chen Shusheng come down to personally welcome Yang Chen? Is he crazy? He's just a failed entrepreneur. And even more fearful were Chen Meng's parents. Chen Meng's mother was about to scold Yang Chen, but the words got stuck in her throat. She even trembled slightly. Yang Chen didn't say anything else, just gave Li Hu a meaningful look. If he had the chance, he had to deal with Li Hu, but now was not the time, he had other things to do. Li Hu was scared and his heart sank. Cold sweat started to pour out. Yang Chen's gaze was too terrifying. Watching Yang Chen and the others, who were obviously important figures, go upstairs and leave, Chen Meng's heart was filled with mixed feelings. She bit her lip lightly. Indeed, he was still the outstanding Yang Chen, but she was even worse off than before. All she could do was watch as Bak Chen Meng's mother breathed a sigh of relief, thankful that those important figures didn't witness the scene where she scolded Yang Chen. She looked at her daughter and asked softly, Daughter, who exactly is this classmate of yours? Mom, you don't even know who he is. Why did you slander him like that earlier? Chen Meng questioned angrily. I, I was just afraid of offending Li Hu. And why didn't you remind me? Do you think I'm close to him? Chen Meng said bitterly. Chen Meng's father looked towards Li Hu. Um, who's he? What do you think? Li Hu suddenly woke up, bloodshot eyes, gritting his teeth and said, Go up. What are you standing there for? He absolutely couldn't leave now, with so many people watching. 
If he turned around and left, it would show that he was really afraid of Yang Chen. It was just because he knew a boss in Haichang, there must be some cooperative project. Who knows if the other party would eventually cooperate with him. Chen Meng's family could only go upstairs dejectedly. Regardless, they still had important matters to attend to today. Third floor, Tian Jia Room. This was the best dining place in the entire hotel, with large floor-to-ceiling windows facing east, overlooking the CBD commercial district and several wide commercial streets. Especially at night, the lights were bright, like a starry avenue. When they entered the room, there was another person inside. He was a middle-aged man in a suit, with a worried expression on his face. This man had a slicked back hairstyle and there was a cigar on the windowsill. When he saw someone coming in, he quickly put down the cigar and walked up apologetically to Yang Chen, saying, Mr. Yang, hello, I am Dong Changming from Tenglong Real Estate. Yang Chen, Yang Chen smiled and shook hands. Due to special circumstances, I am not very convenient to appear in person, so I apologize for not welcoming you properly. I hope you won't mind. Dong Changming said sincerely. No problem. Please sit, please sit. The few people led Yang Chen to the seat of honor. Yang Chen was not polite either, after sitting down, he smiled and said, Today, I have had the pleasure of meeting three Yunhai heroes. It's a great honor. Chen Chusheng was stunned. He didn't expect this guy to know about Yunhai heroes. In fact, when he first saw Yang Chen, he didn't see anything special about him. If it wasn't for Chen Xiaovu's repeated instructions to be respectful and humble, he wouldn't have paid much attention to Yang Chen. After all, Chen Chusheng's name held sway over the entire entertainment industry in Tianbei City. They were all middle-aged big shots from various fields, and they felt a little uncomfortable with how they were treating this young man. I didn't expect our small reputation to reach Mr. Yang's ears. Dong Changming shook his head and smiled. Oh, let's start with the food. I can't wait to have a drink with Mr. Yang, Li Mei's slightly coquettish voice came. Her role here today was to liven up the atmosphere. Some things are better left unsaid after drinking. Let's all sit down and discuss business first. Yang Chen adjusted his sitting posture and stopped Xian Xiaowu from going to the corner to get the wine. The few people exchanged glances, not expecting Yang Chen to be so straightforward. We are all adults, and you are all influential figures. If there's something, just say it directly. It's more annoying to beat around the bush. You invited me to dinner, there must be a reason, right? Yang Chen said first. Um, his straightforwardness caught these old foxes off guard. But after all, they were all experienced people, and Li Mei was the first to react, laughing lightly. Mr. Yang is indeed quick-witted. Brother Dong, you go ahead and speak. All right, since Mr. Yang is straightforward, I won't be coy either. We are currently looking for an investor, Lao Er. That is, how I, he happened to meet you by chance, so I have a request. Then, Dong Changming explained his current situation Tenglong Real Estate acquired a piece of land for one dollar last year. According to the normal process, the land should have been purchased first, followed by construction, and then the sale of the completed buildings. However, as a leading local company, Tenglong Real Estate had a foresight. They started construction on this $1 land even before the construction began, and started selling the houses before or during the construction process. This is what we call pre-sale properties. By using the proceeds from the sales, they plan to cover the construction costs, including the whole left from purchasing the $1 land in the future auction. In other words, they plan to build the houses first and then buy the land. However, there was a fatal flaw in this plan, which was that they ultimately had to successfully purchase the $1 land. Local companies naturally showed some respect, but for their competitors, it was a fatal weakness. A large real estate company from another province, intending to enter the market, targeted Tinglong as their primary competitor. So, when Tinglong was bidding for the $1 land, this competitor made a move and unexpectedly offered an extremely high bid, overpowering Tinglong and successfully acquiring the land. As a result, the houses that Tinglong had built became illegal constructions. Furthermore, the other party refused any form of mediation. Overnight, dozens of buildings in the entire project were demolished. Tinglong's initial investment was completely wasted, and their stock price plummeted. This included compensating individual home buyers, the loan interest on the initial investment, substantial fines, and countless civil lawsuits. Overnight, Dong Changming's hair turned white. And this was not the most fatal blow. The most fatal blow was that Tinglong Real Estate had three more projects like this, and they were all about to be auctioned off soon. If these three projects were also taken by their competitors, Tinglong Real Estate would be finished. Dong Changming would be finished, and there might even be imprisonment. Even Xian Xiaohu was struggling with this situation. 
Because a lot of Teng Long's initial investment came from Guangming bank loans, Xian Xiaohu was now facing a huge debt. Moreover, Yunhai Shishiong and the others all had shares in several other companies. Just look at the people sitting in the room right now. Xian Xiaohu, Chen Shusheng, and even Li Mei, who later became a shareholder of Tinglong. They were all in the same boat now. After Dong Changming finished speaking, everyone's gaze turned to Yang Chen. Yang Chen had his eyes half-closed throughout the entire conversation, but now he slowly opened them and looked at Dong Changming, asking, So, you want me to invest? That's right. Dong Changming sighed. How much money do you need to fill these holes? At least, 10,000. Dong Changming gritted his teeth and held up one finger. Tinglong still had some reserves, and with some desperate measures, they could scrape together another 10,000 to survive. But $10,000 was not a small amount. I have 10,000, but this is a mess. Why should I spend this money on a mess? Yang Chen rubbed his ear and furrowed his brow. This statement instantly chilled Dong Changming's heart. The others also exchanged glances, all filled with worry. Mr. Yang, if you have any conditions, you can also propose them. The reason why the few of us brothers have been able to support each other until today is because of our loyalty. As long as you are willing to help, we will definitely be loyal to you in the future. Chen Shusheng took a deep breath and sincerely expressed his attitude. In fact, this didn't need to be said. Yang Chen could see it too. This was true loyalty in times of adversity. If it weren't for the loyalty and unwavering support of Yunhai Shishong, they wouldn't have made it this far. Loyalty is good, but that's not all I want. Yang Chen also placed his hand on the table and pressed lightly. If I were to clean up this mess, there is only one possibility, and that is if this mess becomes mine. After Yang Chen finished speaking, the other's expressions changed drastically. Mr. Yang, are you saying, you want to take control of Tinglong? Even Dong Changming's brow furrowed slightly. Yang Chen glanced at everyone. Don't want to? The others fell into deep thought as well. Yang Chen seemed to be taking advantage of the situation but, I have to say, this is their last hope. Now they want to be controlled, you can't find a second one. If Dong Changming doesn't agree, and let the situation develop, he will be completely destroyed and the others will also be heavily implicated. I'm willing. After a long time, Dong Changming finally nodded, but there was not much joy on the faces of the others. Yang Chen pointed at these people with his hand. Look at your expressions, did I say I would only take a 10% stake? So what do you mean? The others were confused. Listen carefully, I'll give you $100,000 in cash. I've calculated it, and only $17,000 is enough to control Tinglong now. After controlling Tinglong, the remaining money will be managed by you, I'll just be the silent boss. There will be no changes in the company's system and personnel, you will still be in charge. Are you satisfied with this? The others were completely dumbfounded. $100,000? Tinglong is not even worth $100,000 now, and Yang Chen is actually giving them a portion of the shares while only taking control. And what he said afterwards, there is no need to doubt it, because if he is lying, then his previous actions would be meaningless. For a moment, Dong Changming and the others felt like they were in a dream. With this $100,000, not only can the company be revived, but it can also soar to new heights. You, you're telling the truth. The others were extremely excited and whitened their eyes. Give me your bank account. Yang Chen didn't waste any time and reached out to Dong Changming. Dong Changming, in a daze, handed over his bank card. They all had a vague idea, but didn't dare to think too deeply. Yang Chen took out his phone and made a few operations. System bank transfer, no limit, instant transfer. Yang Chen casually threw his bank card back on the table with a snap and said, As long as you follow me well, we will be invincible. As Yang Chen's words fell, Dong Changming's phone emitted a heart-stopping sound. Your Guangming bank account, ending in 6688, has received $10,000. Whole. Dollars. With the final report, the water glass in Li Mei's hand fell on the table with a loud bang. The sculpture had already taken shape. Is Yang Chen really a human? It's one thing to casually take out $100,000, but the key is that there is no lawyer, no contract, and he just transferred the money like that. Dong Changming felt like his bank card was burning. While they were petrified, they didn't know that Yang Chen was secretly delighted. He was not afraid of Dong Changming and the others running away. Even if the $100,000 was burned now, as long as he could earn points, Yang Chen felt it was worth it. Money is just an external thing but this comprehensive attribute is an improvement in physical function. Can money measure this? Spending $100,000 at once, how many points would that be? 10, 100, 1000, million. Yang Chen had already started calculating, but reality is always cruel. As soon as the transfer was completed, the system prompt sounded. 
Congratulations on spending $100,000, but due to suspicion of manipulating points, this time you will be rewarded with 1,000 points. Damn it! Yang Chen wished he could smash the system. Manipulating points is not allowed? If he had known, he wouldn't have casually spent $100,000, even if he gave $10,000 at a time. Damn, why didn't you say it earlier? But he didn't have time to dwell on it. Xian Xiaowu and the others exchanged glances, suddenly stood up, and walked to the table. They all knelt down on one knee. Kneeling on both knees is a sign of submission, kneeling on one knee is a sign of allegiance. This action startled Yang Chen. From now on, I am Dong Changming, Xian Xiaowu, Chen Chu Shen, willing to serve Mr. Yang wholeheartedly, willing to give our all. Li Mei skillfully pulled out a bottle of white wine from the side, opened the cap with a snap, and poured three large glasses of white wine for them. They have been in the business world for so many years, and have seen countless storms and witnessed countless dirtiness but I've never seen anyone like Yang Chen before. According to what Qian Xiaowu said earlier, Yang Chen had 660,000 yuan in cash. How much is the personal assets of the richest man in China? 380,000 yuan. And Yang Chen even said at the time, why is it so little? This means that this is not his limit. A person who casually holds twice the wealth of the richest man in China in his hands, would you choose to betray him and go solo, or hold onto his thigh and ride the wave with him? Yang Chen is definitely not simple. Faced with such a person, if he gives you 100,000, who would dare to play any tricks? They were scared out of their wits. Only by submitting to Yang Chen at this opportunity and holding onto his powerful support, can they achieve things they never dared to imagine. Watching the three of them down three bottles of Baijiu in one gulp, Yang Chen felt sorry for their stomachs. Li Mei also didn't back down pouring a full glass and toasting Yang Chen. Cheers to you. Then she finished it in one go. All right, get up. From now on let's unite and work hard. Yang Chen quickly got up and pulled them up one by one. His goal for today had already been achieved, to show his strength and make them completely loyal to him, while also taking down Tinglong real estate. It was also a small repayment to his past self who had gone through hardships. Can we start serving the food now? Yang Chen smiled slightly as he helped them up. I'll arrange it right away. Chen Chusheng quickly went out to give instructions. Sitting down again, Dong Changming and the others felt much more relaxed. The heavy burden on their shoulders had been lifted, and with Yang Chen as their strong support, their hearts were filled with enthusiasm. I'll call the lawyer now and have him prepare the contracts. After everything is ready, I'll give them to you. The others had already completely accepted their subordinate position, and from now on, they only had Yang Chen as their leader. All right, just plug the loopholes in front of us. This is just a temporary measure. The root of the problem is that foreign provincial enterprise. Tell me about your plans. Yang Chen said to Dong Changming. Dong Changming hesitated a bit and said, Boss, are you really entrusting all this money to me? No need to doubt a trustworthy person, and no need to trust a doubtful person. Yang Chen said calmly. This made Dong Changming straighten his back a bit. All right, then let me tell you. Dong Changming's intention was actually very straightforward. It could be called a shopping spree. Since the foreign enterprise had bid a high price for that US dollar land before, they had already spent a lot of money. So next, Dong Changming would keep a close eye on them. If it was prime land, they would bid a high price to snatch it. If it was inferior land, they would raise the price for them. Completely disrupting their deployment was the fastest way to break the foreign enterprise. When you have money, you can be willful. You can be aggressive. Then he talked about some more plans. By this time, the food had already been served and the atmosphere among the group was very harmonious. All right, everything is good, but there's still something missing. I remember there's a US dollar land king in Xiandao Lake. After Yang Chen finished speaking, everyone's chopsticks stopped, shocked as they looked at Yang Chen. Boss, the reason why that US dollar land king was unsold is because no one could afford it. If we bid for it, I'm afraid that foreign enterprise wouldn't even dare to make an offer. If we're going to do it, let's do it big. Let's take the Land King and all the residential and commercial land around Xiandao Lake. It's estimated to be at most two to 3,000 acres. If we don't have enough money, ask me for it. I believe that the government will come to us proactively when the time comes. At least we won't be able to escape a high-tech development zone. With policies in place, it'll be smooth sailing. Let's create a Xiandao new city. That's what I call something. Yang Chen said as he picked up a glass of juice and took a sip. The others were all dumbfounded. Xian Dao New City. Something? Is this even human language? Yang Chen was not only domineering, but also knowledgeable. At such a young age, he had the demeanor of a hero. They couldn't help but look at him with admiration once again. I understand, boss. 
Dong Changming nodded heavily by the way, stop calling me boss all the time. I don't really want people to know that I'm the boss behind Tinglong. I'm afraid of trouble. So from now on, in front of others, just call me. Master. Master? The others were stunned. Yang Chen thought for a moment. He didn't want to expose his identity in the future, but he still needed to interact with them frequently. Who would often associate with wealthy people? That's right. Feng Shui Master. When someone asks why you know me, just say that I know Feng Shui, and I have indeed studied it for a long time. Yang Chen said with a smile. He used to be bored and studied it a lot during college. Oh, really? Li Mei asked with interest. Of course, let's take this room for example. Look at this window, it faces directly east towards the main road, which should have bad feng shui. But he placed two chilins on both sides, obviously a feng shui master has resolved the bad energy. Yang Chen finished speaking and looked at Chen Shu Sheng. Chen Shu Sheng was not surprised, but Chen Xiaohu and Dong Changming were shocked. We were the ones who invited that feng shui master. That's right, these chilins were placed here by the feng shui master. Chen Shu Sheng was also shocked. He didn't expect Yang Chen to be serious and actually know about it. Ha, huh, I'm just an amateur, just playing around. Don't take it seriously. Anyway, from now on, just call me that when we're outside. All right. The others agreed. By the way, Li Mei, I want to attend a party with Anchi, but I don't have any clothes. Can you help me find a set of men's clothing? Not too formal, more casual, like Chen San style. Men's clothing can't be chosen randomly, otherwise it won't look good. I'll need your measurements, and I'll personally tailor a suit for you. Oh, all right, I'll send it to you later. Hee <laughs> hee, no need to wait, I used to be a tailor, do you know how the old tailors used to measure? Li Mei suddenly giggled, her eyes filled with affection as she looked at Yang Chen. The other three also smiled slightly, showing a smile that men understood. Only Yang Chen was a bit confused. How did they measure? Stand up and let me do it. After Li Mei finished speaking, she gently stood up, took Yang Chen's hand, and pulled him to an empty space nearby. Then she started measuring with her hands as if they were a measuring tape from the shoulders, to the arms, and then to the waist and hips. Yang Chen remembered that this was how the older generation used to measure. The old grandmothers used to make clothes, and not only could they measure your size just by taking off your coat, they could also tell your size just by looking at you. It was quite magical, but it was unexpected that Li Mei, the queen of the fashion industry, could do it too. This was a bit beyond Yang Chen's expectations. However, Li Mei clearly had a mischievous meaning behind it. It had to be admitted that Li Mei was a stunning woman with a charming temperament. In her thirties, she had been in the entertainment industry for many years. Such a beautiful woman personally measuring and tailoring clothes for Yang Chen, it was probably an experience that no one else in Yunhai could have. Seeing Li Mei teasing Yang Chen, his face turned red, Dong Changming and the others couldn't help but burst into laughter. Yang Chen had a black line on his face. Li Mei also returned to Yang Chen's front, her face blushing as she smiled. All right. I'll find someone to make it right away. Master Su, please be patient. Yang Chen helplessly sat back in his seat. He actually blushed just now. No, his self-control was really poor. Let's add the points first. He had already given 500 points for the gym classes before. Adding the 1000 points this time, his comprehensive attributes quickly became 1595 points. But Yang Chen made a mistake. He regretted it a bit. He added all the points at once. He added 1,500 points in one go. Yang Chen's body instantly felt like it was being electrocuted, especially his muscles, which were in intense pain. Even his stomach was cramping. Yang Chen instantly hugged his stomach, his facial features slightly distorted. Boss, Dong Changming and the others were shocked when they saw Yang Chen like this Jin Shusheng was scared and broke out in a cold sweat, clutching his stomach. Could it be that he was poisoned? This was his own arranged banquet. Fortunately, the terrifying feeling quickly dissipated. Yang Chen waved his hand. I'm fine, just an old stomach ache, gastric colic. Gastric colic? I've only heard of angina. I'll go to the restroom. Feeling a little better, Yang Chen wanted to stand up with the support of the table. Let me help you. Li Mei sat aside, wanting to assist. But as soon as Yang Chen's hand touched the edge of the table, there was a crisp sound. The corner of the table was broken off by Yang Chen's hand. Everyone froze at the scene. Silence filled the air. Yang Chen was also dumbfounded. This is top grade Hainan Wang Wallywood. Chen Shusheng swallowed hard, unsure if what he said was true. Because of the loud sound just now, it was actually a chocolate dollar. Yang Chen finally came back to his senses and tried to grab the edge of another dollar table. No, I. Crack. Another larger dollar table was broken off. Yang Chen looked helpless. I'll go to the restroom first. 
he said, clutching his stomach and walking towards the restroom, leaving everyone stunned in place. Shen Xiaobu picked up the piece of wood that Yang Chen had broken off and hit Chen Shusheng on the head with it. Ouch. Chen Shusheng held his head, looking confused. It's real. What's going on? Could he have martial arts skills? Look, our boss, he's a superhuman. Dong Changming also tried to break the corner of the table. It didn't budge. Joking aside, Hainan Wang Wali wood is the preferred material for load-bearing wooden furniture. It's not only hard, but also extremely tough. It can't be broken just by breaking it. He's like a dream. The impact they received today was a bit too much for them. Meanwhile, Yang Chen, after washing his face in the sink, clenched his fist with force. Everything that just happened was a result of his body transformation. Now that the transformation was complete, Yang Chen felt for the first time what it meant to be reborn. Whether it was physical fitness or the five senses, a fly flew by and Yang Chen raised his hand. Swish! He caught the fly by its wings. Damn it, this hundred thousand dollars wasn't wasted. At first, breaking the corner of the table was because Yang Chen couldn't control his strength well. It was like suddenly increasing the sensitivity of your mouse. The speed increased, but basic operations like controlling recoil and walking needed to be familiarized again from scratch. After leaving the hallway, Yang Chen stood at the corner of the hallway and realized that his hearing had become much sharper. It wasn't that the sound was amplified, but he could hear more clearly, from a greater distance, and more subtly. This feeling was incredibly mysterious, giving him a sense of control. Yang Chen closed his eyes and intentionally extended his hearing. Soon, it covered the entire third floor and even the second floor. He heard Li Mei and the others whispering softly. Do you think the boss is giving us a show of force, demonstrating his power? Probably, after all, someone with such wealth in China who doesn't appear on the list must be from a super family. The boss is probably the young master of a super family. These big families might learn some martial arts for self-defense. He's not afraid to show his power, as long as we remain loyal, nothing will go wrong. That's right. Hearing this, Yang Chen nodded silently. But soon, he heard a familiar voice coming from the second floor, or rather, it was a bit noisy. It seemed to be Chen Meng. Yang Chen's heart moved, and instead of returning to the private room, he headed towards the second floor. At a table on the second floor, Chen Meng, her parents, and Li Hua had worried expressions on their faces. There were two other people at the table, one middle-aged and one young. The middle-aged man had potmarks on his face and a somewhat fierce appearance. At the moment, he was looking at Chen Meng with a lewd smile on his face Mr. Lu, even though we don't have a contract, we had a verbal agreement. If you don't want our chickens, that's fine. But why are you spreading rumors about our chickens to other slaughterhouses? What did we do to offend you? Chen Meng looked aggrieved and anxiously questioned. Xiao Chen, when you speak, you need to provide evidence. Otherwise, I can sue you for defamation, mister. Lu leaned back and smirked. But you agreed to take them. We only accepted this batch of chicks because of that agreement. We invested so much, and now you're saying you don't want them anymore. We tried selling them to other slaughterhouses, but they don't want them either. It's over 2,000 chickens, and we can't afford the loss. Chen Meng's eyes turned red with desperation, and tears uncontrollably streamed down her face. She was still too young and didn't realize the importance of a contract. Tisk, why are you crying? Didn't I tell you what to do? My equipment is having issues now, so I have to cut ties with some suppliers. If you don't fight for it, I'll have to cut ties with you. If you fight for it, I'll cut ties with someone else, mister. Lu remained unmoved and chuckled. I can't agree to come to your house and drink at this late hour. I don't understand what it means, and I don't want to understand. That's right, Mr. Lu. I won't allow my daughter to do such things, Chen Meng's father spoke in a stern voice. Well, you have some backbone. Then tough it out, Mr. Lu comfortably leaned back and spoke indifferently. At this moment, Li Hu spoke up. He smiled and raised his glass. Mr. Lu, here, I'll toast you. Let's forget about Chen Meng going to your place. How about this, I have an idea. They will sell all their broiler chickens to you at half the original price. What do you think? Give me face. Half? Chen Meng suddenly panicked. If they don't sell to Mr. Lu, they still have a chance to find customers elsewhere, but if they sell at half the price, they will suffer a huge loss. Li Hu didn't care if they would lose money or not. He just wanted to settle this matter and show off his own face. Mr. Lu glanced at him. Give you face? Who are you? I'm the regional manager of Citic Wealth Management, Li Hu proudly said. Citic Wealth Management, regional manager? Mr. Lu sneered, his face suddenly changed, and he kicked Li Hu's chair, causing it to slide back half a meter. Li Hu's drink spilled all over him. 
What the hell do you have to do with our business? Who are you to give suggestions? Get lost, you idiot. Mr. Lu was very angry. From the beginning, he agreed to take Chen Ming's broiler chickens with the intention of taking advantage of her. He made them raise a batch of chicks without signing a contract, and now he spread rumors that their chickens had avian influenza. Chen Meng could only rely on him now if she wanted to sell the chickens at the original price. She had to spend a night with him. Everything was going according to plan, but then this idiot appeared, not knowing his place and wanting to give suggestions. Although the kick didn't hit him, it was highly insulting, and Li Hu didn't dare to say a word. Because Mr. Lu was the owner of a relatively large local slaughterhouse and had some connections underground. After being kicked, Li Hu was annoyed, but he could only wipe the alcohol off himself obediently. After kicking Li Hu, Mr. Lu lost his patience. You don't want to? Fine, then wait and see. Let's see if you sell them out of town first or if I let these chickens rot in your hands. Mr. Lu sneered, stood up, adjusted his clothes, and prepared to leave. However, his movements were slow and deliberate because he didn't actually want to ruin their chicken farm. He wanted to take advantage of Chen Meng. As expected, Chen Meng's mother quickly stood up. Um, Mr. Lu, please consider. She actually wanted to ask if there were any other options. Although she was also desperate, she didn't want her daughter to accompany this guy but if Mr. Lu wants to deal with them, their family will be in big trouble, and they won't even have a chance to leave town. She just wants to ask if it's okay for her to accompany Mr. Lu on behalf of her daughter. But with her husband present, she couldn't bring herself to ask, so she wanted to pull Mr. Lu aside to talk privately. At this moment, Chen Meng and the others also stood up. However, as soon as Chen Meng turned around with red eyes, she saw a familiar figure. It was Yang Chen. Yang Chen came to Chen Meng's side, looked at her red eyes, and frowned. Zhang Yang. Hmm, I heard what happened just now. You don't need to plead with him anymore. From now on, all the chickens from your chicken farm will be delivered here. The Haicheng Hotel will purchase them at twice the price you offered. Whatever quantity you have, we'll take it. Yang Chen smiled at Chen Meng and said, not to mention 2,000, even if it's 5,000, Chen Shusheng can handle it. He doesn't only have this one hotel in Haicheng. Ah. Chen Meng's mouth opened slightly, looking at Yang Chen with disbelief, unable to believe her ears. Yang Chen, why are you everywhere? This has nothing to do with you, go away. Li Hu gritted his teeth fiercely. Today is really unlucky, encountering Yang Chen everywhere, constantly opposing him. He had just been kicked by Mr. Lu, and he was full of anger. Now Yang Chen came to solve the problem again. If he really solved Chen Meng's problem, then he would be nothing. Chen Meng quickly shook her head. Zhang Yang, it's okay, I can handle it. Don't owe anyone any favors because of me. Chen Meng worriedly said. She believed that Yang Chen must know the boss of Haicheng, but since he came alone and those people didn't even send him, it's probably because the deal didn't go well, indicating that he is not familiar with the boss either. If she were to cause trouble for herself and owe someone a favor, it would not be worth it. Because favors are the most expensive thing. She felt sorry for Yang Chen and didn't want him to get into trouble because of her. Chen Meng's mother, on the other hand, quickly pulled her daughter aside in anger. This silly girl, she actually tried to push away such a good opportunity. Isn't she lacking common sense? She quickly put on a flattering smile and said to Yang Chen, Zhang Yang, um, can we really cooperate with Haicheng Hotel in the future? Yes. Yang Chen nodded. Oh, that's great. Thank you so much. You don't have to be polite. I'm helping you because of your daughter. It has nothing to do with you. Yang Chen said without hesitation. Ah, uh, okay. Feeling choked, Chen Meng's mother looked embarrassed, but no matter what, Yang Chen was indeed brought upstairs by the Haicheng boss, so he must be able to make it happen if he spoke like that. Initially, Mr. Lu was startled by Yang Chen's tone. He thought Yang Chen was the owner of this hotel, but when he heard that even Li Hu dared to reprimand him, it was clear that he couldn't be the owner. He was probably just bluffing for Chen Meng's sake. But the more he spoke, the more confident he became. Today, no matter who stands in his way to get close to Chen Meng, they will die. I'll give you five seconds. Go back where you came from, and if you say one more word, I'll kill you. Mr. Lu's face turned cold as he stared at Yang Chen, speaking word by word. Especially the last few words, they carried a certain momentum. If he said he had taken two lives, someone would definitely believe it. Before he could finish speaking, a person quickly walked behind Yang Chen. It was Chen Xiaohu. They had been waiting in the room for Yang Chen to come back for a long time, afraid that he might faint or something, so they hurried to the bathroom to check, but he wasn't there, and that's how they found him downstairs. As soon as they arrived on the second floor, they heard Mr. Lu saying he would kill Yang Chen. 
Everyone's faces turned pale. Chen Shusheng, who came from a gangster background, had the most fiery temper. It had been a long time since he personally took action after becoming a big shot. He took a few quick steps and twisted his neck, making a cracking sound. When Mr. Lu suddenly saw Chen Chusheng appear behind Yang Chen, his eyes widened as someone who has been in the underworld for a few years, he naturally knows Chen Chusheng, the local boss of Santai. This Haichang Hotel belongs to him. He doesn't know exactly how powerful Chen Chusheng is, but he is confident enough to crush himself. He was surprised to see Chen Chusheng today and was thinking about how to get to know him. Then he saw Chen Chusheng walking towards him with a fierce look in his eyes. Bang! A loud slap landed on his face, a tremendous force made him dizzy, and he felt his teeth loosen. Bang! 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 Chen Chusheng slapped Lu Zong's face one after another, shocking him for a second. If it weren't for the young man behind him holding him up, he would have fallen. Chen Shusheng pointed at him coldly. Trying to hide? No, no, no. I dare not, Chen Yi, what did I do wrong? Lu Zong regained some consciousness, scared out of his wits, not knowing why Chen Shusheng was hitting him. I told you to stand still. Chen Shusheng's veins bulged, roaring in anger, and all the customers around were scared away. If anyone dared to cause trouble and beat someone in the Haicheng Hotel, it could only be Chen Shusheng. Chen Shusheng's anger was like a fierce god, his momentum was astonishing, and Lu Zong's legs went weak on the spot, but he held onto the young man beside him tightly to stay steady. This young man was just his driver, but now he had become his crutch. Bang! 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 Chen Shusheng swung his hand round and slapped Lu Zong's face more than a dozen times. Lu Zong's face was already swollen, blood flowing from the corners of his mouth, and two teeth had been knocked out. But Chen Shusheng kept hitting harder and harder. This scene scared everyone to death and no one doubted that Chen Shusheng could beat Lu Zong to death with his slaps. Finally, that's enough. Yang Chen spoke up. Chen Shusheng's hand stopped. With just two words, everyone present knew why Chen Shusheng had hit Lu Zong. Everyone looked at Yang Chen in shock. And Lu Zong, who was barely conscious, finally understood why he had been beaten. It turned out that he had offended Yang Chen with his words just now, and Chen Shusheng was actually standing up for him. But why? Damn, who is this young man? He can actually make Chen Shusheng stop. That's right. Chen Shusheng was about to strike, but he obediently stopped. Could he be a young master from some family? Are you stupid? In Santai, which family needs Chen Shusheng's face? The people around were discussing. There were certainly many families in Tianbei City, but no one dared to say that Yunhai Xion needed Chen Shusheng's face. Chen Meng was also stunned. Li Hu felt a strong urge to urinate and could barely control himself. Chen Shusheng took a few deep breaths and turned to Yang Chen, asking, Su Shur, what just happened? Everyone was dumbfounded again. They didn't even know why Lu Zong had offended Yang Chen, and they heard a threat that almost killed him. What if Yang Chen was unreasonable? And what kind of address was Su Shur? Chen Shusheng came up with it himself, thinking that calling Yang Chen Master Su sounded like he was a charlatan. Su Shur was fine, as long as he clarified that he was a Feng Shui master when others asked. Yang Chen briefly explained and told Chen Shusheng that he would take over Chen Meng's chicken business in the future. For Chen Shusheng, this was no big deal. Even if it was 2,000 chickens, they would be consumed in just a month. As long as he added two affordable dishes to the menu of his restaurants, he was afraid that Chen Meng couldn't supply them. Oh, Miss Chen Meng, we are actually relatives. We both have the surname Chen. Do you have a business card? Give me one so we can contact each other later. Chen Shusheng nodded, smiled at Chen Meng, and reached out for a business card. Chen Meng trembled. Oh no, Chen Shusheng's hand was covered in Lu Zong's blood, and it was still dripping. Chen Shusheng awkwardly switched hands. Chen Meng tremblingly took out a business card from her bag and handed it to Chen Shusheng Su sure, how should we? Apply. Apply. What smell? Chen Shusheng was about to ask how to deal with Chen Zong, but suddenly sniffed and turned around. He saw Li Hu standing there trembling, with a large wet patch on his pants, and a pale yellow liquid slowly spreading and diffusing on the ground. Chen Chusheng frowned. He treated my second floor like a toilet. How can I eat here in the future? Seeing him frown, Li Hu was even more terrified and collapsed on the ground. He never expected Yang Chen to have such power now. When he first came in, he insulted Yang Chen like that. If Chen Chusheng found out, he would probably turn him into a dish. Just kick him out. Yang Chen looked at Li Hu's behavior and felt no impulse to punish him. Chen Shusheng immediately signaled the floor manager next to him. Previously, when they didn't start fighting, the floor manager had no idea about their conflict. When they started fighting, Chen Shusheng had already arrived, so the floor manager could only shrink back in fear.
The manager quickly called someone to carry Li Hu out and had someone clean up the mess on the ground. Chen Shusheng pinched Lu Zong's face and whispered, If I find out that you're causing trouble for Chen Meng again, I'll chop you up and feed you to the dogs. Lu Zong nodded repeatedly in fear, and was then supported by the driver and limped downstairs. Chen Shusheng then turned to the surrounding customers, smiled at them, apologized, and announced that the meal on the second floor today would be free. Yang Chen then turned to Chen Meng and said, In the future, your chicken farm will be the first to cooperate with him. If he has a large demand, you can also expand the scale appropriately. He helped Chen Meng because he felt he owed her a lot. She was the most devoted to him when they were in school. But he had let her down more than once, and had seen her disappointed and in tears more than once. At that time, Yang Chen's mind was full of entrepreneurship, and he felt that all the time in a day was not enough for work. Chen Meng didn't feel any joy. She seemed to realize something. If in the past, Yang Chen still felt guilty towards her, then does today's matter mean that he has cleared his guilt? Does it mean that he will never appear in his heart again, even without guilt? With this thought, Chen Meng pouted and tears uncontrollably flowed down again. She quickly lowered her head, afraid that Yang Chen would think she was deliberately crying to gain sympathy. I want to tell you, there's nothing between me and Li Hu. He came to me to attend some gathering and happened to know about our family's situation, so he said he wanted to help. Chen Meng explained to Yang Chen in a small voice, feeling a bit wronged. Yang Chen smiled bitterly. He didn't ask about her relationship with Li Hu. Well, it's nothing. I'm leaving now. My phone number and WeChat haven't changed. Yang Chen's last sentence gave Chen Meng a glimmer of hope, but she didn't know if she had the right to contact Yang Chen now. Yang Chen's performance today made her feel even more inferior. Okay. She nodded gently. Yang Chen didn't say anything more and walked downstairs with Qian Xiaohu and Li Mei accompanying him. Dong Changming was still waiting with Chen Shu Sheng. Recently, many people were itching to cause trouble for him, so it was better to solve the problem first before showing up. How did you come, Su Shur? After leaving the hotel gate, Li Mei asked. I took a taxi. Then I'll take Su Shur home. Lao Chen, you can drive yourself. Go, go, go. Li Mei suddenly smiled charmingly and waved at Qian Xiaohu. Why should you be the one to send him? Qian Xiaohu immediately protested. Forget about sending me off, I still have to go see a friend this afternoon. He will come to pick me up later. Yang Chen stopped their playful banter. All right then. Yang Chen watched the two of them get into the car. Chen Xiaohu was driving a black Mercedes S-Class, while Li Mei was driving a BMW X7. Both of their cars were considered very low-key. With their assets, they could easily drive more luxurious cars. Yang Chen felt that he should also buy a car. He doesn't even have a means of transportation now, which is very inconvenient. Yang Chen looked at the time, took out his phone and sent a WeChat message to Zhang Yu, then walked towards the intersection. Inside the Haicheng Hotel, Chen Meng was left behind by Chen Chu Sheng. They talked about their chicken farm and agreed to personally send them out of the hotel. As soon as they left the hotel, Chen Meng's mother excitedly stomped her feet and grabbed Chen Meng, saying, Oh my precious daughter, I didn't expect you to have such a classmate. This person is so capable, and Chen Chu Sheng owns so many hotels and restaurants. Oh, we're going to get rich in the future. Mom! Although Zhang Yang helped us, we can't burden Chen Shusheng too much, otherwise it would be too much. We should first deal with these chickens, and then see Chen Shusheng's needs, adjust the breeding cycle of our chicks according to his needs. We absolutely cannot expand blindly and force him to acquire them. Do you hear me? Chen Meng knew very well what kind of person her mother was, and immediately warned sternly. Oh, I know, look at you. You're scolding your mom like crazy. Oh. My precious daughter, I think this guy is also interested in you, otherwise he wouldn't help us so much. You should try harder and let him double the acquisition price for us. I think it's just a matter of his word. That Chen Shusheng, he's got him in his grip. Even Chen Meng's father pushed her aside. Why are you so greedy? Can't you see that Xiao Meng is angry? Indeed, Chen Meng was looking at her mother angrily, very dissatisfied. So what? This person could very well become our future son-in-law. He's helping us so much, obviously, because he's interested in Xiaoming. If he really becomes our son-in-law, let alone asking him to double the price, I bet he would give us ten times. Mom, you're unreasonable. Chen Meng stomped her foot fiercely and walked away. She didn't want Yang Chen to look down on her, but if Yang Chen knew what her mother was thinking, it would probably ruin their whole family. See, it's all your fault. Don't mention this again in the future, otherwise if Xiaoming gets angry and confronts you, she might even cut off the cooperation with Chen Shu Sheng. You know her temper. Chen's father scolded him. Chen's mother gave him a disdainful look, and the two of them quickly went to catch up with their daughter. 
At this time, a Jetta that had been hit in the rear stopped in front of Yang Chen with a loud screech. Get in! Zheng Yu waved his hand. Yang Chen reached out to grab the door handle, but all he heard was a crisp sound. Yang Chen looked at the broken half of the door handle in his hand, feeling helpless. Damn it! Damn it! Zhang Yu quickly got out of the driver's seat and walked over. When he saw that the door handle had been broken by Yang Chen, he couldn't help but shake his head. Yang Chen was also helpless. Although he was adapting in other aspects, it would take some time for him to adapt to his strength. After all, with an additional 1500 points, he felt like he had undergone a rebirth. You know, bosses usually sit in the back seat, maybe I'm destined to sit in the back. Yang Chen threw the broken handle back into the car, smiling as he gently opened the back door. Zhang Yu caught up and sprayed him through the rear window. You're really stubborn like a cow that stepped on an electric wire electrifyingly stubborn. I borrowed this car. I have to fix it. Enough. Enough. I'll buy you one. Let's go to the 4S store. Yang Chen said impatiently. You buy it. You don't even have a penny, let alone a car. Zhang Yu grumbled and reluctantly returned to the driver's seat, sitting down. Hey, I'm serious. Look at this. Yang Chen took out the $1 coin from his wallet. He only had this big steel coin in his wallet, and it occasionally popped out, so he might as well spend it quickly. The current $1 coin looked shiny and had a great texture. It didn't look like a $1 coin at all, but more like a million dollars. No, the current $1 coin is indeed the original million dollars. $1. Where did you get so much money? And such a high denomination. Did you rob a bank? Zhang Yu exclaimed. Rob your uncle. I earned this by helping someone with feng shui. Feng shui? Are you kidding me? You've only learned a few tricks and read a few books, and now you dare to deceive people. I'll make sure someone chops you up. You're like Jin Lian from the Golden Lotus, marrying Wu Song for money and not caring about your life. Zhang Yu continued to shout. You don't understand anything. It's not just about looking, it's about studying. Once you've studied it thoroughly, even one book is enough. Stop talking nonsense. Anyway, this money is stable. Today, we won't buy expensive cars. Each of us will get one and we can just spend one dollar on it, Yang Chen said impatiently. Zhang Yu stared at him with wide eyes. Yang Zi, it's not easy to earn money. Why don't you save up first? Drive! Yang Chen stepped on the gas pedal, leaving dust behind as they headed towards the forest dealership in the Third Ring Road. Yunhai province is not a big province, and Tianbei city is only considered a second-tier city. Once they reached the Third Ring Road, they were already in the outskirts of the city. Looking into the distance, it was a flat plain. There was a Qindao lake that was transformed from a moat, shimmering with waves. Occasionally, tourists and a few cars would drive past on the dirt road, barbecuing and fishing there. It was because of the creation of Qindao lake that land prices had increased, and it had become the new land king of Tianbei city. Yang Chen observed for a while. The money he gave to Dong Changming was definitely enough. Not to mention getting one land king, even getting two would be enough. 100,000 US dollars in cash could sweep through Santai and even Yunhai, unstoppable. Yangzi, which dealership are we going to? Zhang Yu looked at the forest dealership of Shizhou. There were many forest dealerships in this area, and he was a bit incredulous that Yang Chen insisted on buying him a car. I'll ask later. Yang Chen naturally knew what car to buy, but he didn't want to let others benefit. Yunhai Shishun also had a car business. He immediately took out his phone and called Chen Xiaohu. Su Shur, what's up? Don't you still have an old Shi? That's right, his name is Che Zhihao. We didn't hide anything from him about our business with you. You won't blame me, right? Qian Xiaohu said nervously. It's okay, we'll have to meet sooner or later. I want to buy two cars. I want to know which dealership is his. I don't want others to benefit. Oh, Xin Shur, why don't you let him come to you? You can just call him and have him deliver the car to you. Qian Xiaohu said helplessly. No need, I have money. Yang Chen refused the offer. He was joking, he came here specifically to spend money. How can he not spend money and earn points? It's not acceptable to stop me from spending money. Um, alright then, Lao Shi is the biggest dealer in the area. More than half of the forest dealerships on the North Third Ring Road are ours. As long as you see a torch logo on the corner of the dealership's exterior wall, it's ours. Okay, got it. Yang Chen looked up and saw that out of the six dealerships in sight, Three of them had the torch logo. Su sure, I'll have him come to you. No need, I'm just casually buying two cars. Lao Shi also really wants to meet you. He just arrived in San Tai and happened to be coming from your direction. All right then. Yang Chen aside helplessly and didn't say anything else. He agreed and hung up the phone. 
Then the two of them walked towards the largest forest dealership. This dealership had a super large showroom for three brands, Mercedes-Benz, Audi, and Ford as soon as they entered, a beautiful female car salesperson greeted them with a professional smile. Hello, welcome. Yang Chen was satisfied with the salesperson's attitude. They were both dressed casually, but the salesperson showed no signs of unwillingness to serve, very professional. Do you two handsome gentlemen have any cars you want to know about? If not, I can recommend a few based on your requirements. Yang Chen looked at Zhang Yu and asked, What kind of car do you want to see? Zhang Yu felt embarrassed to speak up. Yang Chen had already surprised him enough by saying he wanted to buy him a car. How could he possibly say Audi or Mercedes, maybe something more affordable like Ford? Let's take a look at Ford. Alright, let's start with Ford then. Yang Chen nodded at the salesperson, coincidentally, he was also planning to buy a Ford. Okay, this way please. The salesperson smiled sweetly and led them to the Ford exhibition area, chatting along the way. This salesperson's name was Zhang Xiaoyan, and she explained things very professionally, but most importantly, her attitude was warm and made people feel very comfortable. Her smile was also very infectious, like a breath of fresh air. Sir, do you have a favorite car model? Many people who buy cars have a certain purpose in mind and will research many things in advance, often coming specifically for a certain model. Yes, over there. In the time it took to speak, Yang Chen had already spotted his target. The Ford Raptor, a luxury pickup truck. This car was known as the king of off-road vehicles. Its appearance was exceptionally rugged. The entire vehicle was at least 5. 7 meters long, about 2 meters tall, and about 2. 5 meters wide. I can tell that you must be a generous person. This car is very suitable for a strong man like you. The latest model of the F-150 can wade through water up to 760 millimeters deep. The salesperson introduced with a delighted face. Generally, people who specifically want to see a certain car have a high chance of making a purchase. Not bad, I've already decided to buy it. Now, help me recommend a car for my brother. After listening for a while, Yang Chen politely interrupted the salesperson. This car's top configuration was only 5 cents. The salesperson smiled and looked at Zhang Yu. Zhang Yu suddenly became hesitant. He couldn't believe it and asked in a low voice, Yang Zi, are you really going to buy me a car? What's wrong? When I started my business, I invested all my money into it. During the most difficult times, wasn't it you who helped me? Did we ever split a bun in half and treat each other politely? When I was settling my debts, my house almost went under, and it was you who took out your wife's savings to support me, right? Yang Chen was a little annoyed. Although Zhang Yin didn't start the business with him, he was still his best friend, there was no doubt about that. Besides being a bit slow, everything about him was great. Then, then I'll take that one. Zhang Yun could tell that Yang Chen was a little angry, so he had to swallow his saliva and point to a red Ford Mustang in the distance. The Ford Mustang, an affordable sports car. But the appearance was indeed quite rugged and full of momentum. The top configuration version was only 4 cents. Yang Chen knew that Zhang Yu wasn't being polite this time because he had heard Zhang Yu mention it many times before, saying that he didn't want a Ferrari or Lamborghini, only like the Mustang. Just these two, full payment. Yang Chen didn't wait for the excited salesperson to introduce, he gave her an even bigger surprise. Oh, alright, let me get the contract. She couldn't close her mouth in surprise, she didn't expect Yang Chen to be so straightforward. She quickly filled out the contract, explained it to the two of them, and then took them to make the payment. This 4S dealership was very large, with three brands, but all the payments were made in one place. At this moment, there was already a salesperson with a customer in front of them making a payment. Sorry, we'll wait a moment. She apologized and smiled at Yang Chen. But just then, another female salesperson, also dressed professionally and heavily made up, walked over in high heels. She also held a contract in her hand, with a man and a woman following behind her. She casually pulled Zheng Xiaoyan aside and stood behind the salesperson. Her movements were very smooth, as if that position was originally hers. Not a word was said. Ma Ling, what are you doing? Zheng Xiaoyan asked angrily. Oh, you're not in a hurry, I'll go first. Lin Xiao, please come this way, sorry for the wait. Ma Ling said casually to Zhang Xiaoyan, then turned her head and smiled apologetically to her clients. The person referred to as Lin Xiao was a young man in casual attire, with a crew cut and a beautiful woman leaning against him. Lin Xiao didn't say anything, just impatiently yawned and focused on his girlfriend. Zheng Xiaoyan frowned and said, Ma Ling, step aside, I was here first. You can't cut in line. Zheng Xiaoyan, are you blind? Take a good look at what I have here. Ma Ling was annoyed by Zhang Xiaoyan's repeated arguments, and she held the contract up to Zhang Xiaoyan. 
It was a contract for an Audi R8 sports car, priced at $1.8 million. Zheng Xiaoyan was shocked. Lin Xiao and his girlfriend both had a smug look on their faces. That's still not acceptable. My client is also waiting. Even if it's a big deal, you can't cut in line in front of your own client. What would your client think? Zheng Xiaoyan argued. Lin Xiao's girlfriend sneered. So many problems, I just hate people like you who lack insight. Acting like you have so many principles, just like a fool. Zheng Xiaoyan couldn't retort against the client's scolding, so she could only bite her lip in frustration. Open your mouth again and apologize to her, otherwise, you'll face the consequences. Yang Chen looked at the two of them and calmly said, What did you say, you stupid fool? Lin Xiao's girlfriend immediately let go of Lin Xiao's arm and glared at Yang Chen, cursing. How dare you speak to my client like that? Apologize immediately. Ma Ling also became anxious. It was not easy for her to finally get such a big deal. If Yang Chen ruined it or offended Lin Xiao, it would be a huge loss. Do you want to apologize too? Ha ha, interesting. Yang Chen sneered. Lin Xiao spoke up at this moment. Brother, I think you guys came from Ford, right? When you're away from home, you should know your place, understand who you can provoke and who you can't, got it? Lin Xiao lectured with a condescending tone and a mocking expression. Ma Ling took the opportunity when Zhang Xiaoyan wasn't paying attention and snatched the contract to take a look. Although Zhang Xiaoyan managed to snatch it back, Ma Ling had already seen the contents. Humph, a Raptor and a Mustang. The two cars combined are just half the price of an R8. What's wrong with me cutting in line? Can't you see who's more important, Zhang Xiaoyan? Ma Ling said, and Lin Xiao and his girlfriend became even more unscrupulous. The two cars combined were not even half of what they had, so it was clear that they must be important figures. Do you think you're so cool just because you bought an R8 and can insult people at will? I'd like to know who you are, someone I can't afford to offend. Yang Chen squinted and asked. Well, listen carefully then. We can afford to offend you not because we bought an R8, but because he is the second son of Sanlin Pharmaceutical, Lin Zhengfeng. Lin Xiao's girlfriend sneered and said deliberately. Sanlin Pharmaceutical, the company that sells fake drugs? I thought it was some powerful figure. Shouldn't a company like yours be more low-key? You're easily going to get yourself killed like this. Yang Chen questioned. After Yang Chen finished speaking, Lin Xiao was first stunned for a moment, then burst into laughter. Ha ha ha, brother, if I heard correctly, are you threatening me? Yang Chen shrugged and said, I'm not threatening you, I'm stating a fact. The Lin family of Sanlin Pharmaceutical Company has some reputation in this city, mainly because the pharmaceutical business is very profitable. It should be said that selling fake drugs is very profitable. But the Lin family can't be considered a big family. At most, they are nouveau riche. Today, I met the ancestor of this nouveau riche, Yang Chen. You think you're something in front of me, do you? You're not worthy. Lin Xiao's face changed in an instant, and he put away his mocking expression and shouted angrily at Yang Chen. What's the matter? Do you want to fight? Zhang Yu coldly shouted, taking a step forward. If Lin Xiao dared to make a move, he wouldn't back down either. With this commotion, a well-dressed man with a big belly walked out from the office area inside. What's going on? Manager, you came just in time. Lin Xiao bought a new R8 and needs to go through the procedures. Zhang Xiaoyan insisted on causing trouble here and offended Lin Xiao. Ma Ling immediately complained. When the manager saw that it was Lin Xiao, a smile appeared on his face, and he hurriedly shook hands with Lin Xiao to greet him. Why don't you go in and handle it? What are you waiting for? The manager scolded Ma Ling when he saw that Lin Xiao's expression was not good. The salesperson in front had already finished the procedure long ago. Ma Ling hurriedly went to handle the paperwork. Yang Chen coldly said, you're the manager? Without even asking about the cause and effect, you just left me hanging here. Is this how you manage things? The manager was also cunning and didn't argue back. Instead, he took a look at Zhang Xiaoyan's contract. Although the two cars combined were only worth about a dollar, the key was that Lin Xiao was already angry. No matter what they did, they couldn't compare to Lin Xiao, so he didn't even bother to be polite and coldly said, if you want to buy, then wait. If you feel uncomfortable, you can turn right and leave. This statement made Lin Xiao very pleased. Zhang Yu was actually just bluffing for his brother. After all, the Lin family was still a family, and causing trouble would be very troublesome. Seeing that there was a way out now, he wanted to pull Yang Chen away. Little did he know that Yang Chen was already angry. His face turned cold. Today, I want to see who dares to interfere. What a bunch of idiots who don't know any better. How can there be such stupid people? I just can't stand these idiots. Filled with anger, she raised her hand and slapped Yang Chen. But Yang Chen was faster and caught her wrist. Filled with even more rage, she shouted, let go. 
She didn't expect Yang Chen to not let her vent her anger with that slap. She decided that she must beat this scum half to death. But before she could finish her sentence, she felt a heavy blow to her stomach, as if she had been hit by a sledgehammer. Her entire abdomen caved in, and she flew two meters backwards, landing on her buttocks with a thud. She couldn't even scream, feeling her internal organs rolling, and she couldn't even breathe. Rolling around while clutching her stomach, she struggled for a while before finally being able to breathe again. She had never been hit so hard in her life. She couldn't believe that Yang Chen dared to hit her. Security! Security! The manager immediately shouted. But Lin Xiao suddenly reached out to stop him, waving away the security guards. He looked at Yang Chen with a murderous expression. His girlfriend was his face, and if Yang Chen hit his woman, this matter couldn't be resolved by security guards alone. It seems like you really don't know any better. I'll give you five seconds to kneel here and let me step on you, allowing her to deal with you. Otherwise, I'll make you regret living in this world. Lin Xiao stared at Yang Chen and said word by word. I want him dead. I want him dead. Call Uncle Chi. I want to skin him alive. At this moment, Big Wave, still clutching her stomach, couldn't stand up, and her voice was hoarse as she shouted. No need to wait for five seconds. If you have any means, please hurry up. I have other things to do. Yang Chen remained unmoved and made a gesture of invitation. Lin Xiao sneered. You really don't know anything. I'm afraid you've never heard of the name Qi Yunfei. He will be your nightmare. Lin Xiao said as he took out his phone and dialed a number. Hey, Uncle Qi, it's me, Lin Er. Yang Chen smiled faintly. Qi Yunfei, isn't he one of Chen Shusheng's three tigers? Yang Chen also took out his phone and sent a WeChat message to Chen Shusheng. Seeing Yang Chen also taking out his phone, Ma Ling sneered, Oh, you can also make calls? Why did you put down your phone again? I thought you could actually make a call and have a chat with young Master Lin, but it seems like you're just a country bumpkin. Zhang Yu also felt uneasy, it seemed like he was going to lose today. However, Yang Chen remained calm and pulled over a chair from the side, sitting down casually. You dogs bastard, you actually have the nerve to sit down. Let's see how you end up later. It's hilarious. I can't wait to see you become disabled. Ma Ling gritted her teeth and said viciously. Seeing Yang Chen's calm demeanor infuriated her even more. What made her angriest was that she had jumped the queue and Zhang Xiaoyan dared to complain, while Yang Chen unexpectedly came out to support Zhang Xiaoyan. She now desperately wanted to see Yang Chen scream in agony after being beaten to a pulp. Young Master Lin also showed a cold expression. You seem to be quite arrogant. I hope you can maintain this composure when you get beaten later. He also pulled over a chair, crossed his legs, and sat down. He he, do you think it will be you sitting later? Yang Chen sneered. Ha ha ha. Young Master Lin was initially stunned, but then burst into laughter. Even the manager and Ma Ling joined in the mocking laughter. Do you think it will be you? Young Master Lin finished laughing and looked at Yang Chen with a look of contempt. We'll see. Within five minutes, the screeching sound of brakes could be heard outside, and more than 20 people rushed out of the cars, aggressively entering the room under the leadership of a man in his 30s. The leader of the group had a fierce gaze, his eyes slightly bloodshot, and exuded a strong sense of hostility. He spotted Yang Chen sitting from afar, causing his heart to skip a beat. He had only recently met Lin's father and had dinner together. Lin's father had established a relationship with him, calling him uncle. He also wanted to benefit from the Lin family. When he received a call from young Master Lin earlier, he was a little impatient. However, a moment later, his boss, Chen Chu Shang, personally called and gave him an order, along with a photo. The man in the photo was now sitting there, observing him. Uncle Chi, it's this kid, crippled him for me. Young Master Lin sneered, looking at Chi Yunfei. Chi Yunfei was only in his thirties, but he was treated as a brother by Lin's father, so naturally, young Master Lin called him uncle. But before he could finish his sentence, Chi Yunfei kicked young Master Lin in the chest, sending him and the chair flying to the ground. Beat him. Chi Yunfei ordered the people behind him. Immediately, three people rushed forward without hesitation and started mercilessly kicking young Master Lin. The manager and Ma Ling were shocked and stood there like statues. De Bolong, on the other hand, shouted frantically, What are you doing? You've got the wrong person. He's the idiot. You've got the wrong person. As she spoke, she even reached out to pull a few people away. This one's worth a dollar. Chi Yunfei didn't even greet Yang Chen, but instead gave orders to the people behind him again. Three more people stepped forward and started beating De Bolong, grabbing her by the hair. After a long period of agonizing screams, Chi Yunfei waved his hand and the crowd dispersed, revealing a bruised and swollen young Master Lin and De Bolong, who were in a state of extreme fear. Young Master Lin looked bewildered. 
As soon as the sound of the amplifier passed, everyone turned their attention towards Yang Chen. Applause thundered throughout the room. Customers and waiters alike raised their hands and clapped. Many people at the tables even stood up and waved to Yang Chen from afar. Some even raised their glasses and toasted him. The Century Restaurant, which had been somewhat quiet, suddenly became lively with laughter and chatter. Yang Chen stood up proudly, greeted everyone with a fist bump, and then sat back down. The only table that didn't applaud was Zhou Xiu and her friends. They had thought that Yang Chen was just bluffing. But if he was bluffing, there was no need to buy all the other tables as well. Paying for the entire restaurant? That must cost a fortune. The women were dumbfounded, feeling a mix of emotions. They were happy, of course, as they had just enjoyed a free meal. But Sun Anchi's boyfriend turned out to be so wealthy? Five hearts filled with jealousy burned fiercely. The way they looked at Yang Chen changed completely. There was jealousy, shock, and, of course, desire. Zhou Xiu's gaze once again fell on the bag of clothes. If Yang Chen was really that rich, then the clothes couldn't possibly be fake, just like she had suspected earlier. That one piece of clothing was worth three points. Damn it, Sun Anchi, you actually called it a fake, and now you won't give me the clothes. Oh my god, Anchi, your boyfriend is amazing. He's paying for the whole restaurant, handsome. A girl excitedly said to Sun Anchi, her eyes gleaming with a sinister light. Why is it you? Why is it always you? Sun Anchi was speechless, wondering why Yang Chen was spending money so recklessly. Even if you have money, you shouldn't spend it like this. She could only force a smile and didn't know what to say. Hey, Anchi, there's a new hot spring resort at Yunding Mountain, it's amazing. I've already made a reservation, let's go next week. Bring your boyfriend, let's have some fun and relax. A girl who was close to Yang Chen casually unbuttoned a button on her collar and hugged Yang Chen's arm. Another girl quickly joined in. That's right, you didn't even tell us when you got a boyfriend, that's so rude. When can I borrow your boyfriend? I don't even have a date, and I don't know how to deal with my mom when I go home. They said as they leaned towards Yang Chen. Yang Chen picked up a chopstick and gently pushed the woman who was trying to hug his arm away, then said to Sun Anchi, darling, we should go now, you forgot that you have to. Oh right, I'll go first. Sun Anchi understood and seemed to remember something, so she quickly stood up. The other women wanted to stop them, but seeing their determination, they couldn't do anything and could only think of another way. After all, they had invited them to settle the bill, and now that it was settled, it didn't matter anymore. Yang Chen picked up his bag and clothes, smiled apologetically at the others, and then walked out of the restaurant hand in hand with Sun Anchi. As they left, polite greetings came from the other tables. The receptionist at the front desk nodded and smiled at him. Yang Chen pointed at the receptionist with a laugh, and the receptionist quietly took out her phone and dialed Yao Yao Ling's number. After Yang Chen and Sun Anchi left the restaurant, Zhou Xiu and her friends finally started talking. He's so rich. That clothes just now, it's definitely not fake, it must be genuine. What kind of luck did Sun Anchi have in her past life? She's so lucky, damn it. He paid for the whole restaurant, how much money is that? At least five or six figures, right? This is unacceptable, the more I think about it, the more unfair it seems. Sun Anchi was brought here by us, and her boyfriend is the one paying. Why did he have to pay for everything? That's our money. You're right. Hey, let's go to the front desk and get our money back. Once we have it, we can leave. Yes, that's the one who paid for us, we have to get it back. The more they thought about it, the more they felt cheated. They just gave so much money to a stranger? That's too wasteful. After they made up their minds, they packed up and went to the front desk. Hey, the two people who just left, you know they were at our table, right? Zhou Xiu rudely slapped the table and asked. The receptionist smiled. I know. I'm his sister. My brother is such an idiot, always wasting money. He just paid for everyone again, using my money. Give me the money back. Just charge us for the three tables. Zhou Xiu flicked her hair casually and said. The receptionist's smile remained unchanged. It's impossible to refund the money. The gentleman just paid for the bill, so it can't be refunded. And your three tables haven't paid yet, please settle the bill. What? What? Zhou Xiu was dumbfounded feeling a buzzing in her brain. What are you talking about? Didn't he come over from our table just now? He paid for the whole place and you even announced it. A girl shouted angrily. The receptionist showed a regretful expression. I'm sorry, mister. Yang did indeed pay for the whole place, spending only five cents. But he didn't pay for your three tables, I'm really sorry. He also asked me to tell you something. It's called guests, don't bring guests. I hope you can understand. Um... Your three tables have a total consumption of $1, 3 cents, and 200 cents. Would you like to scan the code, use a card, or pay in cash? 
Yang Chen and the other person walked a short distance away and heard a commotion coming from the direction of the Century Restaurant. Soon after, a police car stopped at the entrance of the restaurant. Sun Anchi's phone immediately started ringing like crazy. But Sun Anchi naturally didn't answer. They will probably treat me as their mortal enemy from now on. Sun Anchi muted the phone and pouted helplessly. What else can it be? Do you think they treat you as a friend? Yang Chen sneered. Even if you have money, you can't spend it recklessly. Why did you pay for everyone? How much money did that cost? Sun Anchi poked Yang Chen with her hand, dissatisfied. Yang Chen smiled helplessly. Not spend recklessly? Not only does he have to spend recklessly, but he also has to spend as much as possible. He needs to see how the enhanced function works. Alright, I got it. Just as they were talking, Yang Chen's phone also rang. He picked up the call and saw a familiar name. Zhang Yu. His nickname was Octopus, his good buddy. When the company went bankrupt, his own set of houses almost got liquidated. It was Zhang Yu who took out his savings accumulated over the years and helped him out. Zhang Yu should be penniless now. Hello. Yang Chen answered the phone. Hey, Lao Su. I'm driving over to pick you up. Cheer up. I'll take you to make money. Zhang Yu's urgent voice came through. Come to the West Hua Road to pick me up. I'm here. Oh, I'm just one intersection away. Wait for me. He hung up the phone. Yang Chen helplessly looked at Sun Anchi. He had wanted to buy something and treat himself to a sumptuous dinner cooked by Sun Anchi. Sun Anchi took the gym bag and clothes from his hand and raised her head. Perfect, I'll go home and try on clothes by myself. Who cares about you? Hum she made a face at Yang Chen and left on her own. Yang Chen smiled faintly. In a moment, a new Jetta stopped in front of him and the car window rolled down. Zhang Yu arrogantly pushed his hair back. Get in the car. What's gotten into you today? You actually went out, shaved your beard, and washed your face. Zhang Yu looked at Yang Chen, who was in good spirits, and compared him to the guy who wanted to slap him a while ago. He was completely different. He was puzzled. I've come back to life. Yang Chen smiled and then looked inside the car, asking, This isn't your car, right? I remember you sold yours. Borrowed it. We're going to discuss something important. Let me tell you, I've found a big project. If we handle it well, we can step by step, grow and become stronger. Create more glory. Zhang Yu drove with one hand and vigorously waved his fist with the other. It's not that solar power project you wanted to do last time, is it? Yang Chen said helplessly. Zhang Yu awkwardly smiled, that. That's like Wu Dalong marrying Kardashian, it's hard to say. So what's this project about? Let me tell you about this project. It's like a stink bug falling from the ceiling, you can just lie down and eat it. Are you trying to gross me out? Yang Chen glanced at him. This silly guy always had a mouthful of idioms, it's been so many years, he could publish a collection. Do you know we have a big internet celebrity in our city? His name is Ma Guabao. He claims to be a master of Xingyi and even knows Qigong, but he's actually a fraud. Yang Chen nodded, even if he never left the house, he knew about him. That guy was a source of joy. That's him. Their team is currently looking for temporary workers, specifically those with good physique and muscles. They want to package us as boxers, give us some titles, and then let us fake fight. As long as we get knocked down by him, it's done. 8 cents per fight. 8 cents. Zhang Yu clenched his teeth and made an 8 gesture. Yang Chen nodded. 8 cents, and it's in New York. This is what you call a good project. TSK, why don't you stay at home instead? Look at your muscles, they're already at a professional level. As for me, I'm tall and strong, I'm definitely qualified. What's this called? It's called closing the door and pinching the crotch rushing an inch. Zhang Yu proudly told Yang Chen. At this moment, they encountered a red light ahead, and Zhang Yu stopped the car steadily. But after a moment, there was a loud bang, and the car shook violently. Both of them looked back at the same time. It turned out that a car was chasing them from behind. Damn it! Zhang Yu cursed silently, pulled the handbrake, and both of them quickly got out of the car. The car that hit them was a bright red BMW 5 Series with temporary license plates. It was a brand new car. A woman wearing high heels, a tight skirt, and heavy makeup got out of the car. She was still holding a phone that was in a call. When she saw the huge dent in the front of her car, she became furious and shouted into the phone, I'll call you back later, I've got a problem. Then she hung up the call and yelled at Zhang Yu, how did you drive? When Zhang Yu got out of the car, he was already angry. This was a car he borrowed, regardless of whether the other party would compensate or not, it would be difficult to explain when he returned it for repairs. But when he saw that it was a brand new BMW, he became a bit timid. Being shouted at by this woman made him lose all his momentum. There was nothing he could do, 
This was what it meant to be poor, even if you were right, you had no confidence. Poverty makes people short-sighted. This, you hit me, you rear-ended me, Zhang Yu said with a face full of grievances. The woman's chest heaved with anger, her eyes widened even more. What? I rear-ended you. If you didn't stop randomly, could I have rear-ended you? Didn't I stop at the red light? You braked so suddenly, how could I react in time? I've been stopped here for a while, and you only hit me now. Shut up. Stop talking, you're disgusting. Pay up. You won't leave without five cents today. The woman impatiently waved her hand, her face full of disgust. Five cents. It'll cost me one cent at most to fix this car. Zhang Yu shouted in fear. This is a new car. A five cent BMW. I just drove it out of the 4S store. It's brand new. And it hit you, you idiot. Look at the dent on the front. The woman yelled at the top of her lungs, and the surrounding cars stopped to watch the commotion. Zhang Yu immediately became anxious and grabbed his hair. You understand clearly, you rear-ended, it's entirely your fault, and no one is taking care of my car yet. Can we just stop arguing and go our separate ways? I won't hold you responsible, okay? Zhang Yu just wants to settle things peacefully. He just wants to admit his mistake and quickly get rid of this 5 cent BMW. This Jetta is worth at most 5 cents. Don't you understand human language? I told you to compensate me. Why are you talking nonsense about some useless currency? The woman pointed at Zhang Yu and cursed. Even some passing drivers nearby couldn't stand it anymore. Brother, don't back down, stand up to her. It's rare to see someone so arrogant after rear-ending someone. She's clueless about traffic regulations and yet she's demanding money from others. Exactly, if it were me, I would have slapped her already. Of course, these people are just passing by, showing off without understanding Zhang Yu's predicament. He is most afraid that this woman is wealthy. If she knows people in the traffic department, the punishment might not be favorable. The cost of compensating her for the BMW would be more expensive than repairing his own car. Call the police. At this moment, Yang Chen took out his phone and coldly glanced at the woman, dialing the traffic police department's number. When the woman heard the words, call the police, her eyebrows furrowed and she angrily looked at Yang Chen. What business is it of yours, you idiot? Shut up! She glared fiercely at Yang Chen, her eyes seemingly ready to devour him. Instead of making a phone call, Yang Chen saw a traffic enforcement officer approaching from not far away. What's going on? The woman immediately started shouting. Comrade, you arrived just in time. I was driving perfectly fine, but this idiot suddenly slammed on the brakes, causing my brand new car to be damaged. He refuses to compensate me. That's not true. I parked normally, Zhang Yu quickly explained. Just because you say it's normal, does that make it normal? Ha, huh? you think you have the final say. Shut up. The woman was really good at throwing a tantrum, making everyone's eardrums ache. Zhang Yu couldn't even get a word in. The enforcement officer glanced at her and said indifferently, based on my observation, it's entirely your fault. The other party doesn't have to compensate you. I'll know for sure after reviewing the surveillance footage. First, show me your documents. Why should I? What kind of junk car is this? Mine is a BMW. How much is 5 cents? Regardless of whose fault it is, he still has to compensate me. What does entirely your fault mean? She had no idea whose fault the accident was, she only knew that her new car was damaged. Stop talking nonsense. Show me your driver's license and registration, quickly. The enforcement officer frowned and scolded. Zhang Yu sighed and went to get his documents. But when he heard the request for a driver's license, the woman's eyebrows furrowed and she looked a bit panicked. Well, I don't have my driver's license with me. What about your ID card? The enforcement officer became alert and asked her. The woman hesitated. I don't have my ID card either. The enforcement officer frowned even more, then he lowered his head and saw that the woman was wearing high heels. He immediately understood and pointed at her. Don't move, wait here. He said and walked towards a nearby enforcement booth, presumably to call for backup or retrieve some evidence. The woman glared maliciously at Zhang Yu and Yang Chen, cursing, you two pieces of garbage. Just wait and see how I deal with you. As she spoke, she picked up her phone in a panic and dialed a number. As soon as the call connected, she coquettishly said, oh honey, I, I got into an accident with two losers at the intersection, and then the enforcement officer came and targeted me. Hurry up and come over. Yes, yes, I'll send you my location. At that moment, Yang Chen's phone also rang. It was an unknown number. Hello? Hello? Is this Mr. Yang Chen? This is Qian Xiaohu. The voice of Qian Xiaohu came from the other end of the phone, and Yang Chen was slightly stunned. Do you need something? Oh, I see. 
I heard from Li Mei that your girlfriend will attend a birthday party in a couple of days. Li Mei already prepared a gift for her, so I was wondering if I should also. Yang Chen chuckled inwardly, knowing that Qian Xiaohu was just trying to be considerate. No need, it's just a small gathering. Yang Chen declined. All right, I'll follow your lead. By the way, how did you get my number? Li Mei doesn't even have it. Oh, don't be angry. I'm quite familiar with the boss at our city hall, so I asked him to help me find it. Qian Xiaohu said nervously. Oh, I see. Yang Chen suddenly realized, while also showing interest in the woman next to him. I have to go now, I'm quite busy. Someone crashed into our car and is asking me for money. Yang Chen said with a smile. Ha! Huh? Qian Xiaohu was dumbfounded. Is that even possible? Yes, it seems like they were driving without a license, wearing high heels, and had a very arrogant attitude. I think people like that should be banned from driving for life. I understand. Hmm. Seeing that Qian Xiaohu understood, Yang Chen hung up the phone. He didn't want to use Qian Xiaohu's help originally, but it seemed that the woman had already found someone. If he didn't use it, she might really get what she wanted. Oomph, banned from driving for life. You're such a fool. You probably don't know the power of connections, do you? Hearing Yang Chen's relaxed tone on the phone, she couldn't help but get angry and mock him. Oh, so you have connections? Yang Chen asked with interest. Do you know who my boyfriend is? If he says the word, do you think I can't get you into trouble? Fool, there are some things you simply don't understand. Prepare to die. The more she looked at Yang Chen's calm expression, the more she hated him, wishing she could tear his mouth apart. Perhaps her boyfriend was nearby, because in less than two minutes, the enforcement officer hadn't returned yet, and a Maserati parked by the roadside. A chubby man quickly walked over. As soon as Yang Chen saw this person, he couldn't help but laugh. This chubby man was none other than Zhang Pangzi, whom he had met at Li Mei's shop. Zhang Pangzi's eyes widened in shock halfway through running, then quickly turned into bitterness. The woman hurriedly approached him and coquettishly said, Honey, you're finally here. You scared me. If you didn't come, they would have started hitting me. But Zhang Pangzi kept staring at Yang Chen, swallowing hard and smiling obsequiously. Um, Mr. Yang, we, we meet again. Yes, twice in one day. Quite a coincidence. Yang Chen nodded. Yes, yes, it's a coincidence. Zhang Pangzi smiled alone. The BMW woman looked puzzled. She wasn't stupid and could tell that Zhang Pangzi couldn't afford to offend the other party. She was suddenly alarmed. Zhang Pangzi suddenly turned his head and glared at the woman, making the BMW woman tremble. What's going on? Speak. They stopped here, and I didn't notice, so I crashed into them. The car is already damaged, so I just wanted them to compensate me. Are you an idiot? You rear-ended them, so it's entirely your fault. And you're asking someone else for money. Are you brainless? Zhang Pangzi was furious, grabbing her face and pulling it hard. The BMW woman's face instantly turned red from being pulled, and she covered her face, feeling wronged. I, I didn't know it was entirely my fault. I, I don't understand. Zhang Pangzi took a deep breath in anger, then rummaged through his wallet and took out a one-cent coin, awkwardly handing it to Yang Chen. Mr. Yang, please take this money to repair your car. Yang Chen accepted the coin without hesitation. He never dreamed that one day, such a large coin could resolve such a matter. We have something to do, so we'll leave first. You can stay here and wait for the handling. Yang Chen said as he was about to get in the car. They had no responsibility in this matter, so they could leave at any time, especially with Qian Xiaowu taking care of it Mr. Yang, can you say something good to Mr. Tang? The contract here is too important to us. Zheng Pangzi hesitated and pleaded. Yang Chen gave him a cold glance. You've provoked me twice in one day. I'm already giving you face by not pursuing it further. Are you bargaining with me? No, 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 I wouldn't dare. Zheng Pangzi shook his head repeatedly, bitterly smiling as he took two steps back. Yang Chen signaled to Zhang Yu and they got into the car and drove away. Zhang Yu was a bit confused throughout the whole process. Yang Chen had indeed come back to life. The confident and strategic Yang Chen from before had returned. He was a bit excited as he got into the car, and they quickly left the scene. Once Zhang Pangzi saw them drive away, his eyes filled with burning anger. He turned around and grabbed the BMW woman by her hair, viciously ramming her towards the BMW. He was going crazy. He couldn't help but think that he had brought bad luck upon himself. All the women he found seemed to be troublemakers. He had provoked this jinx twice in one day, and he had no doubt that one word from Yang Chen could completely ruin his family. The BMW woman screamed in agony, and some passersby who knew what had happened shouted from a distance. In the car, Zhang Yu asked in confusion, what the hell just happened, Lao Su? 
Why is that fat guy so afraid of you? And who is this Mr. Tang? He's someone I used to know in business. I needed a favor from him, Yang Chen casually brushed it off, then took Zhang Yu's phone. By the way, I sold my house and got some money. I'll transfer five cents to you first. What? Zhang Yu was so shocked that he slammed on the brakes and pulled over to the side of the road. I only gave you one cent, why are you giving me so much? Yang Chen knew his buddy too well. If he gave him too much, he definitely wouldn't accept it. Five cents was the limit he could convince him to take. Besides, he couldn't tell him that he was rich now. It would be hard to explain. Do you think I'm giving it to you? This is for Aunt Lin. She raised you, a fool, and it wasn't easy. Then, what are you going to do after selling your house? You don't have a house either. Let's go work for Magwabao, Yang Chun chuckled. All right, you're really stirring up trouble in front of Wu Song looking for excitement. Spent 5 cents, gained 50 points. Current points, 55, enhanced attributes activated. Finally, the system spoke up. Sitting in the car, Yang Chen started studying this enhancement point. Each point could be exchanged for one enhancement point, and currently, there was only one option for the enhancement point. Comprehensive attributes, zero, comprehensive attributes include, but are not limited to, strength, speed, reaction, resistance to attacks, hearing, vision, smell, etc. Yang Chen was speechless. It was too comprehensive. But at the moment, the points only had this one use, so there was no need to dwell on it. Add them all to the comprehensive attributes. Comprehensive attributes, 55 points. After adding them, Yang Chen felt a distinct tightening throughout his body. He could clearly sense that something marvelous was happening to his body. He clenched his fist, feeling like all aspects of his body had indeed improved, although not very noticeably. It was subtle, but any improvement was a good thing, and Yang Chen didn't dwell on it. After all, he still had to spend the points. During their trip, they didn't meet Magua Bao but the manager really took a liking to them. They agreed to have a big premiere in two days and asked them to come. The salary would be 8 cents. That night, the two of them had a big meal at a roadside stall, and Yang Chen finally saw the hobby, a coin worth one haomai, which was half the size of a one-cent coin. There were also 1, 2, 5, 10, 20, 50, 100, 200, and 500 haobi. Beyond that, there were fin coins, which were slightly larger than haobi, and then jiao coins. These were all considered high denominations. It was rare to see Jiao coins in circulation, as anything above that had hidden gold threads after drinking, Sun Anchi had already fallen asleep when Yang Chen returned home. When Yang Chen woke up the next morning, Sun Anchi had already gone to work. Yang Chen freshened up and packed his gym bag, heading straight to Sun Anchi's gym. As soon as he stepped into the gym, the receptionist sighed upon seeing him. Yang Chen didn't mind and shamelessly smiled at the receptionist, raising his eyebrows in a familiar manner. The receptionist gave him a disdainful look and reluctantly reached for the intercom to call Sun Anchi. This was the usual process for Yang Chen being brought in by a fitness coach to train. However, this time, Yang Chen gestured for her to stop and pressed his finger to his lips. Don't call her yet, I'm not taking the class today, I want to get a membership card first. A puzzled look appeared on the receptionist's face. Yang Chen had been coming to the gym to train for quite some time. Because the gym was not a particularly strict place and there was no significant wear and tear, the staff at the gym were usually allowed to occasionally bring friends to play. However, Yang Chen rarely did this and treated it as a place for long-term exercise. Why did he suddenly want to get a membership card today? Did he suddenly have money? Do you have money? The receptionist, who could be considered the second person Yang Chen was most familiar with at the gym, was not polite. How do you talk to God? Yang Chen replied irritably. The receptionist rolled her eyes at him and then pressed the intercom button, calling for a membership consultant. There were two sales positions in the gym, one was a membership consultant responsible for selling gym cards, and the other was a fitness coach responsible for selling various fitness courses and teaching them. Soon, a curly-haired man in his mid-twenties came running out of the membership office. He looked happy when he saw the receptionist, but his expression immediately turned sour when he saw Yang Chen. He walked to the receptionist with a furrowed brow. Do we have a customer? The receptionist pointed at Yang Chen. The membership consultant's face immediately turned cold and he said, I won't take him. Let him go. The receptionist glared at him, dissatisfied. They could argue and make trouble among themselves, but saying such things in front of a customer was not a professional attitude. Why won't you take him? Don't you know that Sun Anchi brings him here to train every day? It's my turn now and you give me a customer like this. At most, he'll get a seasonal card or a half-year card. He might even ask about the price and not get one in the end. Are you intentionally giving me a difficult customer? I won't take him. 
The curly-haired man didn't care whether Yang Chen was present or not. He immediately started shouting, tilting his head and adopting a very tough attitude. It was almost the end of the month and he was just a little behind in his performance, but every visitor was crucial now. And now that he finally had a chance, it turned out to be so unlucky. This son Anchi, who brought someone to train every day, wanted to get a membership card. If he had money, would he still be training here? At most, he would ask about it and maybe get a seasonal or monthly card. How much performance could that bring? If he took on Yang Chen, he wouldn't have any more time for other customers in the short term, and he would lose the opportunity for a big sale. He wouldn't be able to surpass the first place. The top salesperson received an extra bonus of 3 cents every month. He couldn't let Yang Chen ruin it. The receptionist slammed the pen she was holding on the counter. Sun Li Chao, will you take him or not? If you don't, don't take any visitors today. Although the receptionist was not tall and had a petite figure, she was clearly not someone to be messed with. She was a straightforward and assertive person. In the gym, some receptionists had more power than membership consultants or even coaches. Not to mention, she could report them. The curly-haired man glared at the receptionist, his anger evident, and then gave Yang Chen a fierce look he can't afford to provoke little Chile, but he can still disgust Yang Chen. He immediately rolls his eyes and turns to the side, muttering, what a disgusting toad, not biting but disgusting. He could have applied for the card any other day, but he insisted on doing it today, idiot. If it were someone with a thin face, they would have left when they saw them arguing. Yang Chen shook his head and smiled bitterly. This person is really strange, but maybe this money shouldn't belong to him. Yang Chen looked at the receptionist and said, since you can also sell cards, if they don't want to deal with me, don't force them. I'll just get one from you. In their club, receiving customers at the front desk was just a procedure, but anyone could sell cards. Even the janitor's acquaintances who came to get a card would give her a commission. Oh, right. Why don't you sell it yourself? Ju Meifun immediately found an opportunity and said to Little Chili. Little Chili looked at Ju Meifun with some resentment and asked, Are you sure you don't want to deal with him? This doesn't count as a natural visit. He specifically came to you to get the card. Why do you have to force it on me? Hey, just let her handle it. Ju Meifun said with a sneer, the last sentence directed at Yang Chen. Yang Chen always felt that this guy had a flamboyant vibe. After he finished speaking, he pretended to walk towards the membership office. Well, it seems that you have to earn your own money, and I'll earn mine from God. Yang Chen took out his phone and tapped it on the front desk, smiling playfully. The receptionist gave him a disdainful look. How long does it take? Why don't you introduce it to me first? Introduce what? Aren't you more familiar with it than me? There are two types of cards, regular and platinum. The regular card can only be used in this store for workouts, while the platinum card can be used in all chain stores, including smart service areas, coffee shops, cabinets, VR, and so on. The seasonal card is 800 milli, the half-year card is 1. 2 cents, the annual card is 2 cents, the two-year card is 3. 5 cents, the three-year card is 5 cents, the unlimited card is 5 cents. The platinum card is twice the price of the regular card. Although she said introduce what sarcastically, she was actually very knowledgeable about it. I want four unlimited platinum cards. After listening, Yang Chen tapped the table again. The receptionist's mouth twitched twice in anger, grinding her teeth. This guy was really playing with her. Regardless of the number of years on the fitness card, it was only for the cardholder's personal use. Only this unlimited platinum card meant unlimited usage, not limited to the cardholder or any specific store. Why are you staring at me? I'm giving the other three to someone else. Yang Chen blew air at her. I'll bite you. Fine, but after you bite, you better get back to work quickly. Yang Chen said, stretching his neck towards her. This made the girl so angry that she wanted to hit him with a pen. Yang Chen stopped teasing her, shook his head and smiled, and took out a few forms from her desk to fill out himself. Little Chili was stunned. Yang Chen usually joked around, but he always knew his limits and never made her uncomfortable. Could it be that he really wanted to apply for a card? Yang Chen filled out the forms seriously, then scanned the payment code on the table. WeChat payment, 4 cents. Hearing the amount, Little Chili was startled. One unlimited platinum card cost 1 cent, and he was getting 4. That's 4 cents, enough for a down payment on a two-bedroom apartment. And here he was. Successful purchase, 4 cents, earning 40 points. Just from the annual interest from the system bank, he would receive 12,500 cents. But that money was useless unless he spent it and earned points. So Yang Chen had to find ways to spend money. If it weren't for fear that little Chili would think he was a fool, he would have gotten 10 unlimited platinum cards. 
Are you really going to? Little Chile was so scared that she stuttered. With 20% commission, she would earn 8 cents from one center. Her monthly salary was only 4 cents. You're about to die. Hurry up and enter the information. Yang Chen scolded angrily. Oh, oops, I misspoke. Xiao La Jiao finally snapped out of it and quickly made cute spitting sounds before hurriedly starting to input the information. She quickly reached into the drawer and took out the Western Platinum card and handed it to Yang Chen. It's done. Get got a glass of water. Yang Chen nodded and arrogantly gave the order. Without hesitation, Xiao La Jiao ran quickly to fetch a glass of water. Let God pinch your face. Yang Chen pinched Xiao La Jiao's chubby cheeks, making both of them burst into laughter. All right, I won't tease you anymore. I'll go in first. Yang Chen smiled and playfully teased Xiao La Jiao. They had each other's WeChat and had played around before, so he really liked Xiao La Jiao's personality. Moreover, Xiao La Jiao was able to work at the front desk, she had a petite and beautiful figure, which was quite rare. Okay, Godspeed, Xiao La Jiao mischievously said. She wasn't the materialistic type of girl, but maybe in the past, Yang Chen didn't joke around as joyfully with her because of his poverty. It was all in good fun, and she enjoyed it. She thought Yang Chen was a humorous person with personal charm. She smiled and watched Yang Chen's back as he entered the gym, then clenched her fists and happily exclaimed yes. After all, it was 8 cents, a sum of money she couldn't earn in a year. Then she remembered the beauty points she had just earned and thought about sending a message to make that guy regret it. But after thinking about it, she was afraid that the beauty points would bother Yang Chen and cause trouble for him. I'll send it before I get off work at noon. Yang Chen put the card in his bag and quietly sneaked into the gym. He had planned to surprise Sun Anchi today. He walked along the wall to the personal trainer's office, which had transparent floor-to-ceiling glass. He looked inside. No one. He carefully looked at the wall and indeed saw a blackboard with the personal achievements of the trainers for this month. Strangely, he had looked at it before, also in this position, but it wasn't very clear. But today, it seemed much clearer. Could it be the effect of the 55 comprehensive attribute points from yesterday? Yang Chen murmured, then immediately exchanged the 40 points he had just obtained for the comprehensive attribute. Comprehensive attribute, 95 points, he felt a slight sensation, as if an electric current was flowing through his body. This strange feeling seemed to make every cell in his body tremble and change. He looked inside again. Sure enough, it was a bit clearer than before. He could see Sun Anchi's name, ranked second to last. Only 9 beauty points. There were a total of 8 trainers, 3 women, and 5 men. The first and second places were occupied by the other 2 women. Sun Anchi was only ranked 7th. It should be noted that female trainers were highly sought after in the personal training field, especially someone like Sun Anchi with such a high level of professionalism. It seems that this idiot is really not suitable for the sales industry. The first place sales performance had already reached 8. 9 beauty points. The name was Zhang Lily. Just as Yang Chen was craning his neck to look inside, he heard footsteps behind him. Hello, can I help you with anything? Yang Chen startled and turned around, instantly stunned. Before him stood a stunning beauty, graceful and lively, with exquisite makeup that perfectly accentuated her slightly raised red lips, adding a touch of charm to her pure temperament. This woman was called Lin Zuxian. She was the true owner of this club and reportedly started from scratch. At a young age, she had opened six Yunhai fitness clubs in Yunhai province and pioneered the immersive fitness experience with intelligent services. While all other gyms were losing money, she had thrived in the fitness industry in Yunhai with her intelligent services. This is the same place where Sun Anchi secretly introduced him when she happened to visit last time. It seems that she is here to inspect the gym again this time. Maybe it's a secret visit, so she didn't follow the store manager and the manager. You seem to be the big boss of this club. I've seen you before, Yang Chen said with a smile. Lin Zuxian smiled sweetly. She had just come in to change clothes and inspect the work properly. But as soon as she entered, she met the receptionist Xiao La Jiao, who told her some shocking news. Just now, someone applied for the West Zhang Unlimited Platinum Card. She was surprised. Since the opening of the Unlimited Platinum Card, less than 20 cards have been sold in all six stores, and almost all of them were negotiated by herself. She didn't expect someone to apply for the West Zhang card. That's why she was interested in meeting this person, so she came to strike up a conversation. She politely asked, yes, I am the owner of this place. How can I assist you? I want to buy some personal training sessions, Yang Chen said truthfully. All right, let me call the manager of the personal training department to arrange a coach for you, Lin Zuxian replied. Wait, this matter is a bit complicated. I need you to personally handle it, Yang Chen said. 
Originally, Yang Chen wanted to surprise Sun Anqi and spend some money to earn points, but when he saw Lin Zuxian, he had a better idea. Okay, come with me, Lin Zuxian said with a slight smile. She didn't show any dissatisfaction. As the behind-the-scenes boss, she had store managers for all six stores. It had been a long time since she personally handled any business. The two of them arrived at the store manager's office, and Lin Zuxian lightly knocked on the door. Yang Chen nodded secretly. Even when entering a subordinate's office, she still knocked on the door, which showed her good manners. Come in. As soon as they entered the store manager's office, they saw another woman sitting inside. This woman was almost 40 years old, looked very capable, and was busy writing something with her head down. When she saw someone coming in, she looked up, first stunned, and then stood up slightly excitedly. Boss, why are you here? It's nothing, Sun Jia, continue with your work, Lin Zuxian said. She asked Sun Jia to sit down and then let Yang Chen sit on the sofa. Sun Jia couldn't sit still and quickly went to pour water. My name is Lin Zuxian, may I know your name, sir? My name is Yang Chen. Mr. Yang, what kind of course would you like to buy? Let me be straightforward. I am friends with your personal trainer, Sun Anqi. I want to give her a little surprise and buy a $5 class for her, Yang Chen said casually. Lin Zuxian's mouth slightly opened in shock, and she couldn't help but be stunned. Sun Jia, who was pouring water at the water dispenser, also trembled, causing the water to spill. Five dollars. Five dollars, Lin Zuxian was shocked. This person not only bought several unlimited platinum cards, but also wanted to buy a five dollar class. The highest price for a fitness class here was only 300 cents, according to the highest price. 3 cents for 10 classes, 3 cents for 100 classes, 30 cents for 1000 classes, $3 for 10,000 classes, and $5 for nearly 20,000 classes. This was enough for this trainer to have classes for half of her life. That's right, $5, Yang Chen confirmed. Mr. Yang, with such a large purchase, do you have any other special requests? Although we are in business, we won't make our female trainers do things they don't want to do, Lin Zuxian said, lightly biting her lip. She had already been quite tactful in her words. Everyone was an adult and naturally understood. Yang Chen knew that Lin Zuxian had misunderstood, but he still affirmed her approach. Five dollars was not a small amount. The total monthly sales performance of her store did not exceed five or six cents. You misunderstood. I already said that I am friends with Anchi. I just want to give her a little surprise and make her happy. She has been worried lately. Yang Chen explained. Recently, Sun Anchi has been troubled by her performance, and she's not happy with how things are going. She can't find a job anywhere because her former classmates have been mocking her, so she's very distressed. Otherwise, she wouldn't have gone to the birthday party and tried to find a way. Lin Zuxian was speechless. A little surprise? Just to make someone happy? She couldn't help but envy Sun Anchi. She was also shocked by Yang Chen's generosity. To take out $5 to make a girl happy, who is this super rich second generation? Could he be the young master of some big family? That was my narrow-mindedness. I'm sorry, mister. Young. It's okay, but I have one more request. After I buy it, don't announce who this performance is for. Just say it's for a certain female coach. When you have a meeting tomorrow to tally the end-of-month performance, then you can tell her it's her performance. Yang Chen smiled. Since it's a surprise, it's better to come out when she least expects it. You really spoil her. With a friend like you, Anchi is so lucky. Lin Zuxian smiled. Although Yang Chen didn't say that he and Sun Anchi were in a relationship, a man wouldn't do this just for pure friendship, right? Let's not joke around. There is no pure friendship between men and women, unless one of them is too ugly to look at. Well, Mr. Yang, can I add you on WeChat? You can transfer the money to me, and I can handle it for you. Lin Zuxian took out her phone. The transfer was fake, she wanted to add Yang Chen on WeChat and take a look at his moments. She wasn't someone who sought power and wealth, but the longer she stayed in the business world, the more she understood the importance of connections. More friends mean more paths, more enemies mean more obstacles. Even if you don't seek others, you should know who you shouldn't mess with. Sure. Yang Chen didn't mind, he added her on WeChat, transferred the money, and the store manager went to handle it. The store manager naturally knew about Yang Chen's free training, because the manager of the coaching department occasionally mentioned it, but the store manager turned a blind eye. The Yunhai Club was very big, and it was good to have more people occasionally to increase popularity. But today, Yang Chen overturned her worldview. Five dollars, said and done, she had never seen such a generous person. Following Yang Chen's instructions, the accounting department sent out a big announcement, but only mentioned a certain female coach without revealing her name. Yang Chen chatted with Lin Zuxian for a while and found that although Lin Zuxian seemed mature, 
she was only one year older than him. She was only 26 years old this year, the same age as him, and seemed to be single. She started her business with scholarships in college and gradually made it to where she is now, showing her remarkable abilities. Lin Zuxian originally thought that Yang Chen was some rich second generation, but after chatting for a while, she had a new perspective on him. This person not only had a strong personal charm, but also a sense of humor and no airs of a wealthy person. He was truly rare. After bidding farewell to them, Yang Chen entered the gym and went to exercise with Sun Anchi. But it didn't take long. The private coach group exploded. Fuck. Five dollars. Whose order is this? Damn, I don't know. It wasn't written on the announcement. Only the performance was mentioned. Lily, is it yours? Didn't Chen Gu say he was going to give you a big order? Maybe it's a surprise from Chen Gu? The group was buzzing with excitement. Meanwhile, in a storage room behind the gym, a battle was taking place. The two sides of the battle were Jiang Lily and the coaches from the private coaching department. This place was usually where the coaches hid to smoke, but when the door was locked, it became a battlefield. The two quickly finished their fight, and the fitness coach lit a cigarette, while Jiang Lily cleaned up after him. The manager of the private coaching department had small eyes, a crew cut, and a somewhat fierce look in his eyes. He casually picked up the phone next to him and scrolled through it. Fuck. What's wrong? Jiang Lily stood up and asked in confusion he'd glanced at his phone. Five dollars? Jiang Lily was shocked when she saw the congratulatory message from the accounting department. Female coach? And no signature? Could it be mine? After the initial shock, Jiang Lily was overjoyed. Do you have any recent members like this? The personal training manager, Chen Chao, looked at Jiang Lily with confusion. He was also very excited because regardless of who it was, it would count towards the overall performance, and he would receive a commission. However, Jiang Lily thought for a moment. That person with the surname Wang? No, he shouldn't have that much money. Li Gu? Li Gu is also unlikely. She thought it over and was certain that no one would spend so much money on her. She knew what kind of person she was, and she definitely wasn't worth that much. Could it be that bitch son Anchi? Li Gu and the others have offered her this kind of price before, but she refused. Could it be that she finally agreed? Chen Chao thought with a hint of excitement. If Sun Anchi really started to succumb to money, then maybe he would have a chance to? That woman, Sun Anchi, was much better than Jiang Lily, who was worthless. Probably not, otherwise why wouldn't there be a signature? I think it's some rich guy who saw a female coach at the gym and wanted to get close to her by spending money. We've seen this kind of person before. John Lilly quickly imagined a clueless rich guy who didn't understand anything, going to the accounting department to buy personal training sessions and shouting for two female coaches. That's probably it, and even if it is, it's probably because they saw Sun Anchi. Chen Chao nodded, this was probably the most reasonable explanation, as this situation had happened before. Many members didn't understand how personal training worked and thought that buying sessions meant they could choose any coach to teach them, so they would buy sessions without hesitation. Although John Lily was unhappy with Chen Chao praising Sun Anchi in front of her, she had to admit that he made sense. Regardless, this deal definitely can't go to that bitch Sun Anchi. I want this deal. John Lily said straightforwardly. It was $5, and according to their commission structure, she would earn more than 7 cents from this deal. 7 cents, which could be used as a down payment for a two-bedroom apartment. This was a windfall. But thinking about it, Chen Chao would manipulate things behind the scenes and take 70% of the money. That would leave her with just over two cents. Of course, this deal is definitely ours. Chen Chao's eyes flickered as he thought about how to handle it. As he thought, a lewd smile appeared on his face. He quickly put on his clothes and left the storage room. Jiang Lily lit a cigarette, took out her phone, and started browsing her shopping cart with her legs crossed. With a commission of two cents, she could clear her shopping cart as soon as she received it. That bitch son Anchi, watch me not get angry with you this time. Ah, what a stroke of luck. Five dollars, enough to buy so many sessions, it's better than giving it to me privately. After clearing the shopping cart, maybe I can even buy a car. The money hadn't even arrived yet, and Jiang Lily was already planning her spending. Little did she know, at this moment, Chen Xiao didn't go to the accounting department, but went straight to the training area. Anchi. Chen Xiao saw Sun Anchi from afar, talking to Yang Chen. Sun Anchi playfully pinched Yang Chen, who had a playful smile on his face. They were flirting. He instantly felt extremely unhappy. What's so good about this loser? Sun Anchi exercised with him all the time. They often had physical contact. It was disgusting to see them together all the time. Manager Sun Anchi was taken aback, but now he wasn't afraid of the manager mentioning Yang Chen anymore, because just now Yang Chen had gotten her a new infinite platinum card, 
which caused her to blame Yang Chen for spending money recklessly again. Anchi, I. He smiled and spoke, but when he saw that Yang Chen didn't leave, he immediately frowned unhappily and said, Do you have any eyes? This is a work conversation, can you please leave? However, what he faced was Yang Chen's indifferent and icy gaze. Chen Chao's heart instinctively skipped a beat, and he swallowed hard. He understood that feeling of fear. It was fear. Seeing the tense atmosphere, Sun Anqi gently nudged Yang Chen. I'll wait for you over there. Yang Chen casually said, then turned and walked towards the free power zone. As soon as he turned and walked away, Chen Chao breathed a sigh of relief, but quickly became angry at himself for being afraid of this loser. He cursed himself silently, suppressing his anger. What's wrong, manager? Oh, it's like this. Returning to business, Chen Chao quickly put on a different face, with a self-proclaimed charming smirk. Did you see the group just now? A member bought a $5 class, and it was assigned to a female coach. But in reality, it's Jung Lily, I negotiated it for her. But as for this achievement, whether I give it to someone or not, it's all up to me. After all, it's $5, not a small amount. As he spoke, he licked his lips, feeling a bit dry, and looked at Sun Anchi with a somewhat heated gaze. When Sun Anchi heard about the $5, she was also startled, but she had already felt Chen Chao's gaze. Chen Chao had hinted at her a few times before, wanting achievements, and that meant sleeping with him. What do you mean? Sun Anchi asked with a slightly furrowed brow. What else could it mean, Anchi? Let me be clear, I can give you half of this achievement, as long as you come to my place tonight and have a drink with me, we won't do anything, can't we? Chen Chao chuckled. Can you really not do anything after drinking? This couldn't be any clearer. Give up on that idea, I'm not like John Lily. Since it's her achievement, you better handle it properly. Sun Anchi smiled coldly and said lightly. Chen Chao looked at Sun Anchi coldly and threatened in a low voice, You really don't know what's good for you, Sun Anchi. I've mentioned it to you more than once, but you keep rejecting me. I've given you face, haven't I? You're the one who doesn't know what's good for you, get lost. Sun Anchi took a deep breath and suppressed her anger. If it weren't for the fact that she didn't have a suitable job, she would have quit a long time ago. But she still had rent to pay and food to eat, she couldn't afford to be picky. All right, Sun Anchi, you're quite something, you'll regret it. Chen Shao saw that Sun Anchi's expression had changed and immediately wore a cold smile. He pointed at Sun Anchi with his finger and then quickly walked towards the store manager's office. Without even knocking on the door, Chen Shao pushed the door open and saw Sun Jie through the crack in the door. Sun Jie frowned. Chen Shao had already put on a different face at this point, smiling as he approached. But with a sweep of his eyes, he actually saw someone sitting on the sofa. With a stunning appearance, who else could it be if not the big boss Lin Zuxian? Chen Shao couldn't help but swallow his saliva harshly, his gaze swept over Lin Zuxian's thigh, and his expression became even more flattering. This beautiful boss had also appeared in his fantasies many times, but usually they were too far apart. Unexpectedly, she appeared here today. It was truly a stroke of luck. Coincidentally, a big deal came today. If he could take credit for it and catch Lin Zuxian's attention, maybe even have a chance to get closer to her. Who let you in? Sun Jia looked at Chen Shao with annoyance, pulling him back from his fantasies. Boss, you're here too. Chen Shao didn't even hear what Sister Sun said. He excitedly greeted Lin Zuxian first. Boss, I just happened to have something to report to you. I just closed a big deal worth 5 US dollars and rushed over to share the good news with you. Chen Shao took a few steps forward as he spoke. Lin Zuxian raised an eyebrow. A big deal worth 5 US dollars? Did you negotiate it? Chen Shao was cautious and didn't claim it as his own. Instead, he said, um, it wasn't negotiated today. I helped John Lily negotiate with a client before. John Lily didn't even know about it, but I managed to close the deal. The client came today, paid the money, and left. I didn't expect him to be so straightforward. I just saw him off. Chen Shao was actually a very cautious person. He had originally planned to ask the store manager first to find out what was going on. Although his and Jiang Lily's speculation was mostly correct, as similar incidents had happened before, he was still afraid of making a mistake, which would cause trouble. But as soon as he opened the door and saw Lin Zuxian, his mind went blank and he instantly forgot about his usual meticulousness and started taking credit. Chen Shao, are you talking about the personal training order worth 5 US dollars that was announced in the group just now? Sister Sun, who was standing nearby, coldly snorted and asked. Chen Chao's attention was focused on Lin Zuxian, so he nodded immediately. Yes. Just as he was speaking, the door was pushed open again, and Jiang Lily rushed in. Jiang Lily was a bit worried, 
so she quickly ran over after finishing her cigarette, excited to witness the moment when the 5 US dollar achievement would be credited to her. At this moment, she saw Lin Zuxian sitting on the sofa and hurriedly greeted him. Hello, Mr. Lin. Hmm. Um, Sister Sun, what about my order? Has it been credited to me? Zhang Lily anxiously asked. What order? Sister Sun pretended to be confused and asked coldly. It's the order worth 5 US dollars that was just mentioned, the one that was supposed to be assigned to the female trainer. Actually, it's mine. You can assign it to me. John Lily spoke while pointing at herself, as if urging Sister Sun to act quickly. Sister Sun calmly put down her pen, leaned back, and asked, So this order is yours? What's the name of the member? John Lily's smile instantly froze on her face. Oh no! She had been so eager to come and claim her share of the achievement that she forgot to first go to the accounting office to check the member's name and ask about the situation. If she had just taken a look at the member's name and casually asked about the situation, her story would have been more convincing. I, I forgot the member's name. I just remember that he's a middle-aged man, average height, average build. John Lilly was at a loss, but according to their speculation, it must be a man like that. Who else but those desperate middle-aged men would do such a thing? Bang! Sister Sun slammed her hand on the table, causing the pens on it to jump, even startling Lin Zuxian. He glared at her with displeasure. Shen Chao and Jiang Lily were both taken aback. Stop talking nonsense. Shen Chao, I gave you a chance, but it seems you don't know how to appreciate it. Pack up and get out, both of you are fired. What? Shen Chao's heart sank immediately. He knew he had messed up, but being fired seemed too harsh. He quickly said, Sister Sun, what are you talking about? I... I might have remembered wrong. Maybe it wasn't that client. John Lily was shocked by Sister Sun's outburst and couldn't understand the situation. She asked in a daze, fired. What's going on, Sister Sun? What's going on? Do you think I'm lacking a soul? Get out of here. Sister Sun may have been getting older, but when she glared at someone, it was absolutely intimidating. Chen Chao and Jiang Lily were dumbfounded. Yunhai Fitness Club is one of the top fitness clubs in the city. Located in a shopping mall, it has a good suction effect and is one of the few profitable fitness clubs in Tianbei City with generous benefits. However, now that Sun Jie has spoken like this, there is obviously no room for turning back. They don't have to lower themselves and can find a second best fitness club to work at. Zhang Lily walked out angrily, and Chen Chao took a deep breath and walked out unwillingly. Being fired is something they can reluctantly accept, but being deprived of the opportunity to earn $5 is unacceptable. Angry, John Lily stormed into the accounting office. As soon as she arrived, she heard people discussing inside. Oh my, what good fortune has Angelina accumulated in her past life? Exactly, Sun Jie said that the $5 is a little surprise for someone to be announced tomorrow. $5, I calculated that the commission alone is 7 cents and 6 cents, enough to buy a small house. Chen Chao, who was coming from behind, also heard this discussion and instantly became furious. It's Angelina again. All five dollars are for Angelina. John Lilly trembled with anger and walked towards the training area with a fierce momentum. Angelina was chatting up a female member and carefully instructing her on her movements. Suddenly, she saw John Lilly approaching with a fierce momentum and her eyebrows furrowed. John Lilly walked up, without saying a word, raised her hand and slapped Angelina. She was so jealous that she couldn't earn seven cents and six cents in three to five years. All this money was Angelina's, how could she not be angry? but it was obvious that she was no match for Angelina. Angelina immediately slapped her wrist with a backhand, forcefully pushing her hand away. John Lilly went crazy with anger. You dare to fight back. Before she could finish her sentence, she felt a sharp pain in her wrist. The fire in John Lilly's chest couldn't come out, and she immediately lifted her leg to kick Angelina. But before she could kick, she felt her long hair being violently pulled by someone, and she was flipped over, with a small clump of hair seemingly pulled out she fell to the ground in a mess. Fortunately, the training area had a rubber floor. She screamed and looked up, only to find it was Yang Chen, and she immediately cursed at him. You're asking for death. But before she could finish her sentence, Yang Chen stomped on her face. John Lily felt a tremendous force, as if her head was about to explode. Her head spun, and she almost went into shock. At this point, the store manager had already rushed over with security guards, and the members who were watching the commotion also gathered around. Yang Chen gestured to the store manager, indicating that he was acting in self-defense. The store manager naturally knew what was going on, smiled apologetically at Yang Chen, and then signaled for the security guards to lift Jian Lily up. Jian Lily was still a bit dazed from being kicked, and she was dragged out like a dead dog. 
Chen Chao watched from a distance, with no intention of helping. Zhang Lily was just his mistress, and he wouldn't stand up for her. But he hated Yang Chen to the core. Yang Chen, I'll kill you sooner or later. He gritted his teeth and angrily went to the office to pack up his things. Did you buy that $5 personal training session? As soon as they left, Sun Jie grabbed Yang Chen. Putting the pieces together, she quickly figured it out, and it seemed that there was no other explanation besides Yang Chen. Yang Chen helplessly explained that he had wanted to give her a surprise, but it was ruined by those two idiots. You fool, that's five dollars. Are you burning money just because you have it? Sun Jie stomped her foot in anger. Five dollars could buy a suburban villa. What's even more infuriating is that Yang Chen is still living with her in a shared apartment, but he used the money for a villa to buy a bunch of useless personal training sessions Yang Chen secretly laughed at himself, am I a fool? If I don't spend money like this, how can I increase my points? Do you want to eat a fool? I'll bite you to death. Sun Anqi was angered and ran away, while Yang Chen smirked and continued exercising. The private coaching department was already in an uproar, and soon there were no coaches left on the scene. They all took Sun Anqi into the private coaching office, bombarding her with questions, and many people looked towards Yang Chen. But compared to this, the happier news was that Chen Chao and Jian Lili were both fired. This group of people used to be afraid to be nice to her, otherwise they would be targeted by Chen Chao. But it must be said that Sun Anqi had a very likable personality, and they immediately surrounded her, chattering and laughing. When Yang Chen was about to finish exercising, his WeChat notification sounded. It was a message from Li Mei. Mr. Yang, do you have time for lunch? Xian Xiaohu and Dong Changming from Tenglong Real Estate would like to invite you for a meal. Chen Gu was afraid of disturbing you with a phone call, so he asked me to contact you on WeChat. The message was full of caution. Yang Chen thought for a moment. He had also heard of this Dong Changming. Tianbei City was the capital city of Yunhai Province, and Tenglong Real Estate was the largest real estate company in the entire province, the only one with a market value of over 100,000 US dollars. All right, book a place. Yang Chen agreed, since he didn't have anything to do at noon, it would be good to meet them. It would also be a good opportunity to see what tricks these three little foxes were up to. Okay, I'll book the location and send it to you right away. Li Mei quickly replied, and even mischievously sent a cute smiley face. A few minutes later, she sent an address. Haicheng Hotel, 3rd Floor, Tianjiano. 1. Tianbei City only had two 5-star hotels, and Haicheng Hotel was the first one. Interestingly, the owner of Haicheng Hotel seemed to be the third in command of Yunhai Province, along with Qian Xiaowu and the others. Yang Chen put away his phone, took a shower, and changed into a new set of clothes. After getting the platinum card, he had an exclusive smart locker, which was not only spacious, but also had the gym clean and dry his dirty clothes. After changing into his own clothes, Yang Chen saw Sun Anqi still surrounded by coaches, chattering away. He couldn't help but smile, greeted her from afar, and left the gym. Just as Yang Chen walked out of the gym, a message appeared in the gym's WeChat group. Congratulations to Yao Jingjing at the front desk for closing the deal on a West John Unlimited Platinum card. Visiting customer number 19. At this time, in the membership office, a group of people were discussing the big private coaching deal that cost $5. Sun Li Chao was also sitting on a chair with his legs crossed, feeling very frustrated. He had just dealt with a customer, spent a lot of time talking, but the person didn't end up getting a membership. At this moment, someone rushed into the accounting office and shouted, Damn, look at the group chat. Everyone opened the group chat again and saw the message. West John Unlimited Platinum Card? Closed by the front desk? What's going on? Did they not assign it to us? Damn, how much is the commission? Eight points? Hey, Sun Li Chao, customer number 19, isn't that the deal you passed to the front desk? You just dealt with customer number 20, did you pass number 19 to the front desk? Suddenly, someone said to Sun Li Chao with a bit of schadenfreude. Sun Li Chao's eyes widened. He remembered. That Yang Chen from earlier? That's right, it's him. Look, it's written right here, number 19 was just crossed out. Someone pointed at a scheduling chart on the wall, where it said Sun Li Chao for number 19, but he crossed it out and changed it to number 20. He even had a small conflict with the two people below because of this, so everyone knew about it. Hey! I heard that the person who got the West Jung Unlimited Platinum card is the one who bought the $5 private coaching session. Damn, from now on, the front desk and Sun Anchi know such an amazing person, they don't have to worry about their performance for the rest of their lives. If I could meet some other wealthy people through him, that would be amazing. Sun Li Chao was struck like lightning by the cold and mocking comments of the crowd. How is it possible? How could Yang Chen be so rich? 
He jumped up from his chair as if he had gone mad and ran towards the front desk. At that moment, Yao Jingjing was surrounded by a group of girls chattering away. Even the cycling coach came over to gossip when he saw the good news. Sun Li Chao ran to the front desk with an extremely unpleasant expression on his face and coldly said to Yao Jingjing, Yao Jing, that's my achievement. Yao Jingjing glared at him. She had already anticipated that the first thing Sun Li Chao would do when he saw the good news was to come and claim the achievement. My achievement? Wasn't it you who made sarcastic remarks and refused to serve the customer because they were poor? Wasn't it you who said you didn't want to receive them? Don't give me all that nonsense. Even if I don't want to serve them, they're still my customers. It's my turn to have that customer. Sun Li Chao stomped his foot in a somewhat feminine manner, shaking his head and throwing a tantrum. Sun Li Chao, do you think this is your home? What do you think you can do? If you don't want to take it, let it go. The surveillance footage clearly shows that I gave it to Sun Jia. You can talk to her yourself. Yao Jingjing smiled coldly. Sun Li Chao was immediately furious. He had originally wanted to cause trouble, but he didn't expect Yao Jingjing to bring out the surveillance footage. The gym was equipped with the best intelligent surveillance cameras, capable of recording even sound, so he couldn't continue causing trouble. Yao Jingjing, give me half of it. Sun Li Chao was about to explode. That was a whole 8 cents of income, even if he only got half of it, it would still be 4 cents, which was equivalent to half a year's salary for him. He regretted it now, why did he have to look down on people? Sun Li Chao, get in here. Sun Jia suddenly shouted from behind. Sun Li Chao was startled. Yao Jingjing and the others couldn't help but laugh. At the Haicheng Hotel, luxury cars were gathered. Yang Chen got out of the taxi and looked out of place. He realized that he should find time to buy a car. After looking at the magnificent decoration, Yang Chen put his hands in his pockets and walked straight in. The doorman at the entrance was still polite and didn't give him a hard time just because he got out of a taxi, but he wasn't as enthusiastic as before. In front of the golden staircase leading from the first floor to the second floor, there were several people checking information with the waitstaff. The second and third floors required reservations. At this moment, Yang Chen also walked over. He assumed that Qian Xiaowu and the others had already made arrangements. But before Yang Chen could speak, someone in the group suddenly turned around and saw him, causing a moment of surprise. Yang Chen? The speaker was a man with a slicked back hairstyle, slightly chubby and greasy. Yang Chen immediately recognized him as his college classmate. His name was Li Hu. Standing next to him was a girl, also his college classmate, named Chen Meng. Yang Chen frowned slightly. Did these two get together? Behind Chen Meng seemed to be her parents, who had dressed up carefully and seemed to be attending an important dinner. Chen Meng, what a coincidence Yang Chen completely ignored Li Hu and nodded with a smile at Chen Meng. Li Hu comes from a well-off family, but his character is extremely poor. He joined some PUA organization in college and even had an attempted rape incident. Later, I heard that his family took care of it with money. Chen Meng seemed a bit shy, with a hint of bitterness in her smile as she greeted Yang Chen. Zhang Yang, long time no see, said Li Hu with a playful smile, introducing Chen Meng's parents. Uncle and aunt, let me introduce you. This is my college classmate, who is quite impressive. He started a business with a scholarship before graduating and made quite a name for himself. Many girls were chasing after him back then. Chen Meng even pursued him, but he was too busy with his business to agree. Oh, but it seems like he recently went bankrupt and has a lot of debt. Hearing the first half, Chen Meng's parents were impressed with Yang Chen, but as soon as they heard about bankruptcy, they forced a smile and lost all desire to greet him. What are you doing here? Yang Chen didn't even look at Li Hu, and before he could finish his sentence, he quietly asked Chen Meng. This action made Li Hu's incessant words seem foolish. His carefully prepared mockery seemed like Yang Chen wasn't even listening, which infuriated Li Hu. We had some trouble with our small business and need to discuss something with the other party. I hope we can settle it today. And you, are you here to eat as well? Chen Meng shyly glanced at Yang Chen and smiled. She still had some feelings for Yang Chen, and her pretty face unknowingly turned red. Yes, I'm here to eat with friends. Oh, on the second floor too? It seems like the third floor. Yang Chen replied honestly feeling a bit embarrassed. Yang Chen, what are you pretending to be? The third floor? Did you come to the wrong restaurant? Do you know how much a table on the third floor costs? You may lack experience, but don't embarrass yourself, understand? Li Hu couldn't bear being ignored by Yang Chen and seeing him show off in front of him. Chen Meng's parents noticed Li Hu's anger and chimed in, oh, forget it, Meng Meng. Let's go upstairs quickly. Mr. Lu and the others will be here soon. Yes, today, Tiger helped us book half of this table on the second floor. It's quite a big deal. 
We absolutely can't make any mistakes today, hurry up. Chen Meng looked apologetic and a bit helpless as she glanced at Yang Chen, biting her lip lightly. Yang Chen probably understood that their family had encountered some problems with their business and were probably hosting a compensatory banquet, but they didn't have much money. Li Hu agreed to help them pay for half of it and arranged it at this high-end hotel, but it was still surprising. How could Li Hu be so kind, even if it was to pursue Chen Meng? Even on the second floor, a table would cost a fortune. Could it be that their family had made a fortune? Chen Meng's parents intended to go upstairs, but Li Hu had no intention of leaving. Li Hu coldly stared at Yang Chen. Get out. He was filled with anger. It was one thing for Yang Chen to ignore him, but he had also overshadowed him. He had just been promoted, and after the meal, he could get reimbursed. Coincidentally, there was this matter with Chen Meng's family, so he took the initiative to offer to pay for half. No matter how much it cost in the end, he could submit the receipt and immediately earn back half. Plus, he could show off in front of Chen Meng and make it easier to win her over. But now, Yang Chen shamelessly claimed to go to the third floor, undermining his efforts. If they left now, he wouldn't be able to slap Yang Chen in the face on the spot. He had been pursuing Chen Meng recently and absolutely couldn't allow such a thing to happen. Yang Chen looked at him with a gaze as if he were looking at an idiot. Get out? When can you become a security guard here? It would be more convincing than you are now, at least better than sounding like bullshit. What the fuck are you talking about, you fucking loser? Li Hu angrily pointed at Yang Chen and shouted, Li Hu, watch your language. Chen Meng couldn't stand it anymore and stared at Li Hu angrily. Chen Meng, have you lost your mind? Do you know what you're doing? Li Hu narrowed his eyes and spoke coldly. Chen Meng clenched her fists and gritted her teeth. Chen Meng's mother quickly scolded her daughter. TSK, what's wrong with you, Xiao Meng? Why are you confronting Li Hu for a loser? Are you stupid? Apologize to Hu Zi quickly. That's right, hey, young man, if you need to leave, then leave quickly. Don't bother us here, we have things to do. Hurry up and go. Chen Meng's father also waved his hand towards Yang Chen and the door. Yang Chen saw that Chen Meng was struggling, as if she had some hidden difficulties. It touched him slightly, especially when she stood up for him, making him feel guilty. He could ask Xian Xiaohu to investigate if Chen Meng was really in trouble, and he could secretly help her. But now was not the time to say these things. So Yang Chen smiled slightly at Chen Meng. I'll go up first. Yang Chen said and was about to go upstairs. The waiter followed, checking the information while walking up the stairs. Because someone had indeed instructed them to wait for a guest on the third floor today, they never treated each customer casually. But Li Hu was furious. Stop. Did I tell you to go up? Li Hu completely lost control. If Yang Chen really went up these stairs today, even if he went up to the bathroom, it would be a huge embarrassment for him. His loud shout startled everyone. Why are you so shameless? Why do you have to show off in front of us like a big shot? You're wasting our time. Who's he told you to get out? Why don't you hurry up and leave? Don't you see that you're being a nuisance here? Chen Meng's mother was also angry and pointed at Yang Chen's nose to scold him. Their small business at home had encountered some problems, and they had to resolve them today during the meal. Originally, they wanted to spend less money at a smaller restaurant as they were tight on budget. Coincidentally, Li Hu came to find their daughter, seemingly with some intention to pursue Chen Meng. Hearing about this situation, he offered to help arrange the meal and even share half of the cost. This would earn them face and status, and they smoothly arranged a meeting with the other party they wanted to discuss business with. But they didn't expect to encounter Yang Chen just as they were happy, and he had to oppose Li Hu. If Li Hu got angry and didn't help them arrange this dinner, it would be over for them. So now Chen Meng hated Yang Chen like crazy. I'll call you auntie for the sake of Chen Meng's face, but you need to understand that he provoked me. Yang Chen stood on the stairs, looking down at them and speaking coldly. What do I need to understand? I don't need to understand anything. If I tell you to get lost, then get the fuck out of here. Why so much bullshit? Who do you think you're pretending to be? Do you dare to go upstairs? Is this your place? Take a good look. Chen Meng's mother saw that Yang Chen dared to talk back and immediately switched to a shrewish mode regardless of how many people were present. Madam, please be quiet and don't make a scene here. A female manager from the front desk walked over and reminded her with some dissatisfaction. I'm making a scene? Are you blind? Can't you see that he's opposing me right here? Why don't you kick him out for me? I'm sorry, madam, we won't evict our customers without reason, but if you continue to make a scene, we may have to ask you to leave. The female manager frowned. Customers? Take a good look. Does he look like a customer in any way? His company has gone bankrupt. He's drowning in debt, just a loser who likes to pretend. 
Can't you see that he's trying to show off in front of my daughter? I'm telling you, we're here today to discuss something very important. If we delay, I won't let it go. Chen Ming's father also scolded. But it's obvious that their voices have lowered a lot. They can't really be kicked out. Li Hu coldly looked at Yang Chen. Yang Chen, I'll give you five seconds to get out of here. Yang Chen found it funny. He knew very well why Li Hu wanted to kick him out. It's because he treated everyone to a meal on the second floor, showing off in front of Chen Meng's family, but he insisted on going to the third floor, which made him look like trash. Li Hu, you really are an incompetent fool who only knows how to rage. What will you do after five seconds if I don't leave? Or rather, what can you do? Yang Chen sneered. You. Li Hu immediately became furious, but what Yang Chen said was absolutely right. Even the waiters refused to kick Yang Chen out, so what could he do? Use force? Call the police? What right did he have to make someone leave? He had no means to deal with Yang Chen because his family's conditions were not enough to qualify him as a second generation rich. You. Chen Meng's mother wanted to say something, but she saw several people coming down the stairs in a hurry. The leader was Li Mei and Qian Xiaohu. Following them was a man in a silver suit, around 30 years old, with short hair that was black with a touch of white. His face was handsome and noble. A group of waiters, including the female manager, bowed and called out, Boss. Obviously, this man in the silver suit was the boss of the Haicheng Hotel. But when Qian Xiaohu and Li Mei saw Yang Chen, their hearts trembled, and they quickly walked down. Mr. Yang, sorry for the late welcome. How long have you been here? We just arrived on the third floor. It took us only a few words to come down late. Don't blame me, Xian Xiaohu said with self-blame. They had indeed just arrived not long ago. They planned to come down to personally welcome him after a few words upstairs, but they didn't expect to meet Yang Chen as soon as they came downstairs. No problem, Yang Chen said lightly. He was originally in a good mood and didn't care about a grand welcome. He was just disgusted by Li Hu's behavior and felt a bit unhappy. The boss of Haicheng hurriedly came up and warmly extended his hand. Mr. Yang, hello, I am Chun Chusheng, the owner of Haicheng Hotel. Hello, please go upstairs. I have already arranged everything for you. The boss personally led the way, even the female manager and the waiters were stunned. They were all frightened. Oh my god, who is this person? If they had known that he was such an influential figure, they wouldn't have let Li Hu and his group shout at him like that. Will he blame them? Of course, the most fearful ones were not them. Li Hu was dumbfounded on the spot, his eyes widened. He didn't really know these three people, after all, at his level, he didn't even read business magazines, so how could he know Qian Xiaohu? But the person who introduced himself just now was Chen Shusheng, the owner of Haicheng Hotel. Why would Chen Shusheng come down to personally welcome Yang Chen? Is he crazy? He's just a failed entrepreneur. And even more fearful were Chen Meng's parents. Chen Meng's mother was about to scold Yang Chen, but the words got stuck in her throat. She even trembled slightly. Yang Chen didn't say anything else, just gave Li Hu a meaningful look. If he had the chance, he had to deal with Li Hu, but now was not the time, he had other things to do. Li Hu was scared and his heart sank. Cold sweat started to pour out. Yang Chen's gaze was too terrifying. Watching Yang Chen and the others, who were obviously important figures, go upstairs and leave, Chen Meng's heart was filled with mixed feelings. She bit her lip lightly. Indeed, he was still the outstanding Yang Chen, but she was even worse off than before. All she could do was watch as Bak Chen Meng's mother breathed a sigh of relief, thankful that those important figures didn't witness the scene where she scolded Yang Chen. She looked at her daughter and asked softly, Daughter, who exactly is this classmate of yours? Mom, you don't even know who he is. Why did you slander him like that earlier? Chen Meng questioned angrily. I, I was just afraid of offending Li Hu. And why didn't you remind me? Do you think I'm close to him? Chen Meng said bitterly. Chen Meng's father looked towards Li Hu. Um, who's he? What do you think? Li Hu suddenly woke up, bloodshot eyes, gritting his teeth and said, Go up, what are you standing there for? He absolutely couldn't leave now, with so many people watching. If he turned around and left, it would show that he was really afraid of Yang Chen. It was just because he knew a boss in Haicheng, there must be some cooperative project. Who knows if the other party would eventually cooperate with him. Chen Meng's family could only go upstairs dejectedly. Regardless, they still had important matters to attend to today. Third floor, Tian Jia Room. This was the best dining place in the entire hotel, with large floor-to-ceiling windows facing east, overlooking the CBD commercial district and several wide commercial streets. Especially at night, the lights were bright, like a starry avenue. When they entered the room, there was another person inside. He was a middle-aged man in a suit, with a worried expression on his face. 
This man had a slicked back hairstyle and there was a cigar on the windowsill. When he saw someone coming in, he quickly put down the cigar and walked up apologetically to Yang Chen, saying, Mr. Yang, hello, I am Dong Changming from Tenglong Real Estate. Yang Chen, Yang Chen smiled and shook hands. Due to special circumstances, I am not very convenient to appear in person, so I apologize for not welcoming you properly. I hope you won't mind. Dong Changming said sincerely. No problem. Please sit, please sit. The few people led Yang Chen to the seat of honor. Yang Chen was not polite either. After sitting down, he smiled and said, Today, I have had the pleasure of meeting three Yunhai heroes. It's a great honor. Chen Chusheng was stunned. He didn't expect this guy to know about Yunhai heroes. In fact, when he first saw Yang Chen, he didn't see anything special about him. If it wasn't for Qian Xiaovu's repeated instructions to be respectful and humble, he wouldn't have paid much attention to Yang Chen. After all, Chen Chuxing's name held sway over the entire entertainment industry in Tianbei City. They were all middle-aged big shots from various fields, and they felt a little uncomfortable with how they were treating this young man. I didn't expect our small reputation to reach Mr. Yang's ears. Dong Changming shook his head and smiled. Oh, let's start with the food. I can't wait to have a drink with Mr. Yang, Li Mei's slightly coquettish voice came. Her role here today was to liven up the atmosphere. Some things are better left unsaid after drinking. Let's all sit down and discuss business first. Yang Chen adjusted his sitting posture and stopped Xian Xiaowu from going to the corner to get the wine. The few people exchanged glances, not expecting Yang Chen to be so straightforward. We are all adults, and you are all influential figures. If there's something, just say it directly. It's more annoying to beat around the bush. You invited me to dinner, there must be a reason, right? Yang Chen said first. Um, his straightforwardness caught these old foxes off guard. But after all, they were all experienced people, and Li Mei was the first to react, laughing lightly. Mr. Yang is indeed quick-witted. Brother Dong, you go ahead and speak. All right, since Mr. Yang is straightforward, I won't be coy either. We are currently looking for an investor, Lao Air. That is, how I, he happened to meet you by chance, so I have a request. Then, Dong Changming explained his current situation Tenglong Real Estate acquired a piece of land for $1 last year. According to the normal process, the land should have been purchased first, followed by construction, and then the sale of the completed buildings. However, as a leading local company, Tenglong Real Estate had a foresight. They started construction on this $1 land even before the construction began, and started selling the houses before or during the construction process. This is what we call pre-sale properties. By using the proceeds from the sales, they plan to cover the construction costs, including the whole left from purchasing the $1 land in the future auction. In other words, they plan to build the houses first and then buy the land. However, there was a fatal flaw in this plan, which was that they ultimately had to successfully purchase the $1 land. Local companies naturally showed some respect, but for their competitors, it was a fatal weakness. A large real estate company from another province, intending to enter the market, targeted Tinglong as their primary competitor. So, when Tinglong was bidding for the $1 land, this competitor made a move and unexpectedly offered an extremely high bid, overpowering Tinglong and successfully acquiring the land. As a result, the houses that Tinglong had built became illegal constructions. Furthermore, the other party refused any form of mediation. Overnight, dozens of buildings in the entire project were demolished. Tinglong's initial investment was completely wasted, and their stock price plummeted. This included compensating individual home buyers, the loan interest on the initial investment, substantial fines, and countless civil lawsuits. Overnight, Dong Changming's hair turned white. And this was not the most fatal blow. The most fatal blow was that Tinglong Real Estate had three more projects like this, and they were all about to be auctioned off soon. If these three projects were also taken by their competitors, Tinglong Real Estate would be finished. Dong Changming would be finished, and there might even be imprisonment. Even Xian Xiaohu was struggling with this situation. Because a lot of Tenglong's initial investment came from Guangming bank loans, Xian Xiaohu was now facing a huge debt. Moreover, Yunhai Shishiong and the others all had shares in several other companies. Just look at the people sitting in the room right now. Xian Xiaohu, Chen Shusheng, and even Li Mei, who later became a shareholder of Tenglong. They were all in the same boat now. After Dong Changming finished speaking, everyone's gaze turned to Yang Chen. Yang Chen had his eyes half-closed throughout the entire conversation, but now he slowly opened them and looked at Dong Changming, asking, So, you want me to invest? That's right. Dong Changming sighed. How much money do you need to fill these holes? At least, 10,000. Dong Changming gritted his teeth and held up one finger. 
Tinglong still had some reserves, and with some desperate measures, they could scrape together another ten thousand to survive. But ten thousand dollars was not a small amount. I have ten thousand, but this is a mess. Why should I spend this money on a mess? Yang Chen rubbed his ear and furrowed his brow. This statement instantly chilled Dong Changming's heart. The others also exchanged glances, all filled with worry. Mr. Yang, if you have any conditions, you can also propose them. The reason why the few of us brothers have been able to support each other until today is because of our loyalty. As long as you are willing to help, we will definitely be loyal to you in the future. Chen Shusheng took a deep breath and sincerely expressed his attitude. In fact, this didn't need to be said. Yang Chen could see it too. This was true loyalty in times of adversity. If it weren't for the loyalty and unwavering support of Yunhai Shishong, they wouldn't have made it this far. Loyalty is good, but that's not all I want. Yang Chen also placed his hand on the table and pressed lightly. If I were to clean up this mess, there is only one possibility, and that is if this mess becomes mine. After Yang Chen finished speaking, the other's expressions changed drastically. Mr. Yang, are you saying, you want to take control of Tinglong? Even Dong Changming's brow furrowed slightly. Yang Chen glanced at everyone. Don't want to? The others fell into deep thought as well. Yang Chen seemed to be taking advantage of the situation but I have to say, this is their last hope. Now they want to be controlled, you can't find a second one. If Dong Changming doesn't agree, and let the situation develop, he will be completely destroyed, and the others will also be heavily implicated. I'm willing. After a long time, Dong Changming finally nodded, but there was not much joy on the faces of the others. Yang Chen pointed at these people with his hand. Look at your expressions, did I say I would only take a 10% stake? So what do you mean? The others were confused. Listen carefully, I'll give you $100,000 in cash. I've calculated it, and only $17,000 is enough to control Tinglong now. After controlling Tinglong, the remaining money will be managed by you, I'll just be the silent boss. There will be no changes in the company's system and personnel, you will still be in charge. Are you satisfied with this? The others were completely dumbfounded. $100,000? Tinglong is not even worth $100,000 now and Yang Chen is actually giving them a portion of the shares while only taking control. And what he said afterwards, there is no need to doubt it, because if he is lying, then his previous actions would be meaningless. For a moment, Dong Changming and the others felt like they were in a dream. With this $100,000, not only can the company be revived, but it can also soar to new heights. You, you're telling the truth. The others were extremely excited and whitened their eyes. Give me your bank account. Yang Chen didn't waste any time and reached out to Dong Changming. Dong Changming, in a daze, handed over his bank card. They all had a vague idea, but didn't dare to think too deeply. Yang Chen took out his phone and made a few operations. System bank transfer, no limit, instant transfer. Yang Chen casually threw his bank card back on the table with a snap and said, As long as you follow me well, we will be invincible. As Yang Chen's words fell, Dong Changming's phone emitted a heart-stopping sound. Your Guangming bank account, ending in 6688, has received $10,000. Whole. Dollars. With the final report, the water glass in Li Mei's hand fell on the table with a loud bang. The sculpture had already taken shape. Is Yang Chen really a human? It's one thing to casually take out $100,000, but the key is that there is no lawyer, no contract, and he just transferred the money like that. Dong Changming felt like his bank card was burning. While they were petrified, they didn't know that Yang Chen was secretly delighted. He was not afraid of Dong Changming and the others running away. Even if the $100,000 was burned now, as long as he could earn points, Yang Chen felt it was worth it. Money is just an external thing, but this comprehensive attribute is an improvement in physical function. Can money measure this? Spending $100,000 at once, how many points would that be? 10, 100, 1000, million. Yang Chen had already started calculating but reality is always cruel. As soon as the transfer was completed, the system prompt sounded. Congratulations on spending $100,000, but due to suspicion of manipulating points, this time you will be rewarded with 1,000 points. Damn it! Yang Chen wished he could smash the system. Manipulating points is not allowed? If he had known, he wouldn't have casually spent $100,000, even if he gave $10,000 at a time. Damn! Why didn't you say it earlier? But he didn't have time to dwell on it. Xian Xiaowu and the others exchanged glances, suddenly stood up, and walked to the table. They all knelt down on one knee. Kneeling on both knees is a sign of submission, kneeling on one knee is a sign of allegiance. This action startled Yang Chen. From now on, I am Dong Changming. Xian Xiaowu, Chen Chu Shen, 
willing to serve Mr. Yang wholeheartedly, willing to give our all. Li Mei skillfully pulled out a bottle of white wine from the side, opened the cap with a snap, and poured three large glasses of white wine for them. They have been in the business world for so many years, and have seen countless storms and witnessed countless dirtiness but I've never seen anyone like Yang Chen before. According to what Qian Xiaohu said earlier, Yang Chen had 660,000 yuan in cash. How much is the personal assets of the richest man in China? 380,000 yuan. And Yang Chen even said at the time, why is it so little? This means that this is not his limit. A person who casually holds twice the wealth of the richest man in China in his hands, would you choose to betray him and go solo, or hold onto his thigh and ride the wave with him? Yang Chen is definitely not simple. Faced with such a person, if he gives you 100,000, who would dare to play any tricks? They were scared out of their wits. Only by submitting to Yang Chen at this opportunity and holding onto his powerful support, can they achieve things they never dared to imagine. Watching the three of them down three bottles of Baijiu in one gulp, Yang Chen felt sorry for their stomachs. Li Mei also didn't back down, pouring a full glass and toasting Yang Chen. Cheers to you. Then she finished it in one go. All right, get up. From now on let's unite and work hard. Yang Chen quickly got up and pulled them up one by one. His goal for today had already been achieved, to show his strength and make them completely loyal to him, while also taking down Tinglong real estate. It was also a small repayment to his past self who had gone through hardships. Can we start serving the food now? Yang Chen smiled slightly as he helped them up. I'll arrange it right away. Chen Chusheng quickly went out to give instructions. Sitting down again, Dong Changming and the others felt much more relaxed. The heavy burden on their shoulders had been lifted, and with Yang Chen as their strong support, their hearts were filled with enthusiasm. I'll call the lawyer now and have him prepare the contracts. After everything is ready, I'll give them to you. The others had already completely accepted their subordinate position, and from now on, they only had Yang Chen as their leader. Alright, just plug the loopholes in front of us. This is just a temporary measure. The root of the problem is that foreign provincial enterprise. Tell me about your plans. Yang Chen said to Dong Changming. Dong Changming hesitated a bit and said, Boss, are you really entrusting all this money to me? No need to doubt a trustworthy person, and no need to trust a doubtful person. Yang Chen said calmly. This made Dong Changming straighten his back a bit. All right, then let me tell you. Dong Changming's intention was actually very straightforward, it could be called a shopping spree. Since the foreign enterprise had bid a high price for that US dollar land before, they had already spent a lot of money. So next, Dong Changming would keep a close eye on them. If it was prime land, they would bid a high price to snatch it. If it was inferior land, they would raise the price for them. Completely disrupting their deployment was the fastest way to break the foreign enterprise. When you have money, you can be willful. You can be aggressive. Then he talked about some more plans. By this time, the food had already been served, and the atmosphere among the group was very harmonious. Alright, everything is good, but there's still something missing. I remember there's a US dollar land king in Xiandao Lake. After Yang Chen finished speaking, everyone's chopsticks stopped, shocked as they looked at Yang Chen. Boss, the reason why that US dollar land king was unsold is because no one could afford it. If we bid for it, I'm afraid that foreign enterprise wouldn't even dare to make an offer. If we're going to do it, let's do it big. Let's take the Land King and all the residential and commercial land around Xiandao Lake. It's estimated to be at most two to 3,000 acres. If we don't have enough money, ask me for it. I believe that the government will come to us proactively when the time comes. At least we won't be able to escape a high-tech development zone. With policies in place, it'll be smooth sailing. Let's create a Qiandao new city, that's what I call something. Yang Chen said as he picked up a glass of juice and took a sip. The others were all dumbfounded. Qiandao new city, something? Is this even human language? Yang Chen was not only domineering, but also knowledgeable. At such a young age, he had the demeanor of a hero. They couldn't help but look at him with admiration once again. I understand, boss. Dong Changming nodded heavily by the way, stop calling me boss all the time. I don't really want people to know that I'm the boss behind Tinglong. I'm afraid of trouble. So from now on, in front of others, just call me. Master. Master? The others were stunned. Yang Chen thought for a moment. He didn't want to expose his identity in the future, but he still needed to interact with them frequently. Who would often associate with wealthy people? That's right. Feng Shui Master. When someone asks why you know me, just say that I know Feng Shui, and I have indeed studied it for a long time. Yang Chen said with a smile. He used to be bored and studied it a lot during college. Oh, really? Li Mei asked with interest. Of course, let's take this room for example. 
Look at this window, it faces directly east towards the main road, which should have bad feng shui. But he placed two qilins on both sides, obviously a feng shui master has resolved the bad energy. Yang Chen finished speaking and looked at Chen Chu Shen. Chen Chu Shen was not surprised, but Chen Xiaohu and Dong Changming were shocked. We were the ones who invited that feng shui master. That's right, these qilins were placed here by the feng shui master. Chen Chu Shen was also shocked. He didn't expect Yang Chen to be serious and actually know about it. Ha, huh, I'm just an amateur, just playing around. Don't take it seriously. Anyway, from now on, just call me that when we're outside. All right. The others agreed. By the way, Li Mei, I want to attend a party with Anchi, but I don't have any clothes. Can you help me find a set of men's clothing? Not too formal, more casual, like Chen San style. Men's clothing can't be chosen randomly, otherwise it won't look good. I'll need your measurements, and I'll personally tailor a suit for you. Oh, all right, I'll send it to you later. Hee <laughs> hee, no need to wait, I used to be a tailor, do you know how the old tailors used to measure? Li Mei suddenly giggled, her eyes filled with affection as she looked at Yang Chen. The other three also smiled slightly, showing a smile that men understood. Only Yang Chen was a bit confused. How did they measure? Stand up and let me do it. After Li Mei finished speaking, she gently stood up, took Yang Chen's hand, and pulled him to an empty space nearby. Then she started measuring with her hands as if they were a measuring tape. From the shoulders, to the arms, and then to the waist and hips. Yang Chen remembered that this was how the older generation used to measure. The old grandmothers used to make clothes, and not only could they measure your size just by taking off your coat, they could also tell your size just by looking at you. It was quite magical. But it was unexpected that Li Mei, the queen of the fashion industry, could do it too. This was a bit beyond Yang Chen's expectations. However, Li Mei clearly had a mischievous meaning behind it. It had to be admitted that Li Mei was a stunning woman with a charming temperament. In her thirties, she had been in the entertainment industry for many years. Such a beautiful woman personally measuring and tailoring clothes for Yang Chen, it was probably an experience that no one else in Yunhai could have. Seeing Li Mei teasing Yang Chen, his face turned red, Dong Changming and the others couldn't help but burst into laughter. Yang Chen had a black line on his face. Li Mei also returned to Yang Chen's front, her face blushing as she smiled. All right, I'll find someone to make it right away. Master Su, please be patient. Yang Chen helplessly sat back in his seat. He actually blushed just now. No, his self-control was really poor. Let's add the points first. He had already given 500 points for the gym classes before. Adding the 1000 points this time, his comprehensive attributes quickly became 1595 points. But Yang Chen made a mistake. He regretted it a bit. He added all the points at once. He added 1500 points in one go. Yang Chen's body instantly felt like it was being electrocuted, especially his muscles, which were in intense pain. Even his stomach was cramping. Yang Chen instantly hugged his stomach, his facial features slightly distorted. Boss. Dong Changming and the others were shocked when they saw Yang Chen like this Jin Shusheng was scared and broke out in a cold sweat, clutching his stomach. Could it be that he was poisoned? This was his own arranged banquet. Fortunately, the terrifying feeling quickly dissipated. Yang Chen waved his hand. I'm fine, just an old stomach ache, gastric colic. Gastric colic? I've only heard of angina. I'll go to the restroom. Feeling a little better, Yang Chen wanted to stand up with the support of the table. Let me help you. Li Mei sat aside, wanting to assist. But as soon as Yang Chen's hand touched the edge of the table, there was a crisp sound. The corner of the table was broken off by Yang Chen's hand. Everyone froze at the scene. Silence filled the air. Yang Chen was also dumbfounded. This is top grade Hainan Wang Wallywood. Chen Shusheng swallowed hard, unsure if what he said was true. Because of the loud sound just now, it was actually a chocolate dollar. Yang Chen finally came back to his senses and tried to grab the edge of another dollar table. No, I. Crack. Another larger dollar table was broken off. Yang Chen looked helpless. I'll go to the restroom first. He said, clutching his stomach and walking towards the restroom, leaving everyone stunned in place. Shen Xiaowu picked up the piece of wood that Yang Chen had broken off and hit Chen Shusheng on the head with it. Ouch. Chen Shusheng held his head, looking confused. It's real. What's going on? Could he have martial arts skills? Look, our boss, he's a superhuman. Dong Changming also tried to break the corner of the table. It didn't budge. Joking aside, Hainan Wang Wali wood is the preferred material for load-bearing wooden furniture. It's not only hard, but also extremely tough. It can't be broken just by breaking it. He's like a dream. The impact they received today was a bit too much for them. Meanwhile, Yang Chen, after washing his face in the sink, clenched his fist with force. 
Everything that just happened was a result of his body transformation. Now that the transformation was complete, Yang Chen felt for the first time what it meant to be reborn. Whether it was physical fitness or the five senses, a fly flew by and Yang Chen raised his hand. Swish, he caught the fly by its wings. Damn it, this hundred thousand dollars wasn't wasted. At first, breaking the corner of the table was because Yang Chen couldn't control his strength well. It was like suddenly increasing the sensitivity of your mouse. The speed increased, but basic operations like controlling recoil and walking needed to be familiarized again from scratch. After leaving the hallway, Yang Chen stood at the corner of the hallway and realized that his hearing had become much sharper. It wasn't that the sound was amplified, but he could hear more clearly, from a greater distance, and more subtly. This feeling was incredibly mysterious, giving him a sense of control. Yang Chen closed his eyes and intentionally extended his hearing. Soon, it covered the entire third floor and even the second floor. He heard Li Mei and the others whispering softly. Do you think the boss is giving us a show of force, demonstrating his power? Probably, after all, someone with such wealth in China who doesn't appear on the list must be from a super family. The boss is probably the young master of a super family. These big families might learn some martial arts for self-defense. He's not afraid to show his power, as long as we remain loyal, nothing will go wrong. That's right. Hearing this, Yang Chen nodded silently. But soon, he heard a familiar voice coming from the second floor, or rather, it was a bit noisy. It seemed to be Chen Meng. Yang Chen's heart moved, and instead of returning to the private room, he headed towards the second floor. At a table on the second floor, Chen Meng, her parents, and Li Hua had worried expressions on their faces. There were two other people at the table, one middle-aged and one young. The middle-aged man had potmarks on his face and a somewhat fierce appearance. At the moment, he was looking at Chen Meng with a lewd smile on his face Mr. Lu, even though we don't have a contract, we had a verbal agreement. If you don't want our chickens, that's fine, but why are you spreading rumors about our chickens to other slaughterhouses? What did we do to offend you? Chen Meng looked aggrieved and anxiously questioned. Xiao Chen, when you speak, you need to provide evidence. Otherwise, I can sue you for defamation, Mr. Lu leaned back and smirked. But you agreed to take them. We only accepted this batch of chicks because of that agreement. We invested so much, and now you're saying you don't want them anymore. We tried selling them to other slaughterhouses, but they don't want them either. It's over 2,000 chickens, and we can't afford the loss. Chen Meng's eyes turned red with desperation, and tears uncontrollably streamed down her face. She was still too young and didn't realize the importance of a contract. Tisk, why are you crying? Didn't I tell you what to do? My equipment is having issues now, so I have to cut ties with some suppliers. If you don't fight for it, I'll have to cut ties with you. If you fight for it, I'll cut ties with someone else, mister. Lu remained unmoved and chuckled. I can't agree to come to your house and drink at this late hour. I don't understand what it means, and I don't want to understand. That's right, mister. Lu, I won't allow my daughter to do such things, Chen Meng's father spoke in a stern voice. Well, you have some backbone. Then tough it out, mister. Lu comfortably leaned back and spoke indifferently. At this moment, Li Hu spoke up. He smiled and raised his glass. Mr. Lu, here, I'll toast you. Let's forget about Chen Meng going to your place. How about this, I have an idea. They will sell all their broiler chickens to you at half the original price. What do you think? Give me face. Half? Chen Meng suddenly panicked. If they don't sell to Mr. Lu, they still have a chance to find customers elsewhere, but if they sell at half the price, they will suffer a huge loss. Li Hu didn't care if they would lose money or not. He just wanted to settle this matter and show off his own face. Mr. Lu glanced at him. Give you face? Who are you? I'm the regional manager of Citic Wealth Management, Li Hu proudly said. Citic Wealth Management, regional manager? Mr. Lu sneered, his face suddenly changed, and he kicked Li Hu's chair, causing it to slide back half a meter. Li Hu's drink spilled all over him. What the hell do you have to do with our business? Who are you to give suggestions? Get lost, you idiot. Mr. Lu was very angry. From the beginning, he agreed to take Chen Meng's broiler chickens with the intention of taking advantage of her. He made them raise a batch of chicks without signing a contract, and now he spread rumors that their chickens had avian influenza. Chen Meng could only rely on him now if she wanted to sell the chickens at the original price. She had to spend a night with him. Everything was going according to plan, but then this idiot appeared, not knowing his place and wanting to give suggestions. Although the kick didn't hit him, it was highly insulting, and Li Hu didn't dare to say a word. Because Mr. Lu was the owner of a relatively large local slaughterhouse and had some connections underground. After being kicked, Li Hu was annoyed, 
but he could only wipe the alcohol off himself obediently. After kicking Li Hu, Mr. Lu lost his patience. You don't want to? Fine, then wait and see. Let's see if you sell them out of town first or if I let these chickens rot in your hands. Mr. Lu sneered, stood up, adjusted his clothes, and prepared to leave. However, his movements were slow and deliberate because he didn't actually want to ruin their chicken farm. He wanted to take advantage of Chen Meng. As expected, Chen Meng's mother quickly stood up. Um, Mr. Lu, please consider. She actually wanted to ask if there were any other options. Although she was also desperate, she didn't want her daughter to accompany this guy but if Mr. Lu wants to deal with them, their family will be in big trouble, and they won't even have a chance to leave town. She just wants to ask if it's okay for her to accompany Mr. Lu on behalf of her daughter. But with her husband present, she couldn't bring herself to ask, so she wanted to pull Mr. Lu aside to talk privately. At this moment, Chen Meng and the others also stood up. However, as soon as Chen Meng turned around with red eyes, she saw a familiar figure. It was Yang Chen. Yang Chen came to Chen Meng's side, looked at her red eyes, and frowned. Zhang Yang. Hmm, I heard what happened just now. You don't need to plead with him anymore. From now on, all the chickens from your chicken farm will be delivered here. The Haicheng Hotel will purchase them at twice the price you offered. Whatever quantity you have, we'll take it. Yang Chen smiled at Chen Meng and said, not to mention 2,000, even if it's 5,000, Chen Shusheng can handle it. He doesn't only have this one hotel in Haicheng. Ah. Chen Meng's mouth opened slightly, looking at Yang Chen with disbelief, unable to believe her ears. Yang Chen, why are you everywhere? This has nothing to do with you, go away. Li Hu gritted his teeth fiercely. Today is really unlucky, encountering Yang Chen everywhere, constantly opposing him. He had just been kicked by Mr. Lu, and he was full of anger. Now Yang Chen came to solve the problem again. If he really solved Chen Meng's problem, then he would be nothing. Chen Meng quickly shook her head. Zhang Yang, it's okay, I can handle it. Don't owe anyone any favors because of me. Chen Meng worriedly said. She believed that Yang Chen must know the boss of Haicheng, but since he came alone and those people didn't even send him, it's probably because the deal didn't go well, indicating that he is not familiar with the boss either. If she were to cause trouble for herself and owe someone a favor, it would not be worth it. Because favors are the most expensive thing. She felt sorry for Yang Chen and didn't want him to get into trouble because of her. Chen Meng's mother, on the other hand, quickly pulled her daughter aside in anger. This silly girl, she actually tried to push away such a good opportunity. Isn't she lacking common sense? She quickly put on a flattering smile and said to Yang Chen, Zhang Yang, um, can we really cooperate with Haicheng Hotel in the future? Yes. Yang Chen nodded. Oh, that's great. Thank you so much. You don't have to be polite. I'm helping you because of your daughter. It has nothing to do with you. Yang Chen said without hesitation. Ah, uh, okay. Feeling choked, Chen Meng's mother looked embarrassed, but no matter what, Yang Chen was indeed brought upstairs by the Haicheng boss, so he must be able to make it happen if he spoke like that. Initially, Mr. Lu was startled by Yang Chen's tone. He thought Yang Chen was the owner of this hotel, but when he heard that even Li Hu dared to reprimand him, it was clear that he couldn't be the owner. He was probably just bluffing for Chen Meng's sake. But the more he spoke, the more confident he became. Today, no matter who stands in his way to get close to Chen Meng, they will die. I'll give you five seconds. Go back where you came from, and if you say one more word, I'll kill you. Mr. Lu's face turned cold as he stared at Yang Chen, speaking word by word. Especially the last few words, they carried a certain momentum. If he said he had taken two lives, someone would definitely believe it. Before he could finish speaking, a person quickly walked behind Yang Chen. It was Chen Xiaohu. They had been waiting in the room for Yang Chen to come back for a long time, afraid that he might faint or something, so they hurried to the bathroom to check, but he wasn't there, and that's how they found him downstairs. As soon as they arrived on the second floor, they heard Mr. Lu saying he would kill Yang Chen. Everyone's faces turned pale. Chen Shusheng, who came from a gangster background, had the most fiery temper. It had been a long time since he personally took action after becoming a big shot. He took a few quick steps and twisted his neck, making a cracking sound. When Mr. Lu suddenly saw Chen Shusheng appear behind Yang Chen, his eyes widened as someone who has been in the underworld for a few years, he naturally knows Chen Shusheng, the local boss of Santai. This Haicheng Hotel belongs to him. He doesn't know exactly how powerful Chen Shusheng is, but he is confident enough to crush himself. He was surprised to see Chen Shusheng today and was thinking about how to get to know him. Then he saw Chen Shusheng walking towards him with a fierce look in his eyes. Bang! 
A loud slap landed on his face, a tremendous force made him dizzy, and he felt his teeth loosen. Bang! 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 Chen Chusheng slapped Lu Zong's face one after another, shocking him for a second. If it weren't for the young man behind him holding him up, he would have fallen. Chen Chusheng pointed at him coldly. Trying to hide? No, no, no. I dare not, Chen Yi, what did I do wrong? Lu Zong regained some consciousness, scared out of his wits, not knowing why Chen Chusheng was hitting him. I told you to stand still. Chen Chusheng's veins bulged, roaring in anger, and all the customers around were scared away. If anyone dared to cause trouble and beat someone in the Haicheng Hotel, it could only be Chen Chusheng. Chen Chusheng's anger was like a fierce god, his momentum was astonishing, and Lu Zong's legs went weak on the spot, but he held onto the young man beside him tightly to stay steady. This young man was just his driver, but now he had become his crutch. Bang! 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 Chen Chusheng swung his hand round and slapped Lu Zong's face more than a dozen times. Lu Zong's face was already swollen, blood flowing from the corners of his mouth and two teeth had been knocked out. But Chen Chusheng kept hitting harder and harder. This scene scared everyone to death, and no one doubted that Chen Chusheng could beat Lu Zong to death with his slaps. Finally, that's enough. Yang Chen spoke up. Chen Chusheng's hand stopped. With just two words, everyone present knew why Chen Chusheng had hit Lu Zong. Everyone looked at Yang Chen in shock. And Lu Zong, who was barely conscious, finally understood why he had been beaten. It turned out that he had offended Yang Chen with his words just now. And Chen Shusheng was actually standing up for him. But why? Damn, who is this young man? He can actually make Chen Shusheng stop. That's right. Chen Shusheng was about to strike, but he obediently stopped. Could he be a young master from some family? Are you stupid? In Santai, which family needs Chen Shusheng's face? The people around were discussing. There were certainly many families in Tian Bay City, but no one dared to say that Yun Hai Xiong needed Chen Shusheng's face. Chen Meng was also stunned. Li Hu felt a strong urge to urinate and could barely control himself. Chen Shusheng took a few deep breaths and turned to Yang Chen, asking, Su Shur, what just happened? Everyone was dumbfounded again. They didn't even know why Lu Zong had offended Yang Chen, and they heard a threat that almost killed him. What if Yang Chen was unreasonable? And what kind of address was Su Shur? Chen Shusheng came up with it himself, thinking that calling Yang Chen Master Su sounded like he was a charlatan. Su Shur was fine, as long as he clarified that he was a Feng Shui master when others asked. Yang Chen briefly explained and told Chen Shusheng that he would take over Chen Meng's chicken business in the future. For Chen Shusheng, this was no big deal. Even if it was 2,000 chickens, they would be consumed in just a month. As long as he added two affordable dishes to the menu of his restaurants, he was afraid that Chen Meng couldn't supply them. Oh, Miss Chen Meng, we are actually relatives. We both have the surname Chen. Do you have a business card? Give me one so we can contact each other later. Chen Shusheng nodded, smiled at Chen Meng, and reached out for a business card. Chen Meng trembled. Oh no, Chen Shusheng's hand was covered in Lu Zong's blood, and it was still dripping. Chen Shusheng awkwardly switched hands. Chen Meng tremblingly took out a business card from her bag and handed it to Chen Shusheng. Su sure, how should we? Apply. Apply. What smell? Chen Shusheng was about to ask how to deal with Chen Zong, but suddenly sniffed and turned around. He saw Li Hu standing there trembling, with a large wet patch on his pants, and a pale yellow liquid slowly spreading and diffusing on the ground. Chen Chusheng frowned. He treated my second floor like a toilet. How can I eat here in the future? Seeing him frown, Li Hu was even more terrified, and collapsed on the ground. He never expected Yang Chen to have such power now. When he first came in, he insulted Yang Chen like that. If Chen Chusheng found out, he would probably turn him into a dish. Just kick him out. Yang Chen looked at Li Hu's behavior and felt no impulse to punish him. Chen Shusheng immediately signaled the floor manager next to him. Previously, when they didn't start fighting, the floor manager had no idea about their conflict. When they started fighting, Chen Shusheng had already arrived, so the floor manager could only shrink back in fear. The manager quickly called someone to carry Li Hu out and had someone clean up the mess on the ground. Chen Shusheng pinched Lu Zong's face and whispered, If I find out that you're causing trouble for Chen Meng again, I'll chop you up and feed you to the dogs. Lu Zong nodded repeatedly in fear, and was then supported by the driver and limped downstairs. Chen Shusheng then turned to the surrounding customers, smiled at them, apologized, and announced that the meal on the second floor today would be free. Yang Chen then turned to Chen Meng and said, In the future, your chicken farm will be the first to cooperate with him. If he has a large demand, you can also expand the scale appropriately. He helped Chen Meng because he felt he owed her a lot. She was the most devoted to him when they were in school. But he had let her down more than once, and had seen her disappointed and in tears more than once. 
At that time, Yang Chen's mind was full of entrepreneurship, and he felt that all the time in a day was not enough for work. Chen Meng didn't feel any joy. She seemed to realize something. If in the past, Yang Chen still felt guilty towards her, then does today's matter mean that he has cleared his guilt? Does it mean that he will never appear in his heart again, even without guilt? With this thought, Chen Meng pouted and tears uncontrollably flowed down again. She quickly lowered her head, afraid that Yang Chen would think she was deliberately crying to gain sympathy. I want to tell you, there's nothing between me and Li Hu. He came to me to attend some gathering and happened to know about our family situation, so he said he wanted to help. Chen Meng explained to Yang Chen in a small voice, feeling a bit wronged. Yang Chen smiled bitterly. He didn't ask about her relationship with Li Hu. Well, it's nothing. I'm leaving now. My phone number and WeChat haven't changed. Yang Chen's last sentence gave Chen Meng a glimmer of hope, but she didn't know if she had the right to contact Yang Chen now. Yang Chen's performance today made her feel even more inferior. Okay. She nodded gently. Yang Chen didn't say anything more and walked downstairs with Qian Xiaohu and Li Mei accompanying him. Dong Changming was still waiting with Chen Shu Sheng. Recently, many people were itching to cause trouble for him, so it was better to solve the problem first before showing up. How did you come, Su Shi? After leaving the hotel gate, Li Mei asked. I took a taxi. Then I'll take Su Shi home. Lao Chen, you can drive yourself. Go, go, go. Li Mei suddenly smiled charmingly and waved at Qian Xiaohu. Why should you be the one to send him? Qian Xiaohu immediately protested. Forget about sending me off, I still have to go see a friend this afternoon. He will come to pick me up later. Yang Chen stopped their playful banter. All right then. Yang Chen watched the two of them get into the car. Chen Xiaohu was driving a black Mercedes S-Class, while Li Mei was driving a BMW X7. Both of their cars were considered very low-key. With their assets, they could easily drive more luxurious cars Yang Chen felt that he should also buy a car. He doesn't even have a means of transportation now, which is very inconvenient. Yang Chen looked at the time, took out his phone and sent a WeChat message to Zhang Yu, then walked towards the intersection. Inside the Haicheng Hotel, Chen Meng was left behind by Chen Chu Sheng. They talked about their chicken farm and agreed to personally send them out of the hotel. As soon as they left the hotel, Chen Meng's mother excitedly stomped her feet and grabbed Chen Meng, saying, Oh my precious daughter, I didn't expect you to have such a classmate. This person is so capable, and Chen Chu Sheng owns so many hotels and restaurants. Oh, we're going to get rich in the future. Mom, although Zhang Yang helped us, we can't burden Chen Chu Sheng too much, otherwise it would be too much. We should first deal with these chickens, and then see Chen Chu Sheng's needs, adjust the breeding cycle of our chicks according to his needs. We absolutely cannot expand blindly and force him to acquire them. Do you hear me? Chen Meng knew very well what kind of person her mother was, and immediately warned sternly. Oh, I know, look at you. You're scolding your mom like crazy. Oh, my precious daughter, I think this guy is also interested in you, otherwise he wouldn't help us so much. You should try harder and let him double the acquisition price for us. I think it's just a matter of his word. That Chen Shu Sheng, he's got him in his grip. Even Chen Meng's father pushed her aside. Why are you so greedy? Can't you see that Xiao Meng is angry? Indeed, Chen Meng was looking at her mother angrily, very dissatisfied. So what? This person could very well become our future son-in-law. He's helping us so much, obviously, because he's interested in Xiao Meng. If he really becomes our son-in-law, let alone asking him to double the price, I bet he would give us ten times. Mom, you're unreasonable. Chen Meng stomped her foot fiercely and walked away. She didn't want Yang Chen to look down on her, but if Yang Chen knew what her mother was thinking, it would probably ruin their whole family. See? It's all your fault. Don't mention this again in the future, otherwise if Xiao Meng gets angry and confronts you, she might even cut off the cooperation with Chen Shu Sheng. You know her temper. Chen's father scolded him. Chen's mother gave him a disdainful look, and the two of them quickly went to catch up with their daughter. At this time, a Jetta that had been hit in the rear stopped in front of Yang Chen with a loud screech. Get in. Zheng Yu waved his hand. Yang Chen reached out to grab the door handle, but all he heard was a crisp sound. Yang Chen looked at the broken half of the door handle in his hand, feeling helpless. Damn it! Damn it! Zhang Yu quickly got out of the driver's seat and walked over. When he saw that the door handle had been broken by Yang Chen, he couldn't help but shake his head. Yang Chen was also helpless. Although he was adapting in other aspects, it would take some time for him to adapt to his strength. After all, with an additional 1500 points, he felt like he had undergone a rebirth. You know, bosses usually sit in the back seat. Maybe I'm destined to sit in the back. 
Yang Chen threw the broken handle back into the car, smiling as he gently opened the back door. Zhang Yu caught up and sprayed him through the rear window. You're really stubborn like a cow that stepped on an electric wire electrifyingly stubborn. I borrowed this car. I have to fix it. Enough. Enough. I'll buy you one. Let's go to the 4S store. Yang Chen said impatiently. You buy it. You don't even have a penny, let alone a car. Zhang Yu grumbled and reluctantly returned to the driver's seat, sitting down. Hey, I'm serious, look at this. Yang Chen took out the $1 coin from his wallet. He only had this big steel coin in his wallet, and it occasionally popped out, so he might as well spend it quickly. The current $1 coin looked shiny and had a great texture. It didn't look like a $1 coin at all, but more like a million dollars. No, the current $1 coin is indeed the original million dollars. One dollar. Where did you get so much money? And such a high denomination. Did you rob a bank? Zhang Yu exclaimed. Rob your uncle. I earned this by helping someone with feng shui. Feng shui? Are you kidding me? You've only learned a few tricks and read a few books, and now you dare to deceive people. I'll make sure someone chops you up. You're like Jin Lian from the Golden Lotus, marrying Wu Song for money and not caring about your life. Zhang Yu continued to shout. You don't understand anything. It's not just about looking, it's about studying. Once you've studied it thoroughly, even one book is enough. Stop talking nonsense. Anyway, this money is stable. Today, we won't buy expensive cars. Each of us will get one, and we can just spend one dollar on it, Yang Chen said impatiently. Zhang Yu stared at him with white eyes. Yang Zi, it's not easy to earn money. Why don't you save up first? Drive! Yang Chen stepped on the gas pedal, leaving dust behind as they headed towards the forest dealership in the Third Ring Road. Yunhai province is not a big province, and Tianbei city is only considered a second-tier city. Once they reached the Third Ring Road, they were already in the outskirts of the city. Looking into the distance, it was a flat plain. There was a Qindao lake that was transformed from a moat, shimmering with waves. Occasionally, tourists and a few cars would drive past on the dirt road, barbecuing and fishing there. It was because of the creation of Qindao Lake that land prices had increased, and it had become the new land king of Tianbei City. Yang Chen observed for a while. The money he gave to Dong Changming was definitely enough. Not to mention getting one land king, even getting two would be enough. 100,000 US dollars in cash could sweep through San Tai and even Yunhai, unstoppable. Yang Zi, which dealership are we going to? Zhang Yu looked at the forest dealership of Shizhou. There were many forest dealerships in this area, and he was a bit incredulous that Yang Chen insisted on buying him a car. I'll ask later. Yang Chen naturally knew what car to buy, but he didn't want to let others benefit. Yunhai Shishun also had a car business. He immediately took out his phone and called Chen Xiaohu. Su Shur, what's up? Don't you still have an old Shi? That's right, his name is Che Zhihao. We didn't hide anything from him about our business with you. You won't blame me, right? Chen Xiaohu said nervously. It's okay, we'll have to meet sooner or later. I want to buy two cars. I want to know which dealership is his. I don't want others to benefit. Oh, Xinxiu, why don't you let him come to you? You can just call him and have him deliver the car to you. Xian Xiaohu said helplessly. No need, I have money. Yang Chen refused the offer. He was joking, he came here specifically to spend money. How can he not spend money and earn points? It's not acceptable to stop me from spending money. Um, alright then, Lao Shi is the biggest dealer in the area. More than half of the forest dealerships on the North Third Ring Road are ours. As long as you see a torch logo on the corner of the dealership's exterior wall, it's ours. Okay, got it. Yang Chen looked up and saw that out of the six dealerships in sight, three of them had the torch logo. Su sure, I'll have him come to you. No need, I'm just casually buying two cars. Lao Shi also really wants to meet you. He just arrived in San Tai and happened to be coming from your direction. All right then. Yang Chen aside helplessly and didn't say anything else. He agreed and hung up the phone. Then the two of them walked towards the largest forest dealership. This dealership had a super large showroom for three brands, Mercedes-Benz, Audi, and Ford. As soon as they entered, a beautiful female car salesperson greeted them with a professional smile. Hello, welcome. Yang Chen was satisfied with the salesperson's attitude. They were both dressed casually, but the salesperson showed no signs of unwillingness to serve. Very professional. Do you two handsome gentlemen have any cars you want to know about? If not, I can recommend a few based on your requirements. Yang Chen looked at Zhang Yu and asked, What kind of car do you want to see? Zhang Yu felt embarrassed to speak up. Yang Chen had already surprised him enough by saying he wanted to buy him a car. How could he possibly say Audi or Mercedes? Maybe something more affordable like Ford. 
Let's take a look at Ford. All right, let's start with Ford then. Yang Chen nodded at the salesperson. Coincidentally, he was also planning to buy a Ford. Okay, this way please. The salesperson smiled sweetly and led them to the Ford exhibition area, chatting along the way. This salesperson's name was Zhang Xiaoyan, and she explained things very professionally, but most importantly, her attitude was warm and made people feel very comfortable. Her smile was also very infectious, like a breath of fresh air. Sir, do you have a favorite car model? Many people who buy cars have a certain purpose in mind and will research many things in advance, often coming specifically for a certain model. Yes, over there. In the time it took to speak, Yang Chen had already spotted his target. The Ford Raptor, a luxury pickup truck. This car was known as the king of off-road vehicles. Its appearance was exceptionally rugged. The entire vehicle was at least 5. 7 meters long, about 2 meters tall, and about 2. 5 meters wide. I can tell that you must be a generous person. This car is very suitable for a strong man like you. The latest model of the F-150 can wade through water up to 760 millimeters deep. The salesperson introduced with a delighted face. Generally, people who specifically want to see a certain car have a high chance of making a purchase. Not bad, I've already decided to buy it. Now, help me recommend a car for my brother. After listening for a while, Yang Chen politely interrupted the salesperson. This car's top configuration was only 5 cents. The salesperson smiled and looked at Zhang Yu. Zhang Yu suddenly became hesitant. He couldn't believe it and asked in a low voice, Yang Zi, are you really going to buy me a car? What's wrong? When I started my business, I invested all my money into it. During the most difficult times, wasn't it you who helped me? Did we ever split a bun in half and treat each other politely? When I was settling my debts, my house almost went under, and it was you who took out your wife's savings to support me, right? Yang Chen was a little annoyed. Although Zhang Yin didn't start the business with him, he was still his best friend, there was no doubt about that. Besides being a bit slow, everything about him was great. Then, then I'll take that one. Zhang Yun could tell that Yang Chen was a little angry, so he had to swallow his saliva and point to a red Ford Mustang in the distance. The Ford Mustang, an affordable sports car. But the appearance was indeed quite rugged and full of momentum. The top configuration version was only 4 cents. Yang Chen knew that Zhang Yu wasn't being polite this time because he had heard Zhang Yu mention it many times before, saying that he didn't want a Ferrari or Lamborghini, only like the Mustang. Just these two, full payment. Yang Chen didn't wait for the excited salesperson to introduce, he gave her an even bigger surprise. Oh, alright, let me get the contract. She couldn't close her mouth in surprise, she didn't expect Yang Chen to be so straightforward. She quickly filled out the contract, explained it to the two of them, and then took them to make the payment. This 4S dealership was very large, with three brands, but all the payments were made in one place. At this moment, there was already a salesperson with a customer in front of them making a payment. Sorry, we'll wait a moment. She apologized and smiled at Yang Chen. But just then, another female salesperson, also dressed professionally and heavily made up, walked over in high heels. She also held a contract in her hand, with a man and a woman following behind her. She casually pulled Zhang Xiaoyan aside and stood behind the salesperson. Her movements were very smooth, as if that position was originally hers. Not a word was said. Ma Ling, what are you doing? Zheng Xiaoyan asked angrily. Oh, you're not in a hurry, I'll go first. Lin Xiao, please come this way, sorry for the wait. Ma Ling said casually to Zheng Xiaoyan, then turned her head and smiled apologetically to her clients. The person referred to as Lin Xiao was a young man in casual attire, with a crew cut and a beautiful woman leaning against him. Lin Xiao didn't say anything, just impatiently yawned and focused on his girlfriend. Zheng Xiaoyan frowned and said, Ma Ling, step aside, I was here first. You can't cut in line. Zheng Xiaoyan, are you blind? Take a good look at what I have here. Ma Ling was annoyed by Zhang Xiaoyan's repeated arguments, and she held the contract up to Zhang Xiaoyan. It was a contract for an Audi R8 sports car, priced at $1.8 million. Zhang Xiaoyan was shocked. Lin Xiao and his girlfriend both had a smug look on their faces. That's still not acceptable. My client is also waiting. Even if it's a big deal, you can't cut in line in front of your own client. What would your client think? Zheng Xiaoyan argued. Lin Xiao's girlfriend sneered. So many problems, I just hate people like you who lack insight. Acting like you have so many principles, just like a fool. Zheng Xiaoyan couldn't retort against the client's scolding, so she could only bite her lip in frustration. Open your mouth again and apologize to her, otherwise, you'll face the consequences. Yang Chen looked at the two of them and calmly said, What did you say, you stupid fool? 
Lin Xiao's girlfriend immediately let go of Lin Xiao's arm and glared at Yang Chen, cursing. How dare you speak to my client like that? Apologize immediately. Ma Ling also became anxious. It was not easy for her to finally get such a big deal. If Yang Chen ruined it or offended Lin Xiao, it would be a huge loss. Do you want to apologize too? Ha ha, interesting. Yang Chen sneered. Lin Xiao spoke up at this moment. Brother, I think you guys came from Ford, right? When you're away from home, you should know your place, understand who you can provoke and who you can't, got it? Lin Xiao lectured with a condescending tone and a mocking expression. Ma Ling took the opportunity when Zhang Xiaoyan wasn't paying attention and snatched the contract to take a look. Although Zhang Xiaoyan managed to snatch it back, Ma Ling had already seen the contents. Humph, a Raptor and a Mustang. The two cars combined are just half the price of an R8. What's wrong with me cutting in line? Can't you see who's more important, Zhang Xiaoyan? Ma Ling said, and Lin Xiao and his girlfriend became even more unscrupulous. The two cars combined were not even half of what they had, so it was clear that they must be important figures. Do you think you're so cool just because you bought an R8 and can insult people at will? I'd like to know who you are, someone I can't afford to offend. Yang Chen squinted and asked. Well, listen carefully then. We can afford to offend you not because we bought an R8, but because he is the second son of Sanlin Pharmaceutical, Lin Zhengfeng. Lin Xiao's girlfriend sneered and said deliberately, Sanlin Pharmaceutical, the company that sells fake drugs? I thought it was some powerful figure. Shouldn't a company like yours be more low-key? You're easily going to get yourself killed like this. Yang Chen questioned. After Yang Chen finished speaking, Lin Xiao was first stunned for a moment, then burst into laughter. Ha ha ha, brother, if I heard correctly, are you threatening me? Yang Chen shrugged and said, I'm not threatening you, I'm stating a fact. The Lin family of Sanlin Pharmaceutical Company has some reputation in this city, mainly because the pharmaceutical business is very profitable. It should be said that selling fake drugs is very profitable. But the Lin family can't be considered a big family. At most, they are nouveau riche. Today, I met the ancestor of this nouveau riche, Yang Chen. You think you're something in front of me, do you? You're not worthy. Lin Xiao's face changed in an instant, and he put away his mocking expression and shouted angrily at Yang Chen. What's the matter? Do you want to fight? Zhang Yu coldly shouted, taking a step forward. If Lin Xiao dared to make a move, he wouldn't back down either. With this commotion, a well-dressed man with a big belly walked out from the office area inside. What's going on? Manager, you came just in time. Lin Xiao bought a new R8 and needs to go through the procedures. Zhang Xiaoyan insisted on causing trouble here and offended Lin Xiao. Ma Ling immediately complained. When the manager saw that it was Lin Xiao, a smile appeared on his face, and he hurriedly shook hands with Lin Xiao to greet him. Why don't you go in and handle it? What are you waiting for? The manager scolded Ma Ling when he saw that Lin Xiao's expression was not good. The salesperson in front had already finished the procedure long ago. Ma Ling hurriedly went to handle the paperwork. Yang Chen coldly said, You're the manager? Without even asking about the cause and effect, you just left me hanging here. Is this how you manage things? The manager was also cunning and didn't argue back. Instead, he took a look at Zhang Xiaoyan's contract. Although the two cars combined were only worth about a dollar, the key was that Lin Xiao was already angry. No matter what they did, they couldn't compare to Lin Xiao, so he didn't even bother to be polite and coldly said, if you want to buy, then wait. If you feel uncomfortable, you can turn right and leave. This statement made Lin Xiao very pleased. Zhang Yu was actually just bluffing for his brother. After all, the Lin family was still a family, and causing trouble would be very troublesome. Seeing that there was a way out now, he wanted to pull Yang Chen away. Little did he know that Yang Chen was already angry. His face turned cold. Today, I want to see who dares to interfere. What a bunch of idiots who don't know any better. How can there be such stupid people? I just can't stand these idiots. Filled with anger, she raised her hand and slapped Yang Chen. But Yang Chen was faster and caught her wrist. Filled with even more rage, she shouted, let go. She didn't expect Yang Chen to not let her vent her anger with that slap. She decided that she must beat this scum half to death. But before she could finish her sentence, she felt a heavy blow to her stomach, as if she had been hit by a sledgehammer. Her entire abdomen caved in, and she flew two meters backwards, landing on her buttocks with a thud. She couldn't even scream, feeling her internal organs rolling, and she couldn't even breathe. Rolling around while clutching her stomach, she struggled for a while before finally being able to breathe again. She had never been hit so hard in her life. She couldn't believe that Yang Chen dared to hit her. Security! Security! The manager immediately shouted. But Lin Xiao suddenly reached out to stop him, waving away the security guards. He looked at Yang Chen with a murderous expression. 
His girlfriend was his face, and if Yang Chen hit his woman, this matter couldn't be resolved by security guards alone. It seems like you really don't know any better. I'll give you five seconds to kneel here and let me step on you, allowing her to deal with you. Otherwise, I'll make you regret living in this world. Lin Xiao stared at Yang Chen and said word by word. I want him dead. I want him dead. Call Uncle Chi. I want to skin him alive. At this moment, Big Wave, still clutching her stomach, couldn't stand up, and her voice was hoarse as she shouted. No need to wait for five seconds. If you have any means, please hurry up. I have other things to do. Yang Chen remained unmoved and made a gesture of invitation. Lin Xiao sneered. You really don't know anything. I'm afraid you've never heard of the name Qi Yunfei. He will be your nightmare. Lin Xiao said as he took out his phone and dialed a number. Hey, Uncle Qi, it's me, Lin Er. Yang Chen smiled faintly. Qi Yunfei, isn't he one of Chen Shusheng's three tigers? Yang Chen also took out his phone and sent a WeChat message to Chen Shusheng. Seeing Yang Chen also taking out his phone, Ma Ling sneered, Oh, you can also make calls? Why did you put down your phone again? I thought you could actually make a call and have a chat with young Master Lin, but it seems like you're just a country bumpkin. Zhang Yu also felt uneasy, it seemed like he was going to lose today. However, Yang Chen remained calm and pulled over a chair from the side, sitting down casually. You dogs bastard, you actually have the nerve to sit down. Let's see how you end up later. It's hilarious. I can't wait to see you become disabled. Ma Ling gritted her teeth and said viciously. Seeing Yang Chen's calm demeanor infuriated her even more. What made her angriest was that she had jumped the queue and Zhang Xiaoyan dared to complain, while Yang Chen unexpectedly came out to support Zhang Xiaoyan. She now desperately wanted to see Yang Chen scream in agony after being beaten to a pulp. Young Master Lin also showed a cold expression. You seem to be quite arrogant. I hope you can maintain this composure when you get beaten later. He also pulled over a chair, crossed his legs, and sat down. He he, do you think it will be you sitting later? Yang Chen sneered. Ha ha ha. Young Master Lin was initially stunned, but then burst into laughter, even the manager and Ma Ling joined in the mocking laughter. Do you think it will be you? Young Master Lin finished laughing and looked at Yang Chen with a look of contempt. We'll see. Within five minutes, the screeching sound of brakes could be heard outside and more than 20 people rushed out of the cars, aggressively entering the room under the leadership of a man in his 30s. The leader of the group had a fierce gaze, his eyes slightly bloodshot, and exuded a strong sense of hostility. He spotted Yang Chen sitting from afar, causing his heart to skip a beat. He had only recently met Lin's father and had dinner together. Lin's father had established a relationship with him, calling him uncle. He also wanted to benefit from the Lin family. When he received a call from young master Lin earlier, he was a little impatient. However, a moment later, his boss, Chen Chu Shang, personally called and gave him an order, along with a photo. The man in the photo was now sitting there, observing him. Uncle Chi, it's this kid, cripple him for me. Young Master Lin sneered, looking at Chi Yunfei. Chi Yunfei was only in his thirties, but he was treated as a brother by Lin's father, so naturally, Young Master Lin called him uncle. But before he could finish his sentence, Chi Yunfei kicked Young Master Lin in the chest, sending him and the chair flying to the ground. Beat him. Chi Yunfei ordered the people behind him. Immediately, three people rushed forward without hesitation and started mercilessly kicking young Master Lin. The manager and Ma Ling were shocked and stood there like statues. De Bolong, on the other hand, shouted frantically, What are you doing? You've got the wrong person. He's the idiot. You've got the wrong person. As she spoke, she even reached out to pull a few people away. This one's worth a dollar. Chi Yunfei didn't even greet Yang Chen, but instead gave orders to the people behind him again. Three more people stepped forward and started beating De Bolong, grabbing her by the hair. After a long period of agonizing screams, Chi Yunfei waved his hand and the crowd dispersed, revealing a bruised and swollen young Master Lin and De Bolong, who were in a state of extreme fear. Young Master Lin looked bewildered. He looked at Chi Yunfei and mumbled, Chi. Chi Shu, why did you hit me? You got the wrong person. He's the bastard. If you guys say one more dirty word, I'll smash all your teeth and make you swallow them. Chi Yunfei said coldly. I don't understand, I don't understand. He provoked me. Why did you hit me? Lin Xiao felt his brain couldn't handle it anymore, a mix of grievances, unwillingness, anger, and humiliation. He wondered if he was dreaming. You don't need to understand, you just need to accept it, Chi Yunfei said coldly. Are you getting senile? This bastard dares to provoke me, and you hit me. How am I supposed to accept that? Are you brainless? De Bolon's ears were still buzzing from the previous blow so he didn't hear their conversation. Now that his hearing had recovered, he immediately cursed angrily. 
Let me say it again, listen carefully. If he provokes you, I'll hit you. If he provokes you once, I'll hit you once. Do you understand? He provokes you once, I'll hit you once? What kind of logic is this? Lin Xiao and De Bolong couldn't make sense of it no matter how hard they tried. Smash all her teeth and make her swallow them, Shi Yinfei pointed at De Bolong. A big man behind him immediately took out a delicate little hammer. What are you doing? Why? Ah, De Bolong couldn't believe her eyes as she watched the burly man approach. She couldn't understand what she had done wrong until the hammer fell. Hearing De Bolong's screams and seeing her mouth full of blood, Ma Ling and the manager shivered in fear. A deep sense of terror washed over them, making them shudder. And looking at Yang Chen, he remained calm and composed on his chair. It was clear who the winner was. Su Shur, how should we deal with these two? Shi Yunfei walked up to Yang Chen and glanced at the manager and Ma Ling. He respectfully asked. At this moment, the manager and Ma Ling were thunderstruck, standing frozen in place. It turned out that Yang Chen was the big shot, and Shi Yunfei had punished Lin Xiao because of him. Then what about them? This woman is just as foul-mouthed as De Bolong, you decide what to do with her, Yang Chen waved his hand. Shi Yanfei gave a signal, and another henchman behind him took out a small hammer and walked towards Ma Ling. In the midst of Ma Ling's desperate cries, the manager's pants quickly became wet, a pale yellow liquid spreading on the ground. Zhang Yu watched the whole scene in confusion. He felt like he didn't even recognize his own brother anymore. Why was Qi Yunfei so fearless, even daring to beat up Lin Xiao like this? At this moment, another man in a silver suit walked briskly from outside. This man had a slick back hairstyle and a high nose bridge, very handsome. Those who knew him knew that he was a mix of Chinese and Korean blood. It was Che Zhihao. Although he was mixed race, his surname was inherited from his Chinese father, and he grew up in China. He could be considered a true Chinese. Che Zhihao knew something had happened as soon as he saw the scene. He quickly walked over. Shi Yunfei respectfully greeted Che Zhihao. Fourth brother. Che Zhihao nodded and then bowed deeply to Yang Chen, who was sitting. Su Shur, I'm Che Zhihao. I'm sorry for being late. The other brothers had already paid their respects by drinking and kowtowing. If he dared to shake hands when meeting, it would not only be disrespectful to Yang Chen but also disrespectful to the other brothers. But with this bow, the manager almost fainted. He felt a buzzing in his brain. When he saw his boss, he thought he was saved, but he didn't expect his boss to show such respect to this person. Who exactly was this young man? You're not late. You came at just the right time. Yang Chen teased. Che Zhihao glanced at the mess and asked Zhang Shayan, what happened? He noticed that only Zhang Shayan was standing next to Yang Chen. Not having offended him, Zhang Shayan finally woke up from shock and cautiously recounted what had just happened. She spoke so gently, the manager here is always ready to serve me, whether I want to buy or not. Is that what she said? Yang Chen asked the manager. The manager turned pale with fear. He had worked hard for several years to barely reach this position, with high salary and commission. He had just bought a car and a house, and was about to reach the peak of his life. I, I'm sorry, sir, boss, I really didn't know this gentleman. Enough, pack up and get out. I don't need someone who looks down on others. Che Zhihao said expressionlessly. The manager immediately fell to the ground as if his soul had been sucked out. His career was over, and the worst part was not that, but that he had offended someone like Yang Chen. Even if the other party didn't retaliate, he would still be unable to move forward. Who would hire someone who had offended such a powerful figure? Ma Ling and De Bolong were both lying in a pool of blood, constantly vomiting. Their vomit was mixed with broken teeth. Lin Xiao had already soiled himself. Throw them outside. Shi Yunfei looked at them with disgust, and the others immediately carried the three of them out, along with the manager. They left, and Yang Chen stood up and asked the two, Sanlin Pharmaceuticals used to produce counterfeit drugs. Can you find their materials? Shi Zhihao looked at Shi Yunfei. This kind of thing was usually done by the third brother's men. Qi Yunfei nodded affirmatively. I will start working on it immediately. As long as they have secret materials, I will dig them all out. Yang Chen nodded. No rush, take your time and search carefully. We must make sure to strike a fatal blow to such a heartless pharmaceutical company. Understood. You can go now. Yang Chen looked at Qi Yunfei again and felt that this person had a good temperament, was intelligent, and acted decisively. It was interesting to know that he was the youngest among Chen Shuxing's subordinates and had some potential to become one of the three tigers. Qi Yunfei nodded and quickly left with his men. As soon as they left, a brother approached Qi Yunfei and asked in a low voice, Brother Fei, who is this person? Even Fourth Lord seems respectful towards him. Slap. Qi Yunfei slapped him on the back of his head, almost making him fall face first. The brothers around them burst into laughter. 
I don't even dare to ask, and you have the nerve to speak up. Shi Yunfei scolded him in a low voice. The brother immediately shrank his neck and dared not ask anymore. Su Shur, are you satisfied with the car? Che Zhihao looked at the others leaving and then asked Yang Chen. Yes, I was just about to pay for it. Why are we talking about money? This is our own business. I'll take care of the insurance and temporary license for you, and you can drive away directly. Che Zhihao said helplessly. No, I have money. Let's just go through the procedures quickly. All right. Che Zhihao didn't mind and immediately turned to Zhang Shaoyan. From now on, you are the new manager of this store. Go and complete the procedures. Ah, okay. Zhang Shaoyan was shocked and then excitedly rushed inside. She couldn't believe what had happened today. Who exactly was this customer of hers? The key was that this person was so low-key, buying two cars for less than a dollar. Zhang Shaoyan felt a tingling sensation in her heart, as if something had been deeply touched. They only needed to purchase compulsory insurance for immediate effect and obtain a temporary license plate through phone registration. Soon, they received the car keys. The two brand new cars were parked in front of the 4S dealership. In front of the Raptor, the Mustang had completely become a pony. Both of them were a little excited to drive the new cars. Yang Chen opened the car window and asked Zhang Yu below, how does it look? Zhang Yu touched the comfortable interior and exclaimed, this is really like a little cowboxing, awesome and flashy. At this moment, Che Zhihao walked out of the store and handed over the documents to Yang Chen in the car, saying, Su Shur, do you have any plans for dinner? If not, I would like to formally treat you to a meal. Not today, I have plans in the evening, let's do it another day. All right, where are you going now? Now. Yang Chen looked at the time and smirked. Now we're going to work for Magwabao. After saying that, he waved goodbye to Che Zhihao, revved the engine, and the two powerful beasts roared away, leaving Che Zhihao standing there, waving his hand in a daze. Working for Magua Bao? He couldn't figure out why Yang Chen would still go work for someone else. They had made plans that day, and he knew that Yang Chen wasn't short of money. He just wanted to see how this wildly popular internet celebrity managed to manipulate a group of netizens and who was pleasing whom. The two of them quickly arrived at their destination. As they got out of the car and walked towards the square together, Zhang Yu seized the opportunity to ask Yang Chen, tell me the truth, what's really going on? Damn, even Che Zhihao and Qi Yunfei treat you with utmost respect, are you some kind of deity? Don't you know about feng shui and metaphysics? I only associate with high-end people. Are you saying that you helped them with feng shui? And even changed their luck, making them earn a lot of money? Yang Chen shrugged. Damn, you better not turn into a big scammer like Maguabao, or you'll end up getting killed. You can't mess with these people casually, Zhang Yu said worriedly. Just mind your own business, I know what I'm doing. This time, Maguabao organized a large-scale live broadcast, with countless media outlets in attendance. The venue was located in the newest commercial complex known as the Fifth City on the Outer Ring Road. Yang Chen and Zhang Yu followed the instructions and arrived at a makeup car, where they changed into matching white martial arts uniforms and signed an agreement. The agreement stated their salaries and required them to absolutely obey and cooperate with the on-site arrangements. If they didn't comply, they would have to pay a hundred times the amount of their salary as a penalty. How much do you think they can earn from this show? Zhang Yu asked quietly while changing clothes. Hard to say, Yang Chen shook his head. They're completely deceiving people, treating those netizens like fools and cash cows. It's not a big deal, many people just watch it for entertainment but his videos have been manipulated and turned into memes. There are even a bunch of idiots who come forward and claim to be moralists, condemning the netizens for excessive consumption. It's simply idiotic. He just does a few shows, takes them for fools, and his income skyrockets. And yet, they stupidly stand up and feel sorry for Magwabao. Isn't that idiotic? Ah, uh, don't say that. What if, by some miracle, he really is a Qigong master? If he's a Qigong master, then I'm a duck hanging from a noose quack quack. Zhang Yu said sarcastically. It's starting, come out. At this moment, someone waved from the carriage door. Yang Chen and Zhang Yu adjusted their training uniforms, put on their Bluetooth earphones for receiving commands, and jumped out of the car. At the same time, about 10 other people dressed in white training uniforms also gathered around. They all stood on the side of the street, and the crowd behind them became packed. Soon, a black Mercedes arrived. With the continuous flashing of camera lights, the Qigong master finally appeared. The middle-aged man in a grey training uniform who got out of the back seat was none other than the Qigong master, Maguabao. He was known as the Lightning Five Strengths and the head of the external martial arts school, Hanmei Yuang Zingdi Palm. As soon as Maguabao got out of the car, he stood tall and proud, looking very energetic. A group of media rushed towards him without any regard for order. 
Magua Bao was very displeased and raised his hand to stop them, shouting, A disciples of Xingyi Gate, come over quickly. Raise the flag. The rest of you, make way, make way. The large group of people who were already arranged to maintain order pulled the media away. They made way for Magua Bao and his disciples. Magua Bao straightened his clothes, put his hands behind his back, and walked towards the center of the square. The onlookers had already moved away, forming a large circle and leaving the space for these performers. Laughter occasionally came from the crowd. Today, our Xingyi Gate disciples are here to give you a real combat demonstration. Mainly because many people on the internet have questioned us, saying that we are not traditional martial artists. This really saddens me because I never expected that there would be less than 10 people in the entire Huaxia and the world who truly understand traditional martial arts. Master Magwabao passionately explained with his unique rhythm and distinctive pauses. Towards the end, he seemed to be in great pain. Many people have asked. Ah, they say, Master Ma, what is the lightning five forces? I cannot explain it clearly in words because it is not something that can be easily transmitted. I will demonstrate it to you. For example, come here and grab my hand. Magua Bao pointed to one of his disciples while speaking. Yang Chen and the others immediately heard urgent commands through their Bluetooth earpieces. Number three, number three, go and hold Master Ma's hand. Listen to my command. For convenience in giving commands, these disguised disciples each had their own number. Yang Chen was number seven and Zhang Yu was number 8. The number 3 disciple quickly went up and grabbed Magua Bao's hand. Magua Bao stomped his foot and shook his arm. Look, he is holding my hand now. As soon as I say fall. At that moment, commands were heard through everyone's Bluetooth earpieces. Jump. Fall. Oh, right. Convulse. Convulse. Roll on the ground. Roll. Roll quickly. Keep rolling in a circle. Number 3 immediately jumped up as if electrified, then fell to the ground convulsing. He initially thought it would be simple to just fall down, but he didn't expect to have to roll as well. He had to use his own feet to roll in a circle on the ground. Yang Chen was dumbfounded. It was his first time experiencing the limitless nature of their team, willing to sacrifice their own and everyone else's intelligence just to make money, using the gimmick of traditional martial arts to provoke others. Was this their purpose? There was a burst of laughter from the surrounding audience. Surprisingly, the laughter wasn't very loud, only a small portion of the people. It was at this moment that Magwabao turned to the audience and said, See, he was thrown out in an instant. This is the internal strength I used. I shook him out. And then someone asked, Master Ma, can your Qigong only defeat one person? Wrong. Since it's Qigong, naturally it can achieve AoE. Area of effect damage. Come on, someone from the audience, give me one dollar and try to hit me. As he spoke, Magwabao put down the microphone and struck a pose as if spreading his wings. The Bluetooth earpiece immediately sounded, numbers 5, 6, 7, 8, go. Number 7, ask if any attack is allowed. So even the lines had to be directed on the spot. Yang Chen was number 7 and immediately asked, is any attack allowed? Without even looking at the crowd, Ma Guabao confidently replied, any attack is allowed, anywhere is allowed. I won't look, and you won't be able to hit me. Alright. At this point, someone from the audience rushed forward. Yang Chen took out the mask he had prepared in advance and put it on. Ma Guabao trembled and shouted, Disperse. Through the earpiece, they heard the commanding roar, spread out, fall, roll on the ground. Everyone, three circles. Number seven. Number seven, what are you doing? Number seven. The others, numbers 568, were all thrown out at this time. Only Yang Chen didn't fly out at all. He went up and delivered a left kick and a right whip kick, knocking Master Ma Guabao down to the ground with the first move. This is why Yang Chen doesn't know how to fight, he only knows how to deliver the first move. He is exerting great control over his explosive power. Otherwise, with his current body strength of nearly 1600, the first move would have killed Magua Bao on the spot. Magua Bao fell on his butt and sat on the ground. Then Yang Chen started punching and kicking. Zhang Yu watched in astonishment. Damn it! I said I should wear a mask, I might need it later, but it turns out he was holding his breath. I'm joining in too! Zhang Yu also put on a mask and rushed up to fight Magua Bao with Yang Chen. You call yourself a Qigong master. You're ruining traditional martial arts. You're a fraud. Zhang Yu cursed while fighting. The media and audience around them exploded with laughter, not only laughing out loud, but also some jumping up and cheering. Magua Bao soon had a swollen nose and a bruised face. Quick, pull them apart. Several security guards reacted and quickly stepped forward to separate Yang Chen and the others. Magua Bao's face was already bruised and swollen. His right eye was covered with a big black eye. He curled up on the ground and shouted, 
Are you all crazy? Someone helped Magua bow up. With the sudden turn of events, the situation naturally couldn't continue. Several security guards supported Magua Bao and quickly walked towards the car. Many other security guards half pushed and half carried the disciples towards the makeup cars. Yang Chen and the others were pushed into the car. A man with curly hair and two burly men jumped into the car. The man with curly hair took off his headphones, obviously he was the one giving orders just now. He immediately pointed at Yang Chen and angrily scolded, Are you serious? Do you want to die? Yang Chen said coldly, I've long been disgusted with you scumbags. You can deceive, cheat, and swindle, but never under the guise of traditional martial arts. Otherwise, I won't let you off. The man sneered. Won't let me off? How funny. I can't stand you dogcoin nationalists. You want to show off? You want to be a passionate youth? You're just a fool. Do you think that by beating up Master Ma in front of the camera, you can bring us down? Do you lack something in your brain? Do you know that the more you do this, the easier it is for us to create a buzz, the easier it is to gain popularity? Those brain-dead users just love buying into our story. The man became more and more pleased as he spoke, and even seemed to deliberately provoke Yang Chen. Yang Chen immediately stood up in anger and pointed at him, shouting, You bastard! What you're doing is no different from fraud. You're using the methods of traditional martial arts to deceive people and make money. Don't you have a conscience? Seeing Yang Chen's anger, the man became even more pleased. It seemed that the angrier Yang Chen got, the happier he became. Ha ha ha! Different? Let me tell you clearly, there is no difference. I am fraud. What can you do about it? I'll tell you, Magwabao doesn't know any martial arts at all. He's just a product we've packaged. Your kicks have brought us so much traffic. How many brain-dead students can we attract? Do you know how expensive our tuition fees are? I have to thank you. However, as the man spoke, he noticed that Yang Chen's expression had changed. From anger to a smile that wasn't quite a smile. What are you laughing at? Seeing Yang Chen's smile that seemed to have everything under control, the man became a little uneasy and angrily shouted. Yang Chen ignored him, straightened up, and took out a mobile phone from the shadow behind the cabinet. The man's heart suddenly tightened because the phone was standing upright, and the camera was clearly recording. Yang Chen took a glance at the phone and exclaimed, What a great phone, it's a Huawei. The video is so clear. At this moment, the sound playing on the phone was unexpectedly the voice of Wan Meifan speaking just now. He actually recorded their entire conversation? Wan Meifan was instantly filled with anger. You think you can threaten us just because you recorded a video? Tsk TSK, although I'm not a law student, I can still understand the difference between incompetence and intentionally using improper means for profit. Without your words just now, Magwa Bao would probably just be seen as bad at martial arts, not breaking the law. But after hearing your words just now, TSK TSK, Wao Yangchen said, slightly exaggerating as he widened his eyes, feeling like he had opened the door to a new world. To be honest, before hearing Wan Meifan's words just now, Yang Chen couldn't imagine how they operated. But with this video, although it may not be used as evidence, if he posted it on a short video platform and let Chen Chusheng handle it, it would definitely go viral. Once this video was released, even public opinion would quickly crush the Magwabao team. And with a certain level of influence, higher authorities would definitely intervene and investigate. Everything wouldn't even require much effort on his part. It could be said that as long as this video was leaked, they would be doomed. If they were ultimately convicted of fraud, the profits would easily amount to tens or even hundreds of dollars. In terms of sentencing, this would already be considered a massive fraud. You're asking for death. Originally, I didn't want to harm you today, I just wanted to sue you and make you compensate for the contract money. But you brought this upon yourselves, even the heavens can't help you now. Break his arm and snatch the phone from him. Wan Meifan's face turned cold as she angrily shouted at the two burly men beside her. Although this makeup car was similar to a motorhome, the space for fighting was not large. With the two burly men blocking the doorway, they couldn't escape. The two burly men immediately rushed onto the car, causing the entire vehicle to sway. Zhang Yu was the first to make a move, suddenly launching himself and grabbing a belt nearby, swinging it towards the head of the leading burly man. This burly man seemed to have some skills, as he managed to catch the swinging belt. Yang Zi, run! Zhang Yu shouted and was about to grab the waist of the burly man, but in the next second, a dark figure darted past him. Immediately after, the burly man grunted and was sent flying, crashing into Wan Meifan. Wan Meifan, who had a slender figure, was hit by a burly man weighing over 200 pounds, and let out a scream as she fell to the ground, pinned down heavily by the burly man. The sound of bones breaking could be heard, and Wan Meifan let out a cry of pain. 
In the next second, Yang Chen delivered a kick, hitting the other burly man in the stomach, causing him to also be sent flying and crash heavily onto the ground three meters away. Zhang Yu was dumbfounded. A person weighing over 200 pounds was kicked off the ground, this was the first time he had seen something like this outside of movies. Moreover, the speed and strength displayed by Yang Chen just now were on a completely different level from when he fought Ma Guabao. This is the benefit of working out. Yang Chen looked at the stunned Zhang Yu and smiled. Zhang Yu suddenly realized, indeed, he knew that Yang Chen liked to work out, but this was too impressive. It seemed like he would have to start working out too. The two of them didn't have time to change their clothes, they grabbed their clothes and didn't care about the three people writhing in pain on the ground, and ran towards the parking lot. Fortunately, the media had all gone to chase after Maguabao, and this makeup car was in a relatively hidden location. This incident quickly began to ferment online. Especially with the overwhelming short videos and articles from various media outlets, it propelled this incident to the top of the local hot search rankings. Fortunately, Yang Chen and the others were wearing masks. After they were taken away, they took off their masks and no one recognized them. Otherwise, they would also become famous. The internet was filled with curses and doubts, and it was boiling with activity. In a media company, a sense of gloom hung in the air Maguabao sat in his office, holding an ice pack to his swollen eyes. The leaders in the room were all worried, watching various video materials. This matter was a mixed blessing for them. The good news was that the traffic had increased. Previously, Ma Guobao's name was only somewhat famous in the country, but now it was different. Once it became a hot topic, his name became invaluable. They had registered trademarks with the name Ma Guobao in various categories. However, their other source of income was greatly affected, which was recruiting apprentices. Recruiting apprentices was a major source of income for them. Many brainless people came to learn their so-called internal and external martial arts courses, each class costing 7 to 8 cents. But in reality, it was just ordinary fitness and stretching classes. Of course, they wouldn't involve these apprentices in their activities outside, as that would expose their true intentions. So they would spend money to hire temporary workers like Yang Chen. If things had developed normally, this could have gone smoothly. It's all because of that bastard. I hate these kinds of angry youths who claim to be saving traditional martial arts. They think they're so brave. Worthless. It's not completely without benefits. If we handle it well, we might turn adversity into opportunity. Isn't it simple? We can use Master Ma's clever mind. A technician said sarcastically. But Ma Guabao seemed to be oblivious to the underlying meaning. He covered his eyes with one hand and said, Looking up, I can issue a statement saying that they ambushed us. It was indeed my carelessness. Otherwise, I would never let them succeed. Ma Guabao said angrily. Most of the others smiled wryly, and some even looked at him with pity. Ma Guabao was nothing more than a joke to them. At first, they had praised him, but gradually he had become lost in his own delusions, deceiving even himself. He truly believed that he had internal power and decent martial arts skills. In order to make his performance more realistic, they even communicated with the actors using earphones during their usual cooperation, without letting him know they were hired actors. This is why Ma Guabao had such confidence and spoke confidently wherever he went. The show's effect was excellent. Alright, let's issue a statement first and see how it works. At this moment, the boss's phone rang. After listening for a few sentences, the boss stood up abruptly, knocking the chair far away. After hanging up the phone, everyone looked at him in confusion, and the boss said coldly, Damn it, the person who attacked Lao Ma actually recorded a video and admitted to fraud and deceiving fans. There was an uproar, and everyone in the room stood up in shock. How could this happen? Everyone was horrified. If such a video were to spread, there would definitely be an investigation. And once there was public pressure, the investigation would undoubtedly have a result. They couldn't withstand an investigation at all. Boss, let's call the Zhao family. We can only rely on them now. That's right, as long as young master Zhao intervenes, this matter can be resolved smoothly. The Zhao family was one of the top families in Tianbei city. They usually relied on the second son of the Zhao family, Zhao Huashan, as their backer. Zhao Huashan had his own entertainment company and was a prominent figure in the industry. Ma Guobao had received a lot of support from him, which was why they were able to thrive on short video platforms. Many public relations matters were handled through his connections. Yes, the boss took a deep breath to suppress his anger and made a phone call. During dinner time, Yang Chen and Zhang Yu sat down at a roadside stall, planning to order some barbecue and beer. He didn't agree to Che Zhihao's invitation because he found it troublesome as soon as the two of them sat down, they saw a black car parked by the roadside. A woman wearing sunglasses and a trench coat got out of the car. 
She took off her sunglasses, revealing a beautiful face, but her demeanor was cold and expressionless, as if someone owed her five million. Two burly men followed behind her, clearly well-trained bodyguards. The woman glanced at them and walked towards Yang Chen and Zhang Yu. Are you the one I'm looking for? Yang Chen was taken aback and looked at Zhang Yu. Do I look like I have this kind of connection? Do I know this girl? Zhang Yu rolled his eyes at him. The woman walked up to them, and Yang Chen finally recognized her. He had seen her in the news before. She was Zhao Xiaoman, one of the outstanding members of the third generation of the Zhao family in Tianbei City. Her father, Zhao Huashan, owned an entertainment company and hotels, some of which were managed by her. The woman spoke to Yang Chen directly, let's talk in the car. After she finished speaking, she turned around and walked towards the car, but Yang Chen and Zhang Yu showed no intention of getting up at all. Yang Chen was not satisfied with her attitude. No matter what she came for, she was being too bossy and arrogant. Don't make us trouble. One of the bodyguards said coldly, Are you from the underworld? Yang Chen asked Zhao Xiaoman with a hint of mockery. One of the bodyguards frowned and took a step forward, ready to take action. But Zhao Xiaoman stopped him with a hand gesture and sat down expressionlessly. I'm here to buy that video. Name your price. Zhao Xiaoman got straight to the point. Oh, so the Zhao family personally takes care of them, it seems you're involved in this too? Yang Chen suddenly realized. Zhao Xiaoman narrowed her eyes and said coldly, Do you know me? You're an outstanding young member of the Zhao family. All right. Here's a check, fill in the amount yourself. Zha Xiaoman nodded and took out a checkbook, casually throwing it on the table, her gaze indifferent as she looked at Yang Chen. She had no intention of saying more to him. Any amount will do? Yang Chen asked excitedly. Yes. Zha Xiaoman sneered. It was ridiculous that her father had to personally come here for such a trivial matter. She had seen many people like him, using information to extort money. If it weren't for the trouble and the crowd here, she would have let someone beat him up and take the video. Great. Yang Chen happily picked up a pen and signed a 9,990,000 on the check. 9,990,000 dollars. Then he handed the checkbook back. Hmm, sign it. When Zhao Xiaoman saw the string of numbers, her eyes twitched violently. She looked at Yang Chen coldly. I'm not in the mood to joke with you. Yang Chen leaned closer to her, his hands on the table, and asked with a half smile, what's wrong? Can't cash it? If you can't cash it, why are you acting all high and mighty? Can you take it out if I reduce two zeros? Your checkbook is not worth much. Why are you pretending? Yang Chen's words left Zhao Xiaoman dumbfounded. She never expected Yang Chen to be so uncultured and not follow the rules. And he even dared to humiliate her so loudly. His words were extremely vulgar. At this moment, all the customers at the surrounding tables looked over. They didn't need to know the details, Yang Chen's words were concise and clear. Many people cast disgusted glances at the woman. Yang Chen instantly put away his aggressive attitude and sat back innocently on his chair. You're asking for death. The bodyguard next to Zhao Xiaoman couldn't stand Yang Chen anymore. He had been itching to teach him a lesson since Yang Chen refused to get in the car earlier. Now that he dared to insult Zhao Xiaoman like this, he immediately reached out his hand like a claw and grabbed towards Yang Chen's neck with one grab. He could easily lift Yang Chen with his strength, and after grabbing him, he would suffocate him half to death, a tried and true method. Zhao Xiaoman's eyes were cold, and she had already accepted this bodyguard's action. But he only felt a sudden surge of electricity in front of him. Yang Chen's speed was so fast that he couldn't see clearly, and his strength made it impossible for him to resist. He saw Yang Chen grab his hand and press it on the table, then he grabbed two chopsticks with his right hand and stabbed them and forcefully. Plop! The chopsticks instantly pierced through his palm, and then pierced through the table, pinning him to it. Although the table was just an ordinary plywood. But to pierce a disposable chopstick into plywood? It seemed impossible. And most importantly, he pierced the bodyguard's palm. The bodyguard was tough, he just grunted and didn't scream. But his eyes were full of shock, and he and the other bodyguard knew very well that they were no match for Yang Chen. Zhao Xiaoman's eyes widened, showing a hint of panic for the first time, looking at Yang Chen in astonishment. Ah, what a disappointment. Can't the Zhao family find someone with a little ability to handle things? They sent you, such a useless person? Yang Chen sneered at Zhao Xiaoman, then waved to Zhang Yu and the two of them left. Since it had come to this, there was no point in staying, they could only find another place to eat. Meanwhile, Zhao Xiaoman was frozen in place, as if struck by lightning. She had always been hailed as the cream of the crop among the third generation of the family, efficient and capable. This had also shaped her arrogant personality. But she never expected that such a small matter today would turn out to be a failure. Not only that, but Yang Chen's evaluation of her at the end, 
she simply couldn't accept it. Useless? No ability? How could such words be associated with Zhao Xiaoman? But she had indeed been taught a lesson by Yang Chen just now, neither politeness nor force could do anything to him. She felt a deep sense of frustration for the first time, but at the same time, a burning hatred ignited within her. She secretly vowed to trample Yang Chen under her feet. The next day, two videos on the short video platform went viral at the same time. One was titled Master Ma responds to being attacked in the video, Master Ma said, these two young people have no martial virtue. They attacked me by surprise. Very fast. I didn't dodge, I was indeed careless. But this also shows that my disciples have surpassed me. They have cultivated the five forces. Even I am having trouble keeping up with them. This is the result of their learning. As their master, I am happy to see them surpass me. But from now on, they can't do this anymore. I won't expel them from the school, but I asked them to take responsibility for their actions while this video was going viral. Another short video was gaining even more attention. This short video came from a rising short video platform, which was operated by Chen Shusheng. Not only did this video go viral, but it also propelled the short video app to the top of the trending list, instantly attracting a large number of users to this platform. The content of this video was the footage shot by Yang Chen on his phone. The facial features of the people involved were slightly obscured, but it made the video appear even more authentic. Some people even pointed out the background outside the makeup trailer, which was the actual scene that day, providing evidence of the video's authenticity. Especially those harsh words, such as fraud, and our other fraudulent projects, Master Ma doesn't know martial arts at all, braindead fans are our cash cows, and so on, instantly became the focus of public opinion. Regardless of whether this video was true or false, the internet had no ability to discern the truth, just like they couldn't see that Ma Guabao was a fraud. And this video cleverly appeared after Ma Guabao's statement, making it even more ironic. No matter how many internet trolls appeared, they couldn't suppress the tidal wave of public opinion. By the afternoon, the relevant departments had already begun to investigate. Overwhelming insider information began to be exposed this media company has illegally profited nearly $480 by using false packaging and setting up illegal fee-based projects. However, Yang Chen did not see the shadow of the Zhao family in it. It seems that the Zhao family has sold this media company and cleaned themselves up. There was also an episode in which Yen, a female Qigong master with the surname Yen, who was very active recently, and Wei, the founder of the Thunder 8 gossip with the surname Wei, all disappeared without any response no matter how they were treated. Zhao family. Zhao Huashan's villa. With a crisp sound, Zhao Yiming, the hot-tempered second son of the Zhao family, smashed the glass in his hand. This bastard. How dare he go against my Zhao family, I will definitely kill him. The reason he was so angry was because Zhao Huashan had entrusted the part of Ma Guabao to him to take care of. He drank too much yesterday, so his sister Zhao Xiaoman took care of this matter for him. Zhao Huashan glanced at him displeasedly and snorted coldly, anger is the most useless thing. With your appearance, you will never gain your grandfather's approval. You're just a waste. Zhao Yiming clenched his fists tightly, wanting to retort, but hesitated. Zhao Xiaoman's face was also pale on the side. You two can handle this person, remember, don't do anything stupid anymore, use your brains a little, handle things nicely, and make your grandfather look at you with new eyes. Zhao Huashan reprimanded. Don't worry. I will find a way to deal with this guy. Zhao Yiming said coldly. Zhao Huashan sighed, shook his head, and leisurely went upstairs. This matter was not a big deal for the Zhao family, but it was a great provocation. They couldn't let this slide. As for their target, Yang Chen, he had already changed into a high-end suit and walked into the Junyuan Hotel with Sun Anqi. Sun Anqi, who was wearing a stunning sky blue dress today, was personally chosen by Li Mei, and only her perfect figure could handle it. Entering the gate and looking at the noisy and laughing crowd in the distance, Sun Anchi bit her lip, feeling a bit nervous. At this moment, a big hand tightly held her delicate hand, and an inexplicable sense of security instantly calmed her down. Sun Anchi looked at Yang Chen, and what greeted her was a determined gaze. In fact, Sun Anchi didn't want Yang Chen to come, but Yang Chen insisted on coming. Pretending to be her boyfriend could indeed prevent unnecessary attention from other boys, so she agreed. Hey! Sun Anchi is here. At this moment, a woman wearing a formal dress near the entrance suddenly shouted with a smile that seemed like a smile. For a while, most of the people in the hall noticed this. It was as if they had been waiting for Sun Anchi's arrival. But only Sun Anchi knew clearly that she was not that popular. Looking around, they were all familiar university classmates, both male and female, in all shapes and sizes. When they saw Sun Anchi, their expressions were different, but most of them were not friendly. Anchi, you're here. 
A girl wearing a silver crown on her head waved at her, with a faint smile on her face, seemingly indifferent. She was the protagonist of today's birthday party, Li Yiru. Sun Anqi squeezed out a smile and walked towards Li Yiru. Yang Chen, on the other hand, had his hands in his pockets, casually strolling behind her, welcoming the strange gazes around him. Yiru, happy birthday. Li Yiru nodded with a faint smile. Li Yiru's parents glanced over here and frowned when they saw that Sun Anqi had empty hands. Sun Anqi, how dare you show up in front of me? At this moment, a cold voice sounded, it was Zhou Xiao, who had been taught a lesson by Yang Chen at the Century Restaurant before. When the police arrived, Zhou Xiao and the others scraped together enough money to pay for the meal. They held a deep grudge against Yang Chen and Sun Anqi. Zhou Xiao? Sun Anqi also frowned slightly, she didn't expect Zhou Xiao to bring up that incident. What's the matter, do you enjoy dining and dashing? Zhou Xiao questioned loudly. Zhou Xiao, you're going too far. It was your own fault. Shut up. Stop spouting nonsense. It was clearly you who said you would treat us, but then you ran away. Playing tricks on us, thinking you're clever, huh? Zhou Xiao's words were sharp, and her anger was evident, leaving no room for doubt. However, Zhou Xiao didn't immediately confront Yang Chen, she just glared at him fiercely. After all, they still believed they had a chance to win Yang Chen over. He was a hidden wealthy man, and it was best not to let the other women present know. But this anger had to be vented on Sun Anqi. For a while, everyone started discussing and blaming Sun Anqi. Unbelievable, how can someone have such poor character? Oomph, she was like this in school too, arrogant and condescending, a bitch. Trash, stay away from her in the future. Yang Chen sighed helplessly. He felt sorry for Sun Anqi, and he had advised her more than once these past few days. She didn't have to attend this ridiculous gathering. But Sun Anqi was a strong-willed girl, she had her stubbornness, and she wanted to overcome the obstacles she had created for herself. And now, as soon as she arrived, things turned unpleasant. Li Yiru raised her hand to stop the discussions and then calmly looked at Sun Anqi and asked, Anqi, do you know why I invited you to this gathering? Sun Anqi took a deep breath and shook her head slowly. Actually, I did it for your own good. Don't you want a chance to improve your relationship with everyone? Don't you want people to stop targeting you? You don't need to please everyone, you just need to please one person, Li Yiru said. Sun Anqi didn't expect her to be so straightforward and to use the word please. It made her feel a bit ashamed. Do you remember Zhou Man? She married into a wealthy family. Her husband is from the San Tai Sun family, worth over a hundred million. This gathering is specifically for Zhou Man to tell you that as long as you apologize to her today, no one will interfere with your job search in the future. She can even help you find a job that you like. Li Yiru's tone was indifferent. She and Sun Anqi were roommates, so they were slightly closer than the others. Is that why you invited me? To apologize to Zhou Man? Sun Anqi looked into Li Yiru's eyes, smiled self-deprecatingly, and asked in return. She came today just to improve her relationships, not to apologize to anyone. Anqi, I hope you can see your situation clearly and stop acting so high and mighty. Zhou Man's husband is worth at least a hundred million, he owns two clothing factories, and even our family's textile factory has received a lot of help from them. By helping yourself today, you're also helping me. Among their group of classmates, there weren't many wealthy individuals. Li Yiru's family owned a small textile factory, so they had some money. Zhou Man's family was average, but no one expected her to marry into the Sun family. Sun Anqi had been facing difficulties in her job search, and most of them were caused by Zhou Man. She didn't need to know high-level people, she just needed to slip a few hundred yuan or a few cents to the right person, and everything would be easily settled. She knew that one day Sun Anqi would come begging to her. Sun Anqi remained silent, feeling somewhat disappointed. It seemed that she had come here today for the wrong reasons. Just then, someone shouted, they're here. Everyone turned to look at the entrance. They saw a woman wearing a black diamond-studded evening gown, heavily made up, with some beauty, and the gown shimmered under the lights. She tightly held the arm of a young man dressed in a pure white suit. Xiao Man, Feng Xiao, you're here. We've been waiting for you, Xiao Man. The party, which was quiet just now, suddenly became lively. People stood up and awkwardly raised their glasses to Zhou Man from a distance. Several people who considered themselves qualified even crowded over and exchanged a few words with Zhou Man. Of course, the most important thing was to flatter Sun Feng, who was by her side, the young master of the Sun family. Soon, they became the focus of the party. Even the Yura's parents stood up and straightened their clothes, smiling and waiting for Zhou Man to come over. Zhou Man immediately saw Sun Anqi, and there was an inexplicable excitement on her face. She pulled Sun Feng and walked quickly towards Sun Anqi. Anqi, long time no see. Long time no see, Sun Anqi said calmly. He he, 
let me introduce you all. This is my husband, Sun Fong, the young master of the Sun family, who dominates the fashion industry in Tianbei City. Zhou Man narrowed her eyes and proudly said to everyone. Sun Fong was also arrogant, especially after seeing Sun Anchi, his eyes couldn't move away. Put. Suddenly, a burst of laughter came, and everyone looked over, it was Yang Chen, who was leaning on the table and eating grapes. He didn't want to laugh, but he couldn't help it when he heard dominates. The grapes flew out. What are you laughing at? Li Yiru asked coldly. Ha ha, sorry, I just couldn't help it when I heard dominates. Is everyone here for this gathering? Yang Chen said while stuffing grapes into his mouth. What does it have to do with you whether everyone is here or not? Li Yiru angrily asked. If everyone is here, I want to ask, which scumbag is preventing my girlfriend from finding a job? Yang Chen continued eating grapes and pointed at them. Girlfriend? Even those who didn't pay much attention to Yang Chen just now knew his identity. It turned out to be Sun Anchi's boyfriend. Zhou Man, who was scolded, not only wasn't angry, but stomped her foot and pretended to care, saying, Oh Anchi, look at the boyfriend you found, so uncultured, foul-mouthed. He doesn't even have the most basic etiquette. Look at his careless appearance, how can he be worthy of you? You will suffer in this lifetime. That's right, look at man's husband, polite and wealthy, he is far superior to your boyfriend in terms of temperament. And he can still laugh when someone says dominates, obviously he doesn't understand the business world. The Sun family has always been dominant. He he, can't you see that? He is not at that level at all, what does he understand? He looks like a small hoodlum, just a social scum. Several of Joe Man's lackeys quickly joined in to help. Sun Anchi clenched her fists. She was only angry that these people were targeting her for no reason. She had never done anything wrong or hurt anyone, why should she endure this? She gritted her teeth and said, my boyfriend is mine, you don't need to worry about it. Joe Man immediately sneered, how can we not worry? Look at your current job, it's not good. I see your boyfriend's character, he's not doing well either, wearing a suit that I've never seen before. Still trying to show off, how tiring. You guys should be down to earth. I heard that you're still renting a house, when will you be able to afford one? How about this, I'll arrange two jobs for you, one as a security guard and one as a nanny. What do you think? Anyway, it's all up to my husband. Yes, Anchi, agree quickly, be down to earth, if you have nothing, don't complain about this and that. The crowd started to make a fuss again. At the same time, Zhou Man looked at Yang Chen with a smile, hoping to see him angry and embarrassed. But Yang Chen was still leaning on the table leisurely, looking at them with a look of disdain. She was instantly furious at this moment, Sun Fong also spoke up. He had already figured it out. He must find a way to get Sun Anchi. The first step was to show his strength in front of her and crush her current boyfriend. He he, my sales department happens to need a manager. If you're willing, you can consider it. The base salary is 5 cents, and the commission is separate. The people around who were originally making fun of him suddenly felt a bit sour. There were several male classmates who hadn't reached the salary level yet. 5 cents? I make hundreds of dollars a month. Going to your place would be brainless, wouldn't it? Yang Chen sneered. He was actually downplaying it. The monthly deposit income he received from the system was $12,500 but saying 10,000 or 100 had the same effect. Anyway, they didn't believe it. Sure enough, as soon as Yang Chen finished speaking, there was a burst of laughter. Ah ha ha, this is hilarious. Sun Anchi, who did you find? Ignorant and arrogant. You're bragging so much. Do you have a problem with your brain? Monthly income of hundreds of dollars? Wake up, have you ever seen a hundred dollars? Joe Man laughed heartily. Sun Anchi's boyfriend really made her lose face. Thank you for your kindness but we have something to do, so we'll leave first. Sun Anchi took a deep breath. She felt that there was no need to stay any longer. She couldn't possibly establish any connections, so it was meaningless. Stop. Jo Man suddenly changed her expression and scolded. Her goal hadn't been achieved yet, so how could she let Sun Anchi leave? You ungrateful thing, I offer you a job and you don't want it. Who do you think you are? Jo Man first pointed at Yang Chen and scolded. Then she turned to Sun Anchi. Sun Anchi, I give you face and you don't appreciate it? I want you to kneel in front of me right now and shout a hundred times that you're a slut. After you shout, I'll let you go. If you don't shout, you won't even keep your job. From today onwards, I guarantee you won't be able to find any job. Jo Man completely revealed her true colors. Yang Chin pointed at Sun Fong and asked, Do you allow her to bully people like this? Sun Fong smirked and looked at Sun Anchi, meaningfully saying, As my woman, she has the right to do whatever she wants. Yang Chen put down the grapes and sighed. I don't really like people who do whatever they want. If you say that, I might just let her end up on the streets. 
Ah, you're really becoming more and more like him. I beg you, please don't make empty threats and then leave without doing anything. I beg you, just let me end up on the streets right now. Please. Ha ha ha. Joe Man burst into laughter, intentionally laughing very loudly, as if this laughter could hurt Yang Chen. Yang Chen nodded and took out his phone, saying, Joe Man, female, 25 years old, ID number is 412 asterisk 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 from the second year of college until now. There have been a total of 1,128 times of staying in hotels, with 52 different partners, ranging in age from 28 to 64 years old. There were even 34 times when more than two men stayed together. Wow, if my good buddy were here, he would definitely give you a proverb. You really are a toad pretending to be a frog ugly but playing around. Young Chen scared. Joe Man's eyes widened, waking up from her shock, and immediately shouted angrily, You, you're talking nonsense. It's fake. Don't spread rumors. I will sue you. I'll find the best lawyer to sue you to death. Don't be in such a hurry, I haven't finished yet. On March 18, two years ago, you were diagnosed with a sexually transmitted disease at Rene I Hospital. You recovered on May 2, but then contracted the disease again in September and recovered in November. In the past three years, you've had six miscarriages, and your fertility has become high risk. In January of last year, you married into the Sun family, and since then, you've had 86 records of staying in hotels. The most recent one was yesterday at the Haicheng Hotel, with a man named Zhou Xiaobo, in a room with a waterbed in an ocean-themed setting, from 1 p.m. to 9 p.m. Before that, there were names like Sun Kua, Li Meng, Zhou Yaoying. Ah, ah, stop talking, stop talking, Zhou Man suddenly shouted, interrupting Yang Chen. She never dreamed that her past would be exposed like this. She looked at Sun Feng in horror. Sun Feng's face turned pale, trembling with anger. I have her confirmed diagnosis report, in high definition. Yang Chen smiled and waved his phone at Sun Feng. Ah, what did I do to you? Why are you doing this to me? Why? Zhou Man suddenly went crazy and shouted angrily at Yang Chen. Yang Chen flipped through the phone again and suddenly asked Sun Feng, By the way, there's another name, Sun Jian, isn't that your father? I beg you, please stop talking, I beg you, I beg you. Zhou Man suddenly knelt down on the ground, banging her head frantically. Sun Feng didn't want to take action at first, because if he did, it would mean admitting that all of this was true. Although he had already realized that everything was true, when the last name appeared, he couldn't control himself anymore. Snap! Sun Feng grabbed her hair and slammed her head against the ground, then kicked her in the face. Bitch! Bitch! You told me yesterday afternoon that you went for a beauty treatment. I'll kill you! Kill you! Everyone else stayed far away, no one dared to intervene. Zhou Man kept crying and screaming, rolling on the ground, covered in blood. But soon, Sun Feng kicked Zhou Man away, took a few deep breaths to calm himself down, and stared at Yang Chen with hatred. Although Zhou Man betrayed him, it was Yang Chen who exposed everything. Without Yang Chen, he might have discovered it himself, but it wouldn't have been exposed in such a public manner. He could have handled it secretly. It was Yang Chen who made him lose face. And, coincidentally, he could make this despicable person leave empty-handed and he must take Sun Anchi away. This way, he could make Yang Chen lose even more face, killing two birds with one stone. He greedily glanced at Sun Anchi, thinking that even if he had to live ten years less, it would be worth it if he could have this woman. You think you've won, you piece of shit? I was only in a fake marriage with her, just to appease my parents' pressure to get married. I've never touched her. I'm clean. It just so happens that my son family needs a legitimate mistress, and this bitch will be kicked out tomorrow. Sun Feng looked coldly at Yang Chen, and at the same time, he was also speaking to Sun Anchi. I used to think you were pitiful, but suddenly I don't think so anymore. Ha, huh? pitiful? It's you who's pitiful. You think you're powerful just because you found some information? You think you can compete with me? You think you're more capable than me? Well, I can also dig up all your secrets with just one phone call. Sun Feng said coldly, this was the only way to regain his dignity. He would also investigate Yang Chen thoroughly and show his power in front of Sun Anchi. Then what are you waiting for? Go ahead and make the call. Yang Chen made a gesture of invitation with great interest. Sun Feng snorted coldly, took out his phone, and made the call. I'll show you the difference between you and me, and let you understand what it means to have absolute power. After he finished speaking, he put the phone on speaker and placed it on the table. The call was connected. Young master. Within five minutes, I want all the information on this person named Yang Chen. Sun Feng said coldly. He spoke with great momentum, but the other side seemed a bit uncooperative. Um, young master, there are so many people named Yang Chen. Which one do you want to investigate? 
Investigate them all. Leave no one behind. Sun Fong suddenly became furious. So many people were listening. Why was it so difficult for him to pretend? Yang Chen leaned forward and handed him an ID card. Need any help? This is my ID card. You can search by the ID number. Sun Fong was about to explode. Yang Chen actually handed him his ID card. You're asking for death. Sun Fong reluctantly recited his ID number to the person on the other end of the phone. The sound of writing could be heard from the other end, as they wrote down the information and repeated it back. Finally, they asked, Um, young master, could you repeat the numbers after 52? Sun Fong wanted to throw his phone in frustration. He had planned to show off a bit while using the speakerphone, but everything had gone wrong. Sun Fong shouted in anger once again. Before he could throw anything, Yang Chen took back his ID card and calmly put it away. With the ID card in hand, the person on the other end quickly made a call. However, a few minutes later, the phone rang again. Is the young master there? Speak. Well, the authorities said that they cannot disclose this person's information. They also said that we should be aware of our own identity and not have the qualifications to investigate at the authorities. The steward on the other end clearly didn't know that the speakerphone was on and continued to advise his young master not to cause trouble. Sun Fong was so angry that he picked up his phone and angrily threw it on the ground, stomping on it a few times. He was completely furious. He had lost all his dignity today. His wife had given him a hard time. He had wanted to show off, but now everyone thought he was just a poser after being given his ID number. Don't be upset, you made me feel the difference, and you succeeded. Yang Chen quickly comforted him. Sun Anchi couldn't help but almost burst out laughing at Yang Chen's pitiful appearance. She didn't expect Yang Chen to be so capable, completely crushing them all. She had no sympathy, after all, it was Zhou Man who had started it. Now, seeing Yang Chen standing up for her and venting her anger, she felt a great relief, finally releasing the pent-up resentment of over a year. Get out! Both of you, get out! You are not welcome here! At this moment, Li Yiru's parents spoke up, especially Li Yiru's mother, Chao Fong. She had a brilliant idea. No matter what, Yang Chen had nothing to do with them, but Sun Feng was different. Their family's business still relied on Sun Feng's support. Now that Sun Feng had lost so much face, he was going crazy. This was the time for them to step forward and help Sun Feng. Moreover, Sun Feng's wife would soon be kicked out, leaving the position of Sun family's young mistress vacant. Their daughter, Li Yiru, could fill that gap perfectly. Yang Chen turned around and looked at them. Are you talking about the two of us? Who else could it be if not you two? I don't care who you are, but offending young master son is the same as offending our Lee family. We are at odds with you. Yiro, quickly help young master son to the sofa. Chao Fong scolded coldly, while also giving her daughter a signal to act. Li Yiro naturally understood and walked over, saying to son Anchi, I'm sorry, Anchi. Please leave, this place is not welcoming to you. I don't want to see you again. Don't worry, if it weren't for a faint hope of getting along with you in a friendly manner, I wouldn't have come today. Sun Anchi looked around at everyone and said calmly. Just then, a manager from the front hall, bowing politely, walked over with a very attentive gesture, followed by a tall and elegant woman. It was Li Mei. Li Mei? It's Li Mei. Am I seeing things? How? How did Li Mei end up here? Everyone here who knew a thing or two about fashion knew Li Mei, and Li Yiru and even Sun Feng recognized her at first glance. In the fashion industry of Tianbei City, Li Mei was truly a force to be reckoned with, capable of determining life and death with a single word. Companies like Sun's clothing factory were nothing in Li Mei's eyes, just a few tools. And in Li Yiru's family's textile factory, Li Mei saw even less value. As they watched Li Mei approach step by step, the whole room fell silent, and the Li family members were stunned. They had no idea why this beauty had come. Li Mei Chong and Yang Chen smiled slightly. She promised Sun Anchi to give a little hint, so she first sent a gift and then introduced who it was from. Therefore, Li Mei took the lead and walked in front of Li Yiru. She held a transparent small box in front of her chest, and inside the box was a lifelike golden phoenix the size of a palm. The golden phoenix spread its wings and flew, shining brightly and extremely beautiful. Miss Li, I am here on behalf of the mysterious guest to deliver a birthday gift to you. Happy birthday! After Li Mei finished speaking, Li Yiru was so scared that she instinctively took a step back. She couldn't believe that Li Mei would give her a gift. Why? What's going on? She was too scared to accept it for a moment. But her mother, Chao Feng, suddenly became overjoyed. Oh, I didn't know it was Mr. Tang who arrived. It's really inappropriate to not welcome you properly. You are the most honored guest, and we are truly amazed and grateful. Thank you, thank you. Chao Feng's waist bent like a shrimp. 
thinking about taking the pure gold phoenix first. Her eyes were shining. Um, I don't know who this mysterious guest is, but how could our little girl be favored by them? Li Yiru's father also hesitantly asked. At this moment, Li Yiru suddenly opened her mouth in surprise and looked at Sun Foam. This action immediately made everyone's gaze shift to Sun Foam. Yes, if anyone present could possibly invite Li Mei, it would only be Sun Foam. For a while, everyone looked at Sun Foam with envy. To be able to invite Li Mei, what kind of status is that? Li Yiru was even more moved. In the hearts of Li Yiru's parents, there was only one thought, and that was to seize the opportunity to form an alliance with the Sun family. At this moment, Sun Foam was also staring blankly at Li Mei. Seeing everyone looking at him, although he didn't know why, he still enjoyed the feeling of being in the spotlight. But Yang Chen's voice lazily sounded. Li Mei, bring back that golden phoenix. They don't deserve it. I can send them a grass chicken instead. Yang Chen's voice pierced the silence. Instantly, the Li family was furious. You bastard. What did you say? You called Li Mei here. What does our golden phoenix have to do with you? Who the hell do you think you are? Sun Anchi, why don't you hurry up and leave? Do I need to say it a third time? Today, Mr. Tang came to celebrate my birthday, and I don't want you to ruin the mood. Please leave immediately. Li Yiru looked at Sun Anchi angrily. Li Mei came to celebrate her birthday, and she had already seen the peak of her life. This was not a dream. The person in front of her was really Li Mei. By marrying into the Sun family and relying on Li Mei's connections, she could soon dominate the fashion industry. That's right, get out of here. Ruining the mood. How dare you say such things. Get out quickly. Trash. Don't ruin Mr. Tang's mood. Other classmates also shouted one after another. They finally had the chance to see Li Mei and didn't want Yan Chen to ruin it. But after everyone finished speaking, Li Mei's face gradually turned pale. Li Mei's sudden action stunned the Li family. The angry shouts from the surrounding classmates also came to a halt. Su Shur? An Che? What kind of address was this? Li Yiru asked tremblingly, Mr. Tang, are you? Are you talking to them? Not with them, are you? Li Mei immediately said coldly, snatching the golden phoenix back. She secretly regretted it. She was really unlucky. Including this time, she had already flattered Yang Chen twice and failed. What was wrong with her? Mr. Mr. Tang, what do you mean? Why are you talking to them? Do you know each other? Chao Fang had a very bad premonition and asked tremblingly. This golden phoenix of mine was sent on behalf of Anchi. Do you think I know her or not? Li Mei said coldly don't waste your breath with them, didn't you hear them telling us to get lost? Yang Chen, without any manners, grabbed a few grapes and waved at Li Mei. Got it, Master Su. Li Mei nodded and quickly left, grabbing Sun Anchi's hand as she passed by, their intimacy resembling that of sisters. Everyone was shocked. So Li Mei was really brought here by Yang Chen and Sun Anchi, and they even brought Jin Feng Wan to celebrate. What kind of influence is this? Zhou Man, who had been hiding in the corner and was not noticed by Li Mei earlier, now had her eyes wide open, completely stunned. She had already been ruined by Yang Chen, but now she didn't even have the slightest thought of revenge. No, no, don't go. An Chi. Li Yiro suddenly came back to her senses and shouted in horror, quickly chasing after them. The Li family and Sun Feng also reacted and crazily chased after them. Li Yiro's heart sank. All of this was originally hers. If she had just built a good relationship with Sun Anchi earlier, she would have also connected with Li Mei now. Who could have imagined this? Who could have imagined? But she watched as Paradise slipped away right in front of her, destroyed by her own hands. The front hall manager, who was following behind, had already understood what was going on and immediately waved his hand outside. Several security guards rushed in and forcefully blocked the Li family when Li Yiru was about to catch up with Li Mei. Anchi! Anchi! Li Yiru cried out miserably. Yang Chen and the other two stopped and turned around to look at this crying family. Anchi, I was wrong, are we still good sisters? We were roommates. Please don't blame me, please, I beg you. She had no choice but to beg, as it was no longer just a matter of whether they could connect with Li Mei. They had offended Yang Chen and Sun Anchi just now. Li Mei would definitely seek revenge on them, and she wouldn't need to lift a finger. Just a few words and countless people would be willing to destroy their small factory for her. Yes, it's our fault for not recognizing Mount Tai. Please have mercy on us. Chao Fan also burst into tears, as she wanted to establish a relationship with Li Mei. This was a golden opportunity, but now it was slipping away. Are we good sisters? You should ask yourselves that question. I have never offended any of you. I have never done anything wrong to anyone. When I was in school, you all targeted me everywhere. I treated everyone with caution, but what about you? 
You even created a group to raise funds and bribe people to hinder me from finding a job. You found pleasure in it. At least 10 of you were involved in this. What have I done to offend you all? Sun Anchi finally erupted, tears streaming down her face as she pointed at everyone and let out all the pent up words. We deserve to die. We deserve to die. It's my fault. But I know you have a kind heart. You will forgive me, won't you? Li Yiru cried bitterly. Sun Anchi shook her head. Seeing Sun Anchi's tears, Yang Chen became truly angry. You truly deserve to die. You have 10 hours to get out of Tian Bay City, otherwise, I will do everything in my power to make you drown in debt. And you, Sun Feng, I spare your Sun family's lives because I promised to let Zhou Man end up on the streets, so you are responsible for taking care of her. If I see Zhou Man well fed and clothed, then your Sun family will end up on the streets instead. Yang Chen issued the final ultimatum. Yes. Yes. I understand. Sun Feng quickly cowed out in gratitude. Yang Chen wiped away Sun Anchi's tears and pulled her away, leaving behind the Li family sitting paralyzed on the spot. Ten hours wouldn't even be enough to sell the factory, let alone deal with a large number of breach of contract orders. It seemed that Yang Chen was going to take ruthless action against them, and before taking ruthless action, he gave them ten hours to struggle, giving them a glimmer of hope before they fell into despair, leaving them powerless in that hope who did they offend in the end. Sun Feng was the luckiest one at this moment. While Zhou Xiu and the others were trembling, they would have trouble sleeping for a long time. After leaving the hotel, Li Ming smiled and wiped away Sun Anchi's tears. It's all over now, she said. She envied Sun Anchi immensely. Compared to her own experience of dropping out of school and struggling in society since the age of 17, Sun Anchi was much younger. These grievances were nothing but passing clouds. But Anchi already had Yang Chen, a man who would protect her from wind and rain. She would no longer face hardships. As for herself, she was still alone and helpless. Although she had attached herself to Yang Chen, it wasn't the kind of support she wanted. By the way, Tang Jia, I figured out that Feng Shui Bureau you mentioned the other day. We just need to add two stone lions at the east gate, one facing northeast and the other facing northwest. Yang Chen thought it was a good opportunity to fool Sun Anchi, so she wouldn't keep asking where his money came from. Being a Feng Shui master was a perfect cover, after all, didn't that guy Zhang Yu believe it? Li Mei was initially taken aback, but she quickly nodded and said, Oh, I see, thank you, Master Su. I'll transfer two dollars to you when I get back. Great. Li Mei comforted Sun Anchi a few more times and then left in her car. Yang Chen and Sun Anchi got back into the car. Sun Anchi looked at Yang Chen with her mouth slightly open. Ah, no wonder Li Mei is so respectful to you. You suddenly became so rich and learned how to deceive people. Oomph, to be honest, I have gained some fame in the feng shui world. If you say that, my followers will come and chop you up. Yang Chen said seriously. Sun Anchi chuckled and gave him a disdainful look, then blushed and lowered her head, muttering softly, Thank you. Ha, huh? what did you say? I can't hear you, Yang Chen leaned closer to listen. You scoundrel. Sun Anchi grabbed his ear and shouted loudly. After laughing and joking for a while, Yang Chen asked seriously, Now that no one is bothering you, you can freely choose the career you like. So, what's your plan? This question made Sun Anchi both excited and a little conflicted. Yang Chen suggested, How about this? You've always dreamed of opening a healthy restaurant, right? I'll provide the money, and you'll put in the effort. We'll split the earnings evenly. What do you think? Don't pity me. Although you have money now, don't think you can buy my soul. Sun Anchi frowned, dissatisfied. Am I buying your soul for a measly $5? You can see this as my investment. I just enjoy watching you work, and the satisfaction of counting money. Otherwise, if I spend money recklessly, what will I do with the money I earn, like buying personal training sessions? Sun Anchi shook her head like a rattle drum. Whenever she thought of the $5 Yang Chen spent on the class, she felt sorry for him. That $5 was enough to start a restaurant. That's right. I know you're strong-willed, but think about it. A person destined to be an actress, discovered by a talent scout on the street, who says she can immediately play the lead role in a TV drama. Do you still have to refuse this opportunity and insist on starting as an extra? Sun Anchi bit her lip and had to admit that Yang Chen had a point. Besides, she didn't need to reject Yang Chen's kindness. Otherwise, she would be ungrateful. Okay, boss. Seeing Yang Chen's triumphant smile, Sun Anchi punched him with her small fist. But not long after they drove away, they heard Sun Anchi's uncontrollable joy coming from the car window. I can finally open a restaurant. Mixed with Yang Chen's reprimand. Seat belt. Seat belt. Early the next morning, Sun Anchi, who had been excited all night and barely slept, was still full of joy. 
Yang Chen drove her to Yunhai Club to resign and hand over her work. The store manager, Sister Sun, was frightened, thinking she had offended Sun Anchi in some way. When the boss, Lin Zuxian, left that day, he specifically instructed to treat Sun Anchi well and find an opportunity to promote her as a key employee, mainly to get on good terms with Yang Chen. But who would have thought that she would resign today? However, upon learning that she had better prospects, Sister Sun couldn't say anything and could only help her with the resignation and handover of membership. After completing the resignation, the two of them drove to a real estate agency in the city. Home and agency. At the entrance, Sun Anchi said she was thirsty and went to the nearby convenience store to buy a bottle of water. Yang Chen nodded and walked into the agency by himself. The store was spacious, with nearly 20 computers. The nearest manager-like man quickly put on a professional smile and stood up to greet him. Sir, how can I assist you? Oh, I want to rent a storefront. All right, please come this way. I'll find the most professional property consultant to recommend to you. The manager's attitude was very pleasant, smiling as he led Yang Chen to the sofa area. At the same time, the manager waved to a girl. Xiaoya, come over here. A dull-faced girl slowly stood up from her seat and glanced over in this direction. Yang Chen casually looked at the girl as well. She was very beautiful, with delicate doll-like features, bangs, and a small ponytail, somewhat elegant. However, her figure was average, not at all curvy and her buttocks were even a bit unattractive. In the eyes of someone like Yang Chen, who was into fitness, this kind of figure was simply unbearable to look at, with zero appeal. But the general public only looks at the face, and it must be said that, judging solely by her face, this girl was stunning. Yang Chen smiled friendly at her. But unexpectedly, when Yang Chen smiled, the girl's mouth drooped and a hint of disgust flashed in her eyes. This obvious emotion naturally couldn't escape Yang Chen's eyes. The girl walked over with a sour face, as if someone owed her money. Shoya, find a storefront for this gentleman. The manager also noticed something, but since he had called her, he had no choice but to say it with a stiff face. Manager, I've already said it, I only serve female clients. Shoya said unhappily. At this moment, Yang Chen could hear the whispers of the people around him. Hey, it's starting. I heard that when she was at Shifang Real Estate, she only served female clients. Not exactly, I heard she also served male clients, but they had to be very refined, the kind she found attractive. What kind of beauty privilege is this? If you're so precious, why work in the service industry? I heard it's because she feels that all low-class men stare at her beauty, which makes her feel disgusted. There's nothing we can do, she does indeed look good, and her performance is outstanding, so she gets pampered wherever she goes. Colleagues were also whispering quietly. However, the manager's expression was not good. No matter how precious you are, you can't clash with your superiors in front of clients. Just as the manager was about to speak again, Yang Chen reached out his hand. It's the same for everyone, since there are rules, let's change to someone else, this young lady here. Yang Chen pointed to a bespectacled girl sitting there, staring blankly in this direction. He was easy to talk to, so since the other party didn't want to, why make things difficult for her? But the manager was a bit temperamental. I'm really sorry, sir, give me a moment, I must have her serve you today. The manager was afraid that Yang Chen would get angry and also wanted to establish his authority. If you don't want to do it, then get lost. So he turned around and was about to scold Xiaoya. Yang Chen, on the other hand, was helpless. I'm not angry, I'm in a hurry. She's no different from anyone else in my eyes, just do it quickly. But unexpectedly, this sentence from Yang Chen made Xiaoya give him another cold glance. No different from anyone else in his eyes? Hoof. She had seen too many people who pretended to be cool and caught her attention. She disdainfully looked at Yang Chen, but this also played right into her hands. No matter what, she wouldn't serve this disgusting person today if you can't see yourself, you're just as low as any man. Seeing Yang Chen say this, the manager took a deep breath to suppress his anger, beckoned to the girl with glasses, and then apologized to Yang Chen again. At this moment, Sun Anchi jumped in with two bottles of water. For a moment, all the men in the room were stunned. This reaction was normal. Wherever Sun Anchi went, she was an attention-grabbing focal point. She had a tall and fit figure, perfect curves, a slender waist, and an incredibly beautiful face. Especially her smile, playful and cheerful, like the sunshine in a sea of flowers. Her innocent temperament and seductive appearance were perfectly combined. She was the ideal image of every otaku's dream girl. Which one do you want? Sun Anchi walked to Yang Chen's side with a smile, holding a bottle of water and a bottle of drink mischievously in front of him. Drink the one you left. Yang Chen said impatiently, causing Sun Anchi to stick out her tongue and smile. Yang Chen understood her very well. She was a fitness enthusiast and didn't want to get fat from drinking soda, but she always wanted to take a sip. 
since the leftover drink couldn't be wasted, Yang Chen had to drink it. This slightly intimate conversation between the two immediately made everyone misunderstand their relationship. As for Xiaoya, her face turned gloomy, even a little incredulous. She didn't expect Yang Chen to have such a beautiful girlfriend, and those colleagues couldn't help but smirk. It was truly embarrassing for Xiaoya, who was indeed not bad, but compared to Sun Anqi, she was simply trash. Especially when comparing Sun Anchi's explosive and hot figure to Xiaoya's flat buttocks, the latter was simply nauseating. It seemed that what Yang Chen had just said about Xiaoya being no different from others was not a joke. After all, how could he be interested in Xiaoya when he slept with someone like Sun Anchi every day? A deep sense of frustration rose in Xiaoya's heart. At this moment, the manager added fuel to the fire. Well, Xiaoya, if you can't handle it, just continue sitting there. Kola, you take care of these two. The girl with glasses named Kola smiled and walked over, pushed her glasses, and greeted them with a silly smile. Xiaoya took a deep breath and sat back in her seat dejectedly. Her gaze kept looking over here, but she found that Yang Chen didn't even bother to look at her, which made her feel suffocated. Although Kola was a bit silly, she had a wealth of professional knowledge and didn't need to look up information for many shops. According to your requirements, there is a large duplex near Beijing Park, 538 square meters, with two floors. It is very suitable for high-end catering, and the owner is in urgent need of money, so it can be rented or sold. This location is just 100 meters away from the park's parking lot, surrounded by greenery, quiet yet bustling. The price is a bit high, but it's close to some busy commercial shops. Cola was also straightforward, saying it was expensive without any euphemism, leaving the manager speechless. Let's go, that's the one. Let's go take a look. Yang Chen didn't listen to anything else. Regardless of the price, this location was indeed the most suitable. Beijing Park was known as the green lung of the city, with abundant vegetation and a large flow of people. The surrounding shops were surrounded by greenery. Although they were not as eye-catching as the busy shops, Sun Anchi's plan was to open a healthy restaurant after all. What could be healthier than eating next to a green lung? Cola immediately made a phone call to the owner, and coincidentally, the owner was nearby. Yang Chan and the other two didn't delay and immediately drove there. As they approached Beicheng Park, the air became noticeably fresh and clean. Birds chirped in the woods, children played, and elderly people played chess. Occasionally, they could even hear the cracking sound of a fitness enthusiast's whip. It seemed that the industrial noise was isolated by a different kind of tranquility. Their mood became much more relaxed. They parked the car in front of the Target storefront. The street here was not wide, with a two-way single lane, but it only allowed access to and from the park, so there weren't many vehicles and the speed was slow as soon as they got out of the car, they saw a middle-aged man standing in front of the storefront, wearing a coat and smoking a cigarette. This man had a worried expression on his face as he stared into space. Hello, are you Mr. Zhao? The girl with glasses asked. Are you here to view the property? Please come inside, the man replied with a slight smile, putting out his cigarette and politely greeting them. The entrance of the store had a front porch, leading into a spacious hall with two pillars supporting the ceiling. It had a grand duplex structure. Ah, I've never rented it out since I bought it. Originally, I planned to use it myself after renovating it, but something came up at home and I needed money urgently, so I had to put it up for rent. If you're interested, the price is definitely fair. You can even buy it. The man said sincerely. Yang Chen and the others exchanged glances and felt that this place was perfect, so they didn't need to look elsewhere. However, just to be safe, they decided to explore both the upstairs and downstairs. They chatted with the man for a while and learned that both of his children had a serious illness called muscular dystrophy. To cure it, a special medicine had been developed in the country, but it cost more than $10 per dose. To have a chance at a cure, they needed at least 10 doses, not to mention the exorbitant hospital fees. The man showed them the thick stack of medical reports he carried with him, and Yang Chen and the others couldn't help but feel a pang of sadness. The once wealthy family had almost exhausted their resources, but they were still short of money. Yang Chen nodded and made up his mind. However, at that moment, a blue Maserati pulled up at the door, and a man and a woman got out of the car. The man had slicked back hair and was wearing black gloves. Surprisingly, the woman was Xiaoya, whom they had just seen at the real estate agency. She was holding some documents and led the man straight to them. When they were at the agency, Yang Chen and the others had just left when this man entered. Coincidentally, he was also interested in renting the storefront. Since Xiaoya had just called to confirm that the owner was here, they didn't need to greet the owner and rushed over. Yang Chen furrowed his brows. Although he didn't understand the rules of the agency, it didn't seem right to interfere with someone else's client. 
As soon as the man entered, he was stunned to see Sun Anchi and was amazed by her beauty, especially her figure. The man couldn't hide his admiration. He stared at Sun Anchi without blinking, causing her to furrow her brows. Who are you? The owner, Mr. Zhao, asked in confusion. We're also here to view the property. Since it's for rent or sale, my client also wants to take a look. He just returned from doing business in England. Xiaoya emphasized that he had just returned from England and glanced at Yang Chen intentionally or unintentionally. When she saw Yang Chen looking at her, she immediately turned her gaze to the side, feeling a sense of satisfaction. Yang Chen couldn't help but sneer. Her colleagues had been gossiping about how she didn't entertain male clients unless they were high class. It seemed that she considered this man to be high class. Indeed, the man was dressed in an expensive custom-made suit, wearing gloves, with slicked back hair, polite and with a slight stubble. Hello? He greeted the owner politely, nodding his head with a smile that exuded confidence. Um, would you mind waiting for a moment? They arrived first, and if they decide not to take it, then you can have a look, mister. Zhao said, feeling a bit embarrassed as he spoke to the man. Oh, it's no problem. The man said, waving his hand and then turning his head to smile at Sun Anchi. Miss, it's a pleasure to meet you. May I have the honor of getting to know you? Oh, to be honest, I've been in England for over 10 years and have never seen a girl as beautiful as you. As he spoke, he took off his gloves and bent down slightly in a very gentlemanly manner, extending his hand towards Sun Anchi. Obviously, he wanted to perform the noble gesture of kissing her hand. Sun Anchi politely waved her hand and said, Hi. That was considered a greeting, rejecting his hand-kissing gesture this made the man slightly embarrassed and he said, It's okay. Yang Chen and the others were all stunned by what he said. What does he mean by it's okay? It's as if someone did something wrong to him and he's apologizing. Xiaoya, with a cold face, said, Mr. Peter wants to perform a hand-kissing gesture with you. If you have manners, you should extend your hand and cooperate, instead of being ignorant of etiquette. Yang Chen smiled faintly and said, I suggest you read more books. Hand-kissing is for married women and it is forbidden to kiss the hands of young girls. If the woman doesn't extend her hand, there is no need to perform the hand-kissing gesture. Do you understand? Xiaoya's eyebrows furrowed and her face turned red with anger. Her intuition told her that what Yang Chen said might not be true and he was deliberately embarrassing her, but she didn't know if it was true or not. And she, as a fake foreigner, didn't refute it. Could it be that what he said was true? The girl with glasses chuckled. Xiaoya felt even more embarrassed. Peter, on the other hand, smiled like a gentleman and said repeatedly, It's okay, it's okay. Have you all decided on this store? I took a quick look and really liked it. I don't think I need to look at other stores, this one is perfect. Sorry, we have decided on it too. Sun Anchi said, looking at Yang Chen. Seeing Yang Chen nod, she smiled and nodded as well. Oh, since that's the case, I'm willing to give it to you. It would be uncivilized to compete with such a beautiful girl like you. Peter said with a smile. Yang Chen and the others were confused. It seemed like they were the ones who arrived first, and Mr. Zhao, the homeowner, even said first come, first served. How did it seem like they were snatching it from him? Yang Chen was starting to get annoyed. Have you negotiated the rent? Peter asked again. You don't need to worry about that. Sun Anchi said helplessly. Um, I'm just trying to express my goodwill. If you think the rent here is expensive, I have a solution. He looked at Sun Anchi expectantly. But when she didn't speak, he continued, I can buy this place and then rent it to you at a price that will make you happy. He said with a mischievous smile, this should have been a very romantic and pretentious statement, especially the way he said it so casually. Buying this place and then renting it to you, it seemed gentle and domineering. Peter was very confident, believing that no woman could resist his charm. So he showed a confident smile. At this moment, Mr. Zhao, the homeowner, asked excitedly, really? Peter nodded with a smile. Xiaoya proudly said, Mr. Peter's father has a decoration company in both England and China, and his wealth exceeds a hundred million. Peter smiled modestly, almost waving his hand to tell everyone to keep it low-key. Mr. Zhao helplessly said to Yang Chen, Brother, you know my situation. I really have no choice. If he buys it, I have to take the money first. Yang Chen immediately nodded. I understand, but I didn't say I'm not buying it. Ah, you're also buying it? Mr. Zhao asked in confusion. Why not? It's available for rent or sale, and we didn't plan to negotiate the rent after we finished looking at it. I was actually planning to buy it from the beginning. Yang Chen nodded. Sun Anchi secretly tugged at Yang Chen's sleeve, indicating that he shouldn't argue with others. So, since you're also buying it, why don't we compete with each other? 
The highest bidder wins, fair and just, how about that? Peter said happily. Seeing Xiaoya's little gesture, he felt both jealous and fortunate. Yang Chen probably didn't have that much money, or it would be very difficult for him. In any case, he couldn't surpass himself. Investing some money would allow him to showcase his strength in front of Sun Anchi in the worst case, I can sell it later as long as I can get a woman like Sun Anchi. Even if I lose money, it's worth it. That would be great. You go first. Yang Chen said with a smile. Peter also nodded and politely asked, Excuse me, sir, what is the selling price of your house? Well, I need money urgently now. If you are sincere about buying, I really don't want much. Let's set a price of $15. You know, this location is rare in the North City Park. Brother Zhao seemed a bit excited, afraid that he would refuse, and quickly explained. Unexpectedly, Peter interrupted him. Your price is very reasonable. I offer $15. 5. 50% down payment, the rest in installments. He believed that as long as he did a good job as a father and found an opportunity to sell later, he wouldn't lose much money. But today, he would definitely win a heart and a lease contract for his rental property at a low price. As long as Sun Anchi rented his shop, they would be landlord and tenant, and there would be opportunities for closeness. He would definitely get her sooner or later. Installments, okay. Brother Zhao hesitated for a moment. If he chose installment payments, he would have to wait for the loan approval, which would take some time. But where could he find a full payment customer with so much money? So he reluctantly accepted. However, he remembered something and turned to look at Yang Chen. Although he didn't have much hope, he actually didn't want Yang Chen to lose face. After all, he didn't really like this person. Clearly, he looked purely Chinese, but insisted on using a foreign name. Sir, it's your turn. Peter extended his hand gracefully. $100, full payment. Yang Chen didn't hesitate and held up one finger, saying five words. The room fell silent. Peter's face instantly fell. Mr. Yang, if you can't afford it, don't joke with me. There's no need to do this in front of your companion. Oh, by the way, there's a saying in your country. Pretending to be rich with a swollen face. Peter's gentlemanly demeanor disappeared, and he was very dissatisfied with Yang Chen's interference. Xiaoya looked disdainful and relieved at the same time because Yang Chen had embarrassed himself. What was he talking about, $100? Wasn't that just wishful thinking? She had just said that Peter's family had a net worth of over a hundred. So Xiaoya coldly said, can you stop embarrassing China? Yang Chen couldn't be bothered to pay attention to her and took out his wallet. He used to have seven or eight one hundred dollar bills under his bed, as well as a dozen or so small bills. At that time, it was his entire net worth, and he didn't bother to save it. He had put everything into his wallet while cleaning the house these past two days. Now, when he opened his wallet, several bright red $100 bills caught the eye, with a dazzling golden red line that shimmered like a diamond. That was the unique brilliance of the $100 bill. At this moment, Yang Chen intentionally turned his back to Sun Anchi, trying not to let her see. Otherwise, she would accuse him of treating her like a pig again. But Peter and the others could see clearly. Especially Brother Zhao, he saw it most clearly. Everyone was stunned on the spot. It was well known that only those with a net worth of over a thousand and after multiple verifications would be issued $100 bills. And it was a one-time verification, meaning you had to have at least $7,000 in personal assets to be issued seven $100 bills. Yang Chen took out one before Sun Anchi's curious eyes turned to him and put the wallet away. Mr. Peter, it's your turn. Yang Chen raised the $100 bill in his hand as a reminder. Peter finally came back to his senses from the shock. It was his turn? Their company's total assets were less than 150, and their available funds were only about 50 or 60 dollars. What could he use to continue bidding? But what he couldn't accept even more was that Yang Chen wasn't playing by the rules. He called 15, 5, and Yang Chen immediately called 100. He didn't even have the qualification to make a second bid. This is literally throwing money at oneself to death. But he quickly smirked again, unable to afford it himself, but it doesn't mean he lost. He clapped his hands twice. Ha, huh, this gentleman is indeed very wealthy, I just don't know how the homeowner will thank me for helping you raise the price. He finished speaking with a smug smile, feeling extremely satisfied, as if he were a highly intelligent winner. His tone even revealed that he deliberately raised the price to make Yang Chen pay more. Although Xiaoya was also shocked just now, she now breathed a sigh of relief and looked at Yang Chen with a look of contempt for a fool. Peter turned to Yang Chen and advised him with a serious tone, spending money like this, no matter how much wealth your parents have, it will eventually be squandered by you. I won't bid anymore, you win, he he he. He finished speaking with even more smugness. 
But Yang Chen still looked at him calmly and said with the same seriousness, $100 may be a huge sum in your eyes, after all, your perspective is limited. But in my eyes, $100 is just a drop in the bucket. I buy happiness for myself, without using your wealth to challenge my pocket change. Moreover, $15 may not be enough to save the lives of two children, right, Brother Zhao? Yang Chen's last sentence made Brother Zhao tremble all over. He looked at Yang Chen in astonishment. Brother, what you said. Is it true? One child needs eight doses, two children need sixteen doses, that should be enough. Yang Chen nodded and smiled. When Brother Zhao showed them the documents just now, Yang Chen had sharp eyes and saw two diagnosis reports, one was stage 2 and the other was stage 1, and they were both acquired diseases that could be cured with special medicine. Detected consumption, but the host still has suspicions of manipulating points, this time you have earned 100 points. Yang Chen smiled on his face, but his heart was in turmoil. Am I manipulating points? I'm just doing a good deed. He really had the intention of doing a good deed. Perhaps, the saying that the poor are cunning and the rich have a conscience is about people like him. Although he couldn't help the whole world, since he encountered it now, he was willing to accumulate some good karma. After all, with the system, $100 is really just a drop in the bucket, he can't even spend the monthly interest of over 10000 The homeowner's eyes turned red in an instant. Without saying a word, he gently pushed the glasses girl aside and slowly knelt down on the ground. His movements were not fast, but extremely determined. Sun Anchi and the glasses girl were close by and hurriedly reached out to support him. But they couldn't stop this man who had made up his mind, Brother Zhao fell to his knees. A man in his twenties, tears streaming down his face, unable to express his feelings. Yang Chen also trembled in his heart and stepped forward to pull Brother Zhao, who wanted to cow out, up forcefully. Brother Zhao, there's really no need for this. Brother Zhao just kept shaking his head, trying to speak, but only tears flowed, he couldn't say a word. Sun Anchi and the others felt distressed watching him. Peter looked at this scene with a blank face at first, he didn't know what was going on with Brother Zhao. But then his face became very gloomy. Yang Chen's words just now embarrassed him. And now it seems that $100 is not just a drop in the bucket for Yang Chen. This drop in the bucket has also helped a family on the verge of collapse. This is much nobler than his attempt to please Sun Anchi by pretending to buy this store. But he still didn't give up. I hope the landlord brother can also thank me a little. After all, if it weren't for my bidding, this gentleman wouldn't have raised the price to 100 out of anger, right? Although openly seeking credit like this is somewhat unpleasant, it sounds reasonable. He hoped that by saying this, at least Sun Anchi could see some of his contributions and not focus all her admiration on Yang Chen. But Yang Chen didn't give him a chance, if I had raised the price to 50, do you think you could afford it? Peter's face turned red instantly, and he was speechless for a moment. So, do you still think that my going to 100 has something to do with you? Even Xiaoya, who was standing beside them, felt sorry for Peter. Yang Chen didn't give Peter any chance to perform, and took all the credit for himself. But now she didn't dare to say anything. A person who can easily come up with $100 to buy a storefront is not someone she can afford to provoke. Although Peter's face was gloomy, he couldn't say anything else and could only snort coldly and leave. Xiaoya also glared at the girl with glasses resentfully and followed suit. If this deal really goes through for $100, the girl with glasses will earn a lot just from the commission. The agency fee is 1%, which is $1. After they left, Brother Zhao relaxed for a while, and Yang Chen wasted no time in asking the girl with glasses to call the manager. Everyone went to the housing management bureau for on-site transfer. Yang Chen paid the full agency fee as well. Just by paying the agency fee, he earned $100, and no one could stop him from spending money. Brother Zhao was also enthusiastic and insisted on taking Yang Chen and the girl with glasses to the hospital, one to verify his child's condition and reassure Yang Chen that he hadn't been deceived, and two to let his family thank this benefactor in person. Yang Chen and the girl with glasses refused on the grounds of having something to do, but they exchanged contact information and agreed to keep in touch in the future. They could all imagine that once they went to the hospital, their family would definitely be crying and kneeling, and Yang Chen didn't want to shorten his life. After finishing all the matters, it was already evening. Although you did it to help him, buying this shop for $100, we won't be able to earn it back. Sitting in the car, Sun Anji pouted and looked conflicted. She knew Yang Chen had money, but she didn't expect him to have so much money, enough to come up with $100. Of course, she also supported Yang Chen in helping brother Zhao, but this was a big loss, and opening a restaurant would never earn it back in a lifetime. You don't understand, this is called accumulating virtue. And do you know, from a feng shui perspective, this shop is extremely prosperous for me. As long as I buy it, I can earn back $100 in 10 days or half a month. 
Yang Chen excitedly spouted nonsense. Ah, really? Sun Anqi's mouth also whitened in surprise. More real than pearls. Yang Chen smiled and started the car, taking the excited Sun Anqi to see the shop again. When they arrived in front of the shop, they got out of the car. But at that moment, Yang Chen suddenly caught sight of someone at the street corner, seemingly looking at him. He turned his head abruptly, and the person was startled, immediately disappearing. Although it was almost dark, with the street lights just coming on, with Yang Chen's current vision, he could see everything clearly even a hundred meters away. He stood there dumbfounded, as if struck by lightning. That person looked exactly like the person in his memory. His own biological mother. Was it an illusion? His mother was already dead. Yang Chen instantly regained his senses and rushed towards that street corner. In the time it took for Sun Anqi to turn her head, the person was gone. She immediately called out in confusion, not knowing what had happened. Yang Chen ran to the street corner and saw that familiar figure turning into an alley. Their footsteps seemed slow but urgent. Yang Chen accelerated and caught up again. With his running speed, people around could still see a figure passing by, but they couldn't see his face clearly. That figure seemed to be surprised by Yang Chen's speed. After entering the alley, she suddenly increased her pace. The two of them began to chase each other in the alley. Yang Chen was secretly shocked. The person in front of him was running faster than him, even though he had enhanced himself by over a thousand points, and she seemed to be effortlessly gliding through. Stop! Stop! Yang Chen shouted twice. Hearing this shout, the figure clearly hesitated. She paused for two seconds in place, turned her head slightly, glanced at Yang Chen, and then made a move that left Yang Chen dumbfounded. She stomped on the wall and leaped three to five meters, like a dragonfly skimming the water, and then stomped on the opposite wall the whole person unexpectedly soared more than ten meters in the air, and the first contact jumped to the mid-air. The third time, the tip of the foot lightly touched the terrace on the fifth floor of the hotel, like a soaring arrow, disappearing into Yang Chen's sight in the night sky. The black clothes fluttered, and she moved nimbly on the eaves. Yang Chen stood dumbfounded, leaning against the wall. He couldn't believe what he saw before his eyes. What is this? A martial arts movie? He took two deep breaths and quickly walked to the wall, looking at the spot where she had stepped on, the wall was not damaged much, only a shallow and unbelievable shoe print. He couldn't even tell what type of shoes it was. Yang Chen didn't give up, he looked up anxiously. Soon, he found his target. A surveillance camera. The surveillance camera happened to capture the angle of that woman just now, and she stayed for a moment. This is the back alley of a large hotel. Yang Chen followed her into this hotel. The hotel is not too big or high-end. Yang Chen rushed in without saying a word and threw a one-cent coin at the front desk. In order to facilitate use, Yang Chen exchanged dozens of one-cent coins. After all, he couldn't just take out a one-dollar bill casually, as people often couldn't give change. The front desk personally led the way to the surveillance room. Yang Chen spent another one-cent coin, and the security guard in charge of the surveillance became Yang Chen's little brother. Brother, you can adjust it as you like. I have the manager's secret photos here. The back alley, three minutes ago. Hurry. Okay. The security guard skillfully operated the equipment. When he adjusted to the back alley, Yang Chen's spirits lifted. It seemed that this woman knew there was a camera here. She intentionally lowered her head, and when she turned around, only one side of her face was visible. Moreover, the quality of the surveillance footage was average, not very clear. But it was this side face that shook Yang Chen's heart fiercely. He was 100% sure that this person was his biological mother. He would never mistake his own mother. I want this recording, Yang Chen said in a deep voice. Okay. Without hesitation, the security guard immediately made a copy of the video and even gave Yang Chen a USB flash drive as a gift. After thanking him, Yang Chen didn't pay attention to anything else and turned around to leave quickly. However, the security guard was puzzled for a moment, and his expression gradually changed. He took out his phone and dialed a number. Hello, manager, the person you mentioned in the notice just came to our place. He took away a section of the surveillance footage. Okay, I'll send you the surveillance footage right away. At the same time, at the Zhao family's residence. Although Zhao Yiming hated eating at home, Zhao Huashan had a rule that if there were no formal social engagements, they must have dinner together at home. After all, the Zhao family was a decent family and had traditions to uphold. Zhao Yiming impatiently finished his meal, his mind filled with thoughts of going to the bar with friends. He heard Zhao Xiaoman's phone ring, receiving a message accompanied by a video. Zhao Xiaoman intended to take a quick look and continue eating, but as soon as he played the video, he stopped eating. What's wrong, Xiaoman? Zhao Huashan asked in confusion. Zhao Xiaoman didn't say anything, but after watching it, she watched it again. 
It was a segment of surveillance footage, and she watched it three times before handing the phone to Zhao Wushan with a complex expression of shock and disbelief in her eyes. I've been keeping an eye on Yang Chen recently. This is footage taken by one of our hotels. Yang Chen just rushed into the hotel and bought this recording. Zhao Huashan took the phone and looked at it. The video showed two people chasing each other to the end of an alley, one man and one woman. The woman disappeared after a moment, while the man stood there in a daze for a long time. It was Yang Chen. However, he still looked at Zhao Xiaoman with confusion. This was just a chase video, but judging from Zhao Xiaoman's expression, she obviously knew something. Do you know this woman? Zhao Xiaoman nodded and took back her phone. She paused the screen on the woman's face and then hurried upstairs. Zhao Huashan and the others were stunned for a moment. After a while, Zhao Xiaoman came downstairs with a stack of documents and handed them to Zhao Huashan. I have always been interested in this mysterious organization, and I have also studied this woman. If I'm not mistaken, she should be a member of the Hujun Sword. Hujun Sword. Zhao Huashan took the documents and frowned. He had only heard of this name, but because they were somewhat distant from him, he hadn't paid much attention to it. Or rather, he hadn't reached that level yet. He briefly looked through the information his daughter had collected. Although they were all some vague things, there were a few side profile photos that surprised Zhao Huashan. He compared them with his phone and the two side profile photos had almost the same angle, definitely the same person. Zhao Huashan was shocked and looked at Zhao Xiaoman. Zhao Xiaoman also looked at him with a complex expression. I didn't expect you to be interested in such things. How much do you know about the Hujun Sword? I only know that it is an organization with many top talents, and there are rumors that they are actually an ancient martial arts organization that flourished during the Yongjing period. There are many unknown things about them. A hint of excitement flashed in Zhao Xiaoman's eyes. She loved studying these mysterious things the most. Hmm, I have also heard of it, the Hujun Sword. I just don't know their nature, whether they are a folk organization or have official connections. But no matter which one, I have heard that they have offended many people. That's right, they are known as protectors and have secretly dealt with countless criminal forces. They have offended numerous domestic and foreign powers. So I was thinking. Zhao Xiaoman's expression turned gloomy. What are you thinking? I suspect that this woman is likely to be related to them, maybe even a blood relative. Because I couldn't find any information about this Yang Chen, it's very likely that it's the work of the Hujun Sword. If we can find more evidence to prove their blood relationship, I believe that this evidence can definitely be sold at a good price, even skyrocketing. Zhao Xiaoman said excitedly. If her guess was correct, then the relatives of the Hujun Sword could be used as leverage against them, and she believed that many superpowers or families would be willing to pay for this information. Zhao Huashan's eyes also lit up, and he looked at his daughter with increasing admiration. That's easy, I'll find someone to break one of his legs and see if this so-called sword will come to his rescue. Zhao Yiming also became excited and couldn't help but shout. Zhao Huashan glared at him. When will you learn from your sister and use your brain? Zhao Xiaoman said, Yiming, your thinking is correct, but we can't do it ourselves. We need to learn how to use others as a tool to kill. Even if the Hujun Sword seeks revenge, it won't fall on us. But we will have collected the evidence, which is the best strategy. First, we establish a conflict with him to make him lower his guard, so that we can monitor him. Then we can redirect the conflict to other families. Zhao Huashan nodded approvingly and instructed, Hmm, but remember, not a single bit of information should leak out. If any news gets out, not only will there be a risk of retaliation from the Hujun Sword, but once those big families and powerful forces get involved, our Zhao family will have nothing to do with it. Understood. Their voices became quieter as they began to plot. After Yang Chen returned to the store, Sun Anqi asked him for a long time, and Yang Chen made up an excuse about meeting an acquaintance. But next, they had to focus on renovating the shop and hiring workers. This was the time for Sun Anqi to demonstrate her abilities. Even though Yang Chen had spent so much money, he didn't intervene and let her handle everything Yang Chen gave her $5 as startup capital. He had to go home to find his brother. The next morning, Yang Chen called Li Mei and Xian Xiaohu. I'm going back to the county for a few days. If Sun Anqi doesn't ask for your help, don't interfere. Hmm, why doesn't Anqi need help? Yang Chen didn't ask why he was going to the county, but he was curious why he wasn't allowed to help. Anqi is a strong girl. She's always afraid that Su Shi will treat her as a vase. She wants to prove her ability to Su Shi. In fact, Anqi is not only a national level nutritionist, but also an ACN international advanced nutritionist and a senior chef. If it weren't for age restrictions, she would probably be a top chef. Li Mei smiled and said, she had already captured Sun Anchi's heart, and now Sun Anchi treated her as an older sister and told her everything. 
Qian Xiaohu was stunned. This girl was not simple. He looked at Yang Chen in surprise. Yang Chen shrugged and gave him a look that said, Don't get excited. I was even more confused when I found out. By the way, do you know anyone who is smart, can drive, and can be trusted? I need an assistant. Yang Chen knew how important an assistant and driver were from his experience as a boss. There were many time-consuming tasks that would drain your energy and slow down your efficiency when you needed to focus on certain things. Even if you were just running errands in the city, finding a parking space alone could take a long time. Plus, he was currently focused on investigating his mother's situation, so even navigating to the county seemed troublesome. Qian Xiaohu immediately nodded. Yes. Well, I'm going to have breakfast. Let him come as soon as possible. After Yang Chen finished speaking, he sent the two away. 45 minutes later, Yang Chen looked at the familiar figure in front of him with a black line on his face, speechless. General Su, Lin Yuron, dressed professionally in a tight skirt and high heels, with a stunning figure and a sweet and shy smile. Did Chen Xiaohu send you here? Yes. I'm good at driving. Lin Yurong raised her hand to guarantee. Are you here to drive or to ride? Can you drive in those shoes? Yang Chen asked impatiently. I brought shoes and clothes. Lin Yurong immediately pulled a bag next to her. Obviously, Xian Xiaohu sent her in a hurry, and she didn't even have time to change clothes. Um, where can you change? Yang Chen was speechless. In the car. Lin Yurong said without waiting for Yang Chen's consent, afraid that he would drive her away. She opened the car door and got into the back seat. Yang Chen rubbed his forehead. In just a few seconds, Lin Yurong jumped out of the back seat. She had changed into a tight t-shirt and jeans, with a more stunning figure. She also changed into sneakers and tied up the back of her hair. She looked more casual. She smiled and stretched out her hands, showing off her figure and clothes, as if asking for Yang Chen's praise. After all, changing clothes in such a small space and at such a fast speed required great flexibility. Get in the car. Yang Chen symbolically gave her a thumbs up, then threw the car keys to her and sat in the passenger seat. Lin Yurong quickly tidied up the clothes in the back seat and stuffed them into a corner. Then she straightened her clothes and got into the car, looking very nervous. How could she not be nervous? This was the person even Qian Xiaohu worshipped like a god. And she was about to become his driver and assistant. How many opportunities like this would there be in life? Whether she could stay by Yang Chen's side for a long time would depend on her performance today. As soon as Yang Chen got in the car, he could smell a strong fragrance, not overpowering, probably the scent of freshly changed clothes. After Lin Yurong got in the car, there was an even more unique and pleasant fragrance that made Yang Chen feel very comfortable. Just from this scent, Yang Chen already liked it, so he would give it a 7 out of 10. Let's drive. Hmm. Unexpectedly, Lin Yurong was indeed a competent driver, driving fast and steady, even better than Yang Chen. Here. Yang Chen immediately gave the address, and Lin Yurong navigated a complex route, including both provincial and county roads. No wonder Yang Chen found it troublesome. But he entrusted everything to her, so Yang Chen took out his phone and repeatedly watched that video, not knowing what he was thinking. Lin Yurong didn't dare to ask either. Although Yang Chen's hometown was also in Yunhai province, it was at least 150 kilometers away from Tianbei city, and there was no highway. So they set off in the morning and didn't arrive until around 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Along the way, Yang Chen took over driving for Lin Yurong for a while. He planned to surprise his brother, so Yang Chen didn't call in advance. This county town was considered a mountainous area, and in recent years, it had become a small tourist attraction after development. There was only one road, but it had already been widened. Just after passing the county border sign, there appeared a roadblock ahead, with two people standing on either side, looking like a family, both men and women. They waved their hands from a distance, signaling for the car to stop. Yang Chen frowned, he remembered that there were no checkpoints in this place, and this checkpoint looked very rudimentary, with manually operated barriers. Toll is 50 cents. A middle-aged woman approached the car window and extended five fingers towards Yang Chen. Yang Chen looked at her, she wasn't wearing a uniform, no badge. When she spoke, those people surrounded them, sizing up this unusually powerful car. Road bullies. Yang Chen could tell at a glance that these people were probably illegally collecting tolls. If it were any other time, Yang Chen would definitely teach them a lesson, but now he was in a hurry to see his brother, so he wasn't in the mood. He took out a 50 cent bill and handed it to the woman. Seeing that he didn't even haggle over the price and was so straightforward, the woman was delighted. She took the money, and the two men lifted the roadblock and let them pass. As soon as their car passed, the woman took out her phone and said a few words on WeChat. In the car, Lin Yurong bit her lip and asked softly, Mr. 
Sue, they don't seem very legitimate, do they? Be confident, remove the seam, they are road bullies. In recent years, there's a popular spot called Persimmon Slope behind our county. Many internet celebrities come here to take photos. They're probably relying on this for a living. I'll deal with them when I come back. Yang Chen leaned back in his seat, trying to relieve the stiffness in his neck from sleeping. But the car hadn't even driven 200 meters when another family appeared in front of them. Several people in front waved their hands, signaling for them to stop, and two men even dragged out two road barriers from the side of the road and blocked the way. Yang Chen narrowed his eyes slightly. Lin Yurong also pouted in anger. This is too domineering. If she had driven a little faster, they would have passed this roadblock by now. She didn't expect them to temporarily pull out road barriers from the side of the road just to collect tolls. Stop the car. Yang Chen said coldly. Lin Yurong felt a sense of hostility emanating from Yang Chen, and she quickly stuck out her tongue and slowly stopped the car. Yang Chen got out of the car. The whole family immediately surrounded them, also a group of people. The leader was a middle-aged woman in her fifties, followed by two young men and an old man. Toll is eighty cents. The middle-aged woman approached the car and glanced inside, saying to Yang Chen, Eighty cents? You're even more extortionate than the previous family. Yang Chen snorted coldly, looking at the bulging waist pouch of the middle-aged woman, which was filled with cash. What do you mean by extortionate? This is a tourist attraction. Where do you go on a trip without buying a ticket? The woman's eyebrows furrowed, showing her yellow teeth as she spoke, Did I say I came here for tourism? If you say it's not tourism, then it's not? If everyone who comes here says they're from here, then no one should pay. Stop talking nonsense and pay up quickly. You can't leave without paying, the woman said impatiently. Can't leave? Are you saying I can't even go back if I want to? Yang Chen asked with interest. You can't go anywhere. Once you enter the scenic area, you have to buy a ticket. The woman suddenly became angry, revealing her true face as a bully, shouting at Yang Chen. At the same time, two young men rolled up their sleeves and walked towards them aggressively. Lin Yorong was frightened. Afraid that they would really start a fight, she quickly took out her phone from her bag and secretly called Xiao Hu for help. Yang Chen, on the other hand, looked coldly at the woman. What if I insist on leaving today? You want to leave? Where do you think you're going? You came here without paying and you still want to leave. The woman shouted angrily and slammed her hand heavily on the car hood, as if it would increase her momentum. Lin Yorong was indeed startled. Do you see what's on the ground? It's blood. One of the young men came forward and pointed at the dried bloodstains on the asphalt road. Yang Chen looked and indeed, there were large dried bloodstains on the ground, not just one, but even on the side of the road. Oh, is it all the driver's blood? Yang Chen asked. The young man snorted coldly. We have more than 10 people here, and if we shout, there are still half a village worth of people. Guess whose blood it could be? Really? I don't believe it. Yang Chen chuckled and quoted a classic line from a famous master. You don't believe it, huh? The young man behind him looked like a tough guy. His face twisted, and he quickly walked up, pulling out a baton from behind his waist. With a loud snap, he swung it towards Yang Chen's head. Yang Chen's heart sank. This was a thug. He wouldn't even give you a warning before attacking. Without saying a word, he swung the baton towards his head, hoping to draw blood with one hit, scaring the person to the point of wetting their pants. How much to give, how much to give? This was no longer a trivial matter. He's ruthless. Yang Chen cruelly smiled and reached out to grab the baton coming at him. His speed was beyond what the young man could comprehend. Before the baton could even fall, there was already a dull cracking sound as Yang Chen snatched the baton away. Yang Chen didn't want to smash it on his head, as that would make him lose consciousness immediately, which would be meaningless. The young man was dumbfounded. He only felt a tremendous force breaking his fingers and snatching the baton away. But the next second, he felt a sharp pain in his knee. Yang Chen kicked his knee, and his leg snapped back. A heart-wrenching scream echoed as the young man rolled on the ground, clutching his leg. Yang Chen raised the baton and struck his shoulder socket fiercely. Two dull thuds. The shoulder socket collapsed. The young man couldn't even make a sound this time, the pain making it difficult for him to breathe. The other young man went crazy when he saw his brother injured and pulled out a hammer from somewhere. He also swung it at Yang Chen. Yang Chen did the same. He snatched the baton and smashed the young man's wrist, then kicked his leg, and finally smashed it on his shoulder socket. The young man instantly became immobile. The old man had nothing in his hands, so when he pounced, Yang Chen kicked him and sent him flying three meters away, clutching his stomach like a dead dog unable to get up. Ah! Murder! Help! The woman went crazy and screamed. Lin Yurong in the car was so scared that she dropped her phone. Who was this Su Zong? 
he's a martial arts master, he easily took down three men in no time. This was too terrifying. At this moment, many villagers from the nearby village heard the commotion and ran over to watch. And from the direction Yang Chen and the others had come from, several people quickly ran towards them. It was the family from the first toll booth the leader is also a middle-aged woman, followed by two young men and a woman. Obviously, these two checkpoints are a family. When they saw the two young men fall to the ground, these people didn't hesitate to attack. Yang Chen didn't retreat, but instead moved forward, swinging his club and causing bone-breaking screams. Yang Chen showed no mercy, breaking at least three limbs. Soon, seven people were rolling on the ground, wailing and screaming. Only the middle-aged woman from the second checkpoint remained. Yang Chen turned around and looked at the onlookers from half the village. At this time, this group of people had already gathered from the field and many of them were holding shovels and picks, seemingly ready to join in at any moment. But most of the people were just bystanders, only there to watch the excitement. Lin Yurong, drive forward. Yang Chen kicked the roadblock to the side and said to Lin Yurong, Although there was no blood on his club, it was clearly bent. It was terrifying to bend something made of pure steel. Lin Yurong snapped out of her shock and swallowed hard, quickly starting the car. However, the middle-aged woman suddenly rushed to the front of the car. This was a desperate move. She was certain that Yang Chen would never kill anyone. As long as she wasn't killed, she would make Yang Chen pay dearly. And in her eyes, this whole family hadn't shed a drop of blood. They were just pretending to be injured when they lay on the ground. She had never experienced the feeling of broken bones, so she naturally didn't know. You can't leave. If you dare, run me over. Otherwise, you won't leave today. She said, sitting on the ground. Hit her. Yang Chen immediately told Lin Yorong. Lin Yorong was startled by these two words. The woman was also taken aback. For a moment, she really felt that Yang Chen would dare to do it. Hit her. Don't make me do it myself. Yang Chen shouted at Lin Yorong. Lin Yorong took a deep breath. Although she was scared, seeing Yang Chen's methods just now, if she had to do it herself, someone would probably die today. Lin Yorong screamed, closed her eyes, and stepped on the gas pedal. The car roared like a fierce beast. In the woman's eyes, the front of the car seemed to magnify infinitely. She screamed in panic and tried to run, but it was too late. Just as she turned to the side, the heavy car body rolled over her leg. After the front wheel passed, the rear wheel followed. After two clicks, the car stopped, and Lin Yorong was scared and covered in sweat. The woman's screams instantly drowned out the cries of the other seven members of her family. Now the whole family was in perfect order. Hey, don't go too far. Someone in the village immediately shouted. This shout caused the villagers to start discussing the situation. And the people from the other checkpoints in front also rushed over after hearing the news. There were at least 20 of them. Obviously, on this road, there were more than just these two checkpoints. This group of people all held weapons in their hands, clubs, hammers, baseball bats. Young man, give them some money and leave quickly. For the sake of 80 cents, how much medical expenses will you have to pay now? Quickly give them some money for treatment, negotiate and leave, don't go too far. Don't keep doing this. An old man among the villagers stood up and advised, the second half of his words naturally directed at the road bullies. That's right, let's negotiate, but don't fight anymore. This guy has a gang behind him, and if something bad happens, it won't end well. Some middle-aged women also advised. They didn't know that some of the family members lying on the ground had already been disabled by Yang Chen. The group of road bullies looked at each other. They were usually very united. They understood that they would rise and fall together. But Yang Chen had disabled all eight of them by himself, which was definitely a tough situation. If they went up and really caused serious harm, the final outcome wouldn't be good either. This is a tourist area. We could have called the police for your intrusion. Give us one cent and leave. They don't dare to ask for too much. It would be troublesome if they really push Yang Chen too far. One cent? Yang Chen snorted coldly. After the devaluation of the world, he found that many old sayings no longer applied, such as I won't give you a single cent today. Because they actually want one cent. Yang Chen raised the baton in his hand and pointed at the gangsters word by word, saying, Listen to me carefully. Even if there are 10 times more of you today, I dare to fight. If I cripple you, I can afford all the medical expenses. I can cover your lifetime hospitalization fees. I will give all this money to the hospital, and you won't get a single cent. And not only will I cripple you, but I will also sue you for intentional harm, setting up roadblocks, and endangering public security. I will hire the best lawyer and make you bankrupt. If you don't agree, take one step forward. Yang Chen looked around at the crowd, his voice not loud, but every word clear. Damn it, can we let a little breath scare us? 
Don't even think about doing this again in the future. One of the gangsters twisted the muscles on his face and said coldly, Charge, one dollar each, beat them to death with sticks, the law won't hold us accountable. One of the gangsters hidden among the crowd incited. They had considered the worst case scenario more than once. Even if someone died, they could bribe the local authorities. With so many people attacking together, who would know who killed the person? This was their reliance in robbing and extorting on the road. Anger erupted in Yang Chen's heart. Beat them to death with sticks. The law won't hold us accountable. These eight words sentenced any driver who dared to resist to death. Just think, if it wasn't for him here today, but someone else, how desperate would they be when this group of people swarmed them? Charge! Charge! After a few consecutive shouts to boost their courage, the blood rushed to their heads, and the impulse of the devil often appeared in an instant. Yang Chen was not afraid at all. Even if the baton fell on him now, at most, he would be in a sorry state. It wouldn't be easy to actually hurt him. Just then, a louder shout came from behind the gangsters. A dense crowd of people instantly blocked the road, enclosing them in a semicircle. Several leaders kicked the gangsters aside and stood out from the crowd. The leader, a man in a suit, glanced at his phone and then at Yang Chen standing proudly in front. His eyes lit up, and he quickly ran over. Yang Chen turned his head and saw Lin Yurong. He saw Lin Yurong holding a phone, looking at him in shock. Unexpectedly, this girl was quite clever. She must have been the first to call Chen Xiaohu. Master Su, the leader in the suit and a few others ran up to Yang Chen and respectfully bowed their heads. Hmm, you came quickly. Yang Chen had no intention of blaming them, but the man in the suit trembled, thinking that Yang Chen was being sarcastic, and said fearfully, I received a call from Boss Qi, so I immediately sent people over. Yang Chen nodded. The Boss Qi they mentioned should be Qi Yinfei. Do your people have any gangsters? Yang Chen asked coldly. The man in the suit immediately shook his head vigorously, like a tambourine. No, absolutely not. We are all legitimate businesses here. We have a bar, two KTVs, a western restaurant, and... Stop. Yang Chen interrupted him, then looked at the gangsters. At this moment, the man in the suit had brought over more than a hundred people, while there were only about twenty gangsters. They were surrounded by the man's people and were looking around in fear. They looked at Yang Chen with an incredulous gaze. Who exactly was he? Even the local gangsters in Hahua County showed such respect to him? I am from Hahua County. I haven't been home for a long time, and I didn't expect to receive such treatment when I returned home. Yang Chen shook his head and sighed. When these gangsters heard that Yang Chen was from Hahua County, they were all dumbfounded. There was no need for him to lie now in that case, it's really not worth it. They don't usually rob people from our county. B. Brother, we didn't know you were from our county. Why didn't you say so earlier? Exactly. If you had said you were from our county, we wouldn't have had this misunderstanding. Yeah, a misunderstanding. It's all a misunderstanding. The leader of the group of burly thugs laughed and said, pushing the blame onto the roadblock family. Yang Chen sneered and his voice turned cold. Is this a big deal? I don't think so. Break all their legs, I want them to spend the rest of their lives in wheelchairs. The man in the suit didn't even hesitate, he turned around and waved his hand. Get them. These thugs never expected that Yang Chen would actually take action. How many people were there? Over 20, plus the 8 he had already beaten. This was already a group. Not to mention the villagers from the nearby village. Even the most powerful person would consider the seriousness of the situation. They had pinpointed the loophole that the law does not hold the masses accountable. Even the Yaman dared not punish so many people at once, for fear of provoking public anger and a backlash. But today, Yang Chen was specifically holding the masses accountable. And he was holding them accountable to the extreme. 100 against 20, they had no chance to fight back. The screams were earth-shattering. The thugs were blocked by the first wave and couldn't even run away. There were also 30 people on the outskirts who couldn't intervene, specifically blocking the thugs who tried to escape from the crowd. Once caught, they were beaten to death. Yang Chen glanced at the villagers and pointed at them, shouting, Keep an eye on them. If anyone dares to take out their phones, smash them along with the person. There were also 50 to 60 villagers here. Among them, there were actually more than 10 young ones who had wanted to take out their phones to record, but they were afraid of getting into trouble. When Yang Chen said this, they were even more scared and wished to raise their hands to prove their innocence. Many villagers were so scared that they even threw away the weapons in their hands. The group of villagers who had planned to help were now filled with fear. This Yang Chen was simply insane. Not only did he beat up all the thugs, but his words clearly told them that he would still dare to fight if they dared to get involved. He seemed to have no fear of things escalating. He gave people the feeling that he could take on anyone. 
Soon, the agonizing screams of the thugs made everyone's hearts race. They quickly made way, and the ground was already stained with blood, most of which was vomited by the thugs. Some had lost their teeth, while others had swollen faces. Yang Chen walked up to a burly thug with a face full of flesh and squatted down. He was the one who most resembled a gangster among them. He was also the one with the strongest murderous aura. Yang Chen absolutely believed that there were lives on his hands. Yang Chen smiled faintly, is it fun? The burly thug's mouth was bleeding, and half of his face was too swollen to open his eyes. Beating people to death with a stick, and the law doesn't hold the masses accountable. TSK TSK, you guys are really geniuses. It's true, there's no surveillance here. If I disperse the crowd before the law enforcement team arrives, even if they find these villagers, they won't be able to help law enforcement catch these people one by one. Even if they catch them, there won't be enough evidence. I have to thank you guys. Yang Chen flicked the stick in his hand and poked the burly thug's face. The burly thug and his companions had already lost hope. They begged Yang Chen incoherently, but unfortunately, Yang Chen couldn't hear what they were saying. He stood up and took out $50 from his wallet and handed it to the man in the suit. Take this money, find three lawyers, and form a small team to collect evidence of all the road thugs, village thugs, illegal profits, intentional injuries, and so on in Hellion County. Once there is enough evidence for conviction, hand it over to the Yaman and let the lawyers help prosecute them. Divide the remaining money among the brothers, protect Hawa County well. You can take a little more, but if I find out you're keeping it all for yourself, I won't spare you. The man in the suit trembled as he looked at the $50 bill with gold thread, nodding repeatedly. The brothers around him were also impressed. They didn't know who this boss was, but he was definitely the richest and most arrogant boss they had ever seen. Hearing Yang Chen's words and seeing him casually take out a $50 bill, this group of road bullies finally realized that they had messed with the wrong person. Their lives were completely ruined. Not only were their legs broken, but they also faced imprisonment. They knew best how many things they had done themselves. There was not a single innocent person among them, especially the family that was initially defeated by Yang Chen. They deeply regretted their actions. Yang Chen would rather spend $50 to make them suffer for the rest of their lives than give them 80 cents. If they had accepted Yang Chen's 50 cents at the beginning and let him pass without causing trouble, they would still be happy road bullies, living a life of luxury. They had just reached their peak in the past two years. Unfortunately, there is no cure for regret. The villagers listened to these words clearly and turned their heads towards the village, not daring to mention anything about today's events if someone asked them about it in the future. Jokingly, who would dare to provoke this star of disaster? He would spend money to make sure you never have peace for the rest of your life. Moreover, these road bullies deserved their punishment. Clear them all to the side of the road and disperse quickly. Yang Chen ordered the man in the suit after the villagers had run away. Everyone agreed in unison. Amidst the screams of pain, they dragged the people with broken arms and legs to the side of the road. Drive. Yang Chen got into the car as well. The man in the suit and the others watched as Yang Chen's car drove away before allowing everyone to retreat. The whole incident took just over 10 minutes. Now, there were only more than 30 road bullies crying in pain on the side of the road, leaving nothing behind. As for the law enforcement team, they had just crossed the county border. Even if they were in the county, they might not have been able to provide support so quickly. Hawa County was not small, with a population of nearly 300,000. After entering the mountain city, the air became fresher, much better than in Tian Bay City. Well done. After driving for a while, Yang Chen smiled and praised Lin Yurong, who had been tense the whole time. Lin Yurong breathed a sigh of relief when she heard Yang Chen speak and opened up. You scared me to death. Phew. So many people, luckily that man in the suit arrived in time. It's all thanks to you. Yang Chen chuckled. Lin Yurong blushed instantly. She shyly pursed her lips and muttered, I've been driving for so long, and this is the first time I've hit someone. Have you ever thought about what would have happened if I couldn't fight back? With your figure and looks, what do you think would have happened to you? Yang Chen asked. Lin Yurong took a deep breath and thought for a moment before nodding. The consequences would have been unimaginable. Don't call me General Su, it sounds awkward. Just call me Teacher Su. Yang Chen had experienced the failure of starting a business, so for a period of time, he felt a strong aversion to being called General Su. Those two words reminded him of those dark days. Lin Yurong nodded heavily and smiled sweetly. The fact that he corrected her meant that Yang Chen approved of her. Otherwise, he wouldn't have bothered to correct her. This meant that she was officially Yang Chen's person from now on. The car entered the county town and finally, at the end of a long street, they saw the two-story house of her brother. 
The not-so-spacious yard had its gate open, and a familiar figure came into Yang Chen's view as he stood at the gate. Brother! Yang Chen stood at the gate, looking at the figure repairing a car in the yard, feeling as if he had traveled through time Su Licha was startled by the sound and turned around in surprise, revealing a genuine and radiant smile on his face. Xiao Er, he put down the inner tube in his hand and stood up excitedly. I'm back. Bishia. Come out quickly, Xiao Er is back. Su Lichio quickly wiped his hands and shouted into the house. Then he saw Lin Yurong behind Yang Chen and couldn't help but be amazed. He hurriedly leaned over to Yang Chen's ear and whispered in excitement, You brought someone back without telling me in advance. I haven't prepared anything. The house is also a mess. You really? Yang Chen didn't have time to explain yet. Chen Bixia, wearing an apron, ran out of the house. Although Chen Bixia was not stunning, she was pleasant to look at. She was a simple and honest woman, just like her brother. But for Yang Chen, Chen Bixia treated him like a real younger brother. It was thanks to Yang Chen's financial support that Su Lichou and Chen Bixia were able to get married and have a house and a wedding banquet. Since Yang Chen's parents died, the two brothers had relied on each other. They lived by selling their family property for a year or two and Su Lichio realized that they couldn't continue like this. So he resolutely dropped out of school and gave his brother the opportunity to study. As for himself, he carried his brother on his shoulders and worked hard on construction sites at the age of 13 to support him through high school and college. Yang Chen also worked hard, day and night, without even having time to go home, just to make his brother live a good life. They earned two houses in two or three years. Of course, in the end, they paid a price for being too radical. Sister-in-law, Yang Zi. This, this is, come in quickly, let's talk inside. Chen Bixia was happy to see Yang Chen, and even happier when she saw Lin Yurong behind him. But she didn't dare to admit it, so she can only hide her smile and let the two of them come in quickly. Yang Chen didn't bother to explain either. He immediately grabbed his brother's hand and walked into the house together. Su Lichio and Chen Bixia were overjoyed. Although Yang Chen didn't admit it, they were both very enthusiastic towards Lin Yurong. They poured water for her, asked about her well-being, and made Lin Yurong feel overwhelmed with favor. They even neglected Yang Chen in the process. Sister-in-law, I haven't eaten yet, do you plan to starve me? Yang Chen said impatiently. Hey, you're just like your brother, always thinking about eating. I'll go buy groceries for you guys. We'll have braised meat tonight. Chen Bixia scolded, but her face was full of smiles as she took off her apron and prepared to leave. They were in the breakfast business, and she was just about to stir-fry some pickles for tomorrow. You go with sister-in-law, Yurong. Lin Yurong immediately understood that Yang Chen wanted to talk to his brother alone. Although she was confused, she knew it was better to know less about certain things, especially in the world of wealthy people. She didn't understand, and it was better not to speculate too much. Sister-in-law, I'll go with you. Lin Yurong immediately held Chen Bisha's hand. Oh, you stay at home, no need for anyone to move, I'll go by myself. Chen Bixia tried to push her back, but she couldn't resist Lin Yorong's insistence, so she could only smile and let her come along. As they left, Yang Chen grabbed Su Lichio's hand. Su Lichio was startled by Yang Chen's sudden action, and when he saw his expression, he was even more surprised. What's wrong? Did something happen to you? Su Lichio asked anxiously. I saw mom. Yang Chen gritted his teeth. What? Su Lichio was stunned for three seconds, looking at Yang Chen with disbelief, his face full of confusion as if wondering what was going on with Yang Chen. Yang Chen knew that he couldn't explain it clearly, so he took out his phone and played the surveillance footage. After Su Lichio finished watching, his eyes widened, and his breathing became rapid. He could make mistakes with others, but he could never mistake this person. Is there something about our parents that you're hiding from me? Yang Chen asked cautiously. As expected, when this topic was brought up, Su Lichio's expression changed slightly. This caught Yang Chen off guard. It seemed like there was indeed something. Wait for me. Su Lichio rubbed his forehead, struggled to stand up with his knees supporting him, and walked into the bedroom. He quickly took out a small bottle. He unscrewed the cap and poured out a ring. He handed it to Yang Chen. Yang Chen took it and examined it carefully. It was an ancient copper ring with a half-inch wide ring face, embossed with a vivid sword. I found this ring in mom's jewelry box. It's the only lonely ring, and there's something you don't know. On the day of our parents' cremation, I didn't even go in. It was all arranged by a man who claimed to be a friend of our parents. Su Lichio had never thought about these things before. But when he saw the video just now, he suddenly felt something was amiss, and everything became suspicious. A man? What kind of man? He's easy to recognize. He has a surgical scar on his right eyebrow bone. Su Lichio gestured on his eyebrow. For a while, 
the two brothers fell into silence. Yang Chen fiddled with the ring, feeling like he was grasping something in his mind, but mostly it was confusion. Do you know how she escaped when I caught up to her? Yang Chen chuckled self-deprecatingly. She flew over rooftops. With a light tap of her foot, she jumped three meters high, and with another tap, she leaped over ten meters. If she's not a ghost, she's a martial arts master. Su Lichio listened in shock. All right, you take care of it first. I will definitely get to the bottom of this. Yang Chen put the ring on his finger. Obviously, it was a woman's ring, and he can only wear it on his pinky finger. Investigate? Do you have time to investigate? How's your company doing? If you need money, I've saved up a bit. Oh, by the way, did you receive the 8 cents I sent you? Yang Chen smiled helplessly. Even his own older brother was affected. He sent 8,000, but now it became 8 cents. My company has made a comeback and is making big money. I'll transfer some money to you later. If you're willing, you can still come live with me in the city. Su Li Chiao shrugged and smiled. You know I don't like the city. My wife and I are living a good life at home. We don't go anywhere. All right. Yang Chen sighed and transferred $500 to his brother. Even this 500 scared Su Li Chiao half to death. Yang Chen had to persuade him for a long time before he accepted it. Yang Chen understood him the best. Even if he gave him 50,000, he would still use it to open a breakfast stall. That's the life he chose. But Su Li Chiu was indeed excited. At least now he knew that the family was truly wealthy. He also bought a small car and upgraded the breakfast stall to a breakfast shop. He could let his wife go to the county supermarket more often, and you can imagine how happy he was. When are you going back to the city? Why? I finally came back for a visit, and you're already chasing me away.